and the clock has hit zero. Hello there, everyone. Welcome. This is the Verona Discord Dojo's third qualifier stream for the third major. I'm Burblosty here on the sticks and the ones and twos. Alongside me is a couple of the mainstays for these broadcasts. We have Filthy Spaniel, Freeze, and Teller. Hello. Yo. Yeah. And Spaniard. Spaniard is deaf and lament. Oh. Yeah. Sorry about that. I was just doing the stream um, oh, yeah. as well. I that. Yeah. Hello. I'm here as well. I'm here too. So, we do... We are currently in what is known traditionally in our scene as the beginning of tournament waiting dance because the brackets now have to be seeded, sorted out, and we'll have the first match on stream when we have that up and players actually get into the game. Brackets, you can play that uh, clip that I made for you, the, oh, where you Lord. wait for the eye to show up. Okay, it's a Halloween special, yes, but I don't want to freak out the audience too much and cause a heart attack by showing them my face, so let's yeah. not. Oh. <laughs> oh. What we no. can, to, by the way, I hate you for... Gone? Well, that's funny. Your your latest video with the fucking jump scare. <laughs> I hate that. I hate. Usually, if someone sends me a jump scare, you're done. You're, you're not. You're off my whatever messenger list that is. <laughs> I'm talking to you. I hate it. Well, it was a, it was just a it was a fluke. I'd real I'd I'd frame check the record the um so uh, for the for the viewers who haven't seen it um I'd frame check the rec the um event executions of the um the the new uh, Halloween event. And I had recorded them in uh, the like the, the the Samurai Arena, and then I had, and then Freeze kindly gave me a background from the new event um, mode to use as like the title text, and then it just looked really weird going from like this spooky tree to then looking at the frame checking the executions in the, the bright sunny Samurai Arena. So I was like, well, you know what, I'll record them in the event mode. So I did that. It took a little bit of doing because you know I had to switch the user UIs off and get bots to behave themselves. It was always a nightmare. And when I was finally doing the um, the Huntress execution, the trapper just like showed up right at the end of it. I mean, it was perfect timing. He just showed up and stabbed me in the face. Um, and it's like, well, I mean, I might as well in that case make it into a jump scare. And I did that at the end of the um, execution video. So, you want to know something uh, spooky enjoy. though, Spaniard? Even spookier than that. I do. The number twelve. It's one lower than the unlucky number 13, which is, funnily enough, the amount of teams we have in the bracket or that have now fully checked in. I'll actually throw that up on the stream. And, Extremely spooky. And even spookier than that legitimately terrifying name changes. Ugh. Yeah, that, isn't, that is a legitimately terrifying. So, here are so, the participants. <laughs> yes, so I guess the ones to watch out for are oversleepers. So this is going to be... That's the team which had Legion, Legion on it. Mina, and Kameku, and Mina Yogurt. Bean. Yogurt. So Mina B and Yogurt were on were on um, Nam Gloria. Kameku was also in, previously known as Libasano, has also been on Nam Gloria and on, um, was on RMG and also was going to sub for Nemesis and then overslept, hence the name Oversleepers. And then... So this is basically the big... The big excitement here is the divide between the dream team of, of Legion and Solips, Legion Solips, and Setmix has, has split up, and the other team that Setmix has gone to form is Homeless Shelter Squad, with a picture of the rather smug-looking dog. Um, which is on the middle middle yeah. on the left. We've got we Set, go. yeah, Setmix, Hiron, Herman, and Franz Bonaparte. Yes, so Hiron has played for um, he's played for Nemesis before. He played for L Collectors with yeah. Solops as well. Uh, previously, he played for them last week, and I think they came second. Um, and Franz or Razor has played for the for Semi's team for quite a while, and also has a lot of history playing with Herman. Uh, they played together in a team earlier in the in the tournament. I think it was called hmm. um, Island All and Friends. Oh lines. yeah, right, right, right. That one. Yeah, um, and they're, uh, they're they're all good players. So they this is. I mean, we'll see if there's if the uh, splitting up Solips and, and Setmix is going to reduce their overall synergy, um, but, or will having Herman and Hiran and Franz together as well make their team stronger overall? So there's there to watch out for. Ooh, and then on the other ones, yes, the other two, which I guess are who moved on with buys, the higher seeded ones are extra cool Gatchias which are also known as well, the ex-Helvgen squad hmm. um, of Clore, 
Um, Tom Kerr, Moki, Baron. Yep, yeah, those ones. Um, they did qualify for the, the last major, so they'll be definitely ones to watch. And then Inconsistus as well, who've consistently come uh-huh. um, second or third. So, yeah, it's um, just well, ice living, living Marischal, and prone. Yep. Yeah. All right, so lads, chat and people in the call, which match should we spectate first? We've got C2, oh, I, I C4, have my favorite already. C6, and C8. What's your favorite? I want C4. Storming the Bast- Bastille versus Armagavas? Yes, I'm a big Armagavas fan. All right, <laughs> let's load the Spanish up. And this is not some me taking the piss on it. I, I, I love them for always participating. I want to see them do well. Okay, uh, we'll load the Spanish up as our initial target. Let me see if I've got anyone on either list to spectate. I believe I do, but... Uh, yeah, I think I have Brujo or Virgil Cat. Oh, I have Virgil Cat. He's got an eye already. Raise it, go. Hang on. Ooh. Is All it... right, let's check the map. They're practicing. Um, Damn it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're banning right now. Uh... Interesting, but with that is their picks. We're gonna see a Kyoshin, which probably everyone is copying from Clutch, and we're I still having a BP. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Virgil has played BP a lot. I ran into matchmaking the other day. Um, these guys play together a lot, and you know they're slowly imp- been improving. Um, I think Storming the Bastille has a few players. So Storming the Bastille is a special one team for us in the in the Trials Dojo because Zazume is a coach here. He's a very good Jan Hu. And I think Hunter 04 is another regular in the um in the trials. I know I know OKC Cregan is um, I know I know him from, from Four Glory. You know my pain now. <laughs> Names. Yeah, I know. Names are possible. <laughs> I mean, words in general, I find Indeed. not easy. Um, so, it, additional, additional complicated words, um, even harder. Huh. Well, we'll see how it goes. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. Um, yeah. I'm not sure which one I'm supporting because we've got the plucky Catalonians who, who, who are very consistent in entering tournaments, which I love to see. And then our homegrown for, uh, for our trials talent. So, who will go forward to? Fight inconsistence. For those of you just joining us, hello, welcome. This is the third round of the European qualifiers for the third major of the Dominion series. However, we are currently in the for- traditional waiting dance of the first match of a Ferrata tournament. We're going to be targeting Storming the Bastille versus the Armagavas in round one. We're just waiting for the eye to appear. And we we had an eye, but it was a fake. It was a ruse, an absolute cacophony <laughs> of fraud. So we're just waiting for the actual thing to come online. And, Vir- and they are Mattel setting up right now. Yes. Yep. Yep. By the way, we have some bans for them. Nice. So they have banned High Fort, and then um, Beachhead. banned Beachhead. And so the first map will be Sanctuary Bridge. All right, we're starting off with A-Round. Garden. Let's go. <laughs> okay, you know what? Considering the, considering the way that Sanctuary Bridge is played these days, especially how we've seen it over the past like, two broadcasts, is it fair to call it A-Round anymore? Because it's not exactly that chaotic it's almost well, orderly i don't know what a ram is so all random all mid it's one lane you just plow down it's a mobile it. term yes um i mean it does it does keep on end up being um just mid fight over mid fight so but then we have seen teams make quite good pushes to come to get into the um you know the, the the real the real important thing is is not just fighting over mid. Hmm. It's on this map. It's about when to make the push onto the enemy's home point and go for the triple cap. Um, and if a team knows how to do that properly, they can really snowball the um, snowball the match away. Or conversely, a team that's really good at stalling out these um, caps can also hold a lot of points, even if they don't end up actually taking the. Um, the opponent's home point so we'll see how it goes all right i still hit the map yes <laughs> well i like it's got capacity for comebacks and you know yeah fun. oh yeah. i mean oh. fair enough fair enough you can't really tell the outcome consistently compared to other maps but i still i think sometimes it's just so off the map i don't i don't like watching it too much am i getting feedback from no nope. hearing feedback from not from me all good. Bit, yes no nope. all right 
It's just uh, that the... I can see on Discord it's flashing green whenever you're talking, and I'm like, oh god, am I talking? Okay, I can't hear anything too noticeable, but yeah, keep an eye on that. While you're keeping an no, eye on that, good. we should quickly do a quick uh, bit of housekeeping because I see questions in chat, so let's try and bop this on the head now. Yes, we're uh, doing drops and giveaways this time. So drops are on. So there is this normal drops from the directory as normal, and we're doing the giveaway again. Caveat, it's not for 10k steel codes. It is now combat packs, so it'll stack with the drops we're getting. So there will be codes I'll be sending fi uh, five lucky people off the stream. So we'll people be doing giveaways play, throughout. People can play lottery with all the crates they get in-game then. Yeah. So get randomness, the new armor. more randomness. <laughs> yeah, get that new armor that's come out this season. Um, all that nice uh, golden blue golden or in copper and blue crystals and that kind of stuff and rust don't forget all the and, rust well yeah yeah who is the trippy english fellow which one there's three of us <laughs> but, uh, uh, am i the trippy am i trippy or is it the chippy um, chippy yeah, that's probably verb then ah well, chippy is probably verb yeah now see the verb or spaniard i can't tell well, i mean they're both very chip, chipper. Maybe chipper like um yeah. upbeat i'm not normally that's not normally me um so <laughs> I'm freezing on the right. Like, very it's at this point. The excited one. But yes. Fucking sunshine, okay. man. Now, now we have, <laughs> now we we have established the correct levels of happiness per Englishman ratio. Yes, there is drops, there is giveaways. We'll be doing them throughout the stream, same setup as before, just to let people know. And I'll let you know when we're doing those giveaways because you'll see the bot pop up in chat, exclamation mark ticket when the giveaway is happening. Don't do it now, and we'll draw winners. Where is this eye? Ah, I'll just close Fire it. Refresh it. Close it again, yeah. Oh yeah, good idea. Yeah, refresh. Twice, maybe. No eye still. No, no. I mean. Hmm. Why thank you, Jules. Hopefully they haven't decided to go deady. I mean, uh, you mean It's in the rules, so they kinda have yeah. to they have they have to go dedicated, yeah. Oh sorry, they're they peer to peer. Whoops, wrong word. They haven't gone peer to peer. Because that is an option for them if the connection's too volatile, but it cuts out spectating. So hopefully they're doing it normal. And hopefully they yeah. haven't hit click the square that makes it so they can't spectate. There's no way they do that, but I have had occasions where that can happen. Yeah, it's technically against the rule set to do that, so... Hmm. Um... Yes. Don't worry, folks. We will have the gameplay up for you as soon as possible. This is just the traditional For Honor delay at the start of the time, but once it finishes, we'll be in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Usually goes game into game, then. Uh, we might as well address this now, since it is relevant with this patch. Uh, nerfs. There were nerfs and buffs. Shugo arguably got the biggest one, but how much will it affect him, do you reckon? Mm. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll start on this. I don't think... I think we'll still see a lot of Shugo keys. Um, the nerfs are... His sprint speed is on his super sprint has been reduced a little bit and he no longer has super armor on his demon ball so with his sprint speed he's actually slower than assassins like fast assassins like um, Orochi even at full speed but he's faster than average characters um, so he still has good rotations he's just not the, one of the fastest in the game anymore and the demon ball nerf is a big nerf to his ganking because and to a certain extent team fights but it has it has upsides as well so what happened demon ball is the move that sort of the baseball swing move that would knock you flying and nowadays uh with this with this nerf it it, it doesn't have super armor so previously you would if if your goki landed it you could get land as many heavy attacks as you wanted on the person who got got um baseball batted around hmm. and and often you'd see one Goki um, Demon Ball would give you like 90 odd damage because you get two heavies from it. It was uh, really, it was really extreme. And if you got Go Demon Ball by a Goki, you're pretty much dead. So now the super armor is gone. You can only get one heavy after landing the um, the Demon Ball on it. So it's much, it's still better than a regular guard break for heavy because that second heavy isn't damage reduced. Um, but it is. It's a, it works like normal pinning moves now. Hmm. And the plus side of this, because there is a balance side to this nerf, is that you don't have... If, you, if you're if you playing the Goki, 
previously you'd have super armor yourself all the way through the recovery of the move so you'd use it you get a guard break in in team fight you'd use the move and then you'd be stuck in recovery for about a second and a half during which you can take multiple hits from the opponents so you'd you could eat three heavies from like from opponents so that's oh. gone and now you only eat one heavy i think we have an eye is this a real eye yes we have an actual match yes it is oh. we in boys <clears throat> Storming the Bastille versus the Armor Gathers will be the first game on stream. Woo! Oh, and yes, only one side with the Goki. Ah! But that was to be expected from the. We... I think this we be expected seeing as Armor Gathers, they seem to run similar compositions than before. Although I'm not seeing a Centurion, which they have for a long time stuck with Centurion. And Warmonger, actually. Um, so, we're seeing Bleep BP, Janhu Kyoshin, which will counter... Oh, no, the opponents don't have an Orochi. Also, so, yeah. Black um... Pryash in the fray. That's a nice one. We were discussing this a little bit, like, b backstage before broadcast, and would we see Black Pryash stick his proverbial head out, or actual head out, and turns out, yes, we're seeing it for the first time. Yeah. The teller would be probably... happy if he was muted. Probably because the man is rep 70. Yeah, it's like probably just a before. hard it's comfort his, pick. It's his comfort pick. Okay. And, yeah. I think that BP does have, in this in this world of large, um, swe wide sweeping, big damage unblockables, he does have a good tool to deal with them in his um, bulwark counter. So, and that's something that Kyoshin, who's, who has a similar Defenders moveset, doesn't have. Because he, he gets eaten alive by big unblockables. All right, looks like we right. actually have our first re re counter rotation immediately. Brujo being sent by the Almagavas to catch the home point of storming the Bastille to give them a little bit of grief. And meanwhile, back in the main fight itself, Virgil is already close to being the first fatality of this first match of the day. Virgil headbutted. One more headbutt will kill him. Assassin looking to make his name happen. Yes, he does. Tracks him with the roll catch. That's the first kill, but Oskrigan's going to join him in the penalty bin too, but everyone's going down. Zutsune versus Deckling. Deckling ducks out of the way with a nice Sifu. One, two, punish. And that's a mid-capture and a possibly a full map secure for armor gathers. Oh, double backup. Yep. The 1v1 was won by Bruno, yeah, yep, Bruno and won. not the other, Assassin. Oh, Assassin left. was so far into the other lane, into the minion lane, he just took the opportunity and backcapped as well, because two were dead. The others didn't react even mostly swap. quickly enough. They swapped turn points is interesting. Yes, they did. Not not a regular thing. I mean, seeing, is it oh, is the Kriegen is coming up to yeah, reinforce Declan. Assassin, but it's all... Os Kriegen and Declan, they're both enough. here. Declan both here. 2v2, uh, favoring. on the side of the... Oh, big unblockable there. Ow. That's going to be unfortunate. Declan already critical. Nice to start dashing away. Utilize some of those extremely large iframe windows to stay alive while still contributing, which Declan has been able to successfully do for now. But Virgil now put in the 2v1, and Declan really can't do anything here because he's simply too low on HP. He can get an attack in, but all he does most is give the rest of Storming the Bastille's defenders a little bit of extra renown. Quite a bit, actually. I mean, nice, nice defender renown there. Both heavy, so they're both getting 20. Hmm. Um, up to. Oh, I think they're like halfway up to their tier twos, but they are still behind on points significantly because this entire time Al Mogavar has been boosting their the defenders home point. Hmm. So we'll see if they when they choose to push back onto the defenders home point. Um, maybe maybe they're feeling that the they can gain enough map control and, and points to just leave them boosting up there the entire time. Because obviously if you're boosting. On your own, you are essentially leaving your team to be 4v3'd elsewhere. Um, yeah, considering what they're doing right now, because they keep going on to the home point, and in theory they will continue feeding Defender around, so there might be this one point where, uh, who is it, the Defenders have a shit ton of renown on their tier 4s, and then they can push out. Oh, hang on a minute. Home point. We've got a 2v1 here on the Armagawa's home point. Zatsume charging in. Does actually get the 2v1. It was a 2v2 initially, nice. but it looks like their Shugo went down valiantly defending or valiantly on the attack. And now that's going to be map control, at least, of the enemy's home point and mid for storming the Bastille. However, Armagawa's are still planted firmly on their own home point. 
it's a, it's a really str- you don't see this very often to have this I mean this is essentially how at the moment it looks to be playing out how Sank Bridge normally plays out and that you have like one team on each point and pushing over fighting over the mid except their home points their spawn points are behind enemy lines so it's mm. a really somewhat bizarre situation to be in um, we'll see how these teams Multiple, decide to move on from here. Multiple inserations. I think when one of them can get their own home point back, they will be in a sort of strong, very strong position. That was nice. Using the external bulwark slash to take out the opponent. Good job there by Virgil H. That was some dinosaur arms oh. on Os Kregan. Virgil not able to really punish due to the low amount of stamina. But Virgil patiently defending. Nice parry, though. Yeah, he's going to get himself out of dodge. Yeah. Doesn't have any way to heal. Yeah, I would say he could try and go heal with Brujo, but there's two members of Storming the Bastille on the way. So instead, he's going to use the Shield of Shadows to... Or sorry, the Sinister Shield to help out Marriott, who's currently on the attack. Or I say attack, defense, trying to get back his own point. This is going to get confusing quickly. Yeah. Nice gank there, though. They ma didn't manage to pull uh, off a second. But look at the revenge. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, they, they failed one of the unblockables. It was too late on it. They managed to confirm it off the parry, but... With single map. There's a lot of revenge on the Goki as well, actually. Uh, both of these players are, if they get a Architecture! Tag, if they get a tag, uses the wrong, out of, wrong garbage punish there. He gets a side heavy raider off the rework, not a top heavy. Um, and then that could have cost him this, this little 1v1 one one going on here. He's not careful. Nice bait for light parry. He gets top heavy off it, which is the correct punish. There we are. And there we go, they take it. And then they're Captured. going to be double capped. They have mid. Full cap, I think, when he raised the camera. This is looking really bad for the Storming the Bastille. Yes, yeah, Storming the Bastille. They don't have mid control anymore. Minions will naturally push for armor gathers. So that's going to be a full map cap. And looking at the hard points at the top right, we're getting close to the first breaking of the day. Yeah, and Virgil, Virgil played really well there to Render give his teammate breaking. some time with the... Uh, stalling enough to get the, uh, hit his heal off. Oh, eats a demon ball. Demon ball can still confirm wall punishes like that we just saw there. If you get pushed close enough to a wall, fails the mix up and gets the eats and dodge ball. So it's still demon ball is still a very good move. Nice, nice bait there, rolling away to try and bait the um, the roll punish. Oh, 2v2 here now, Bruce Spaniard. Os Kregan against Brujo. Os Kregan very low on HP. Brujo dashing his, dancing as fast as he can. Successfully secures the kill to now go assist Virgil, who was at death's door, essentially. Zatsume on his own. Only has one person to back him up, who just hit the deck. And I have a funny feeling this is going to be a 1-0 to Armor Gavis real soon. Yeah. I mean, look at it. The, this is the... Uh, I guess we see this, this kind of gank in matchmaking quite a lot. Two characters sitting in full block, waiting mm. to bait an attack. Um, and if he does go for the guard break, then he gets punished. Right, so quite a difficult situation for anti ganking. And yeah, the Almagavas take the first one. Yeah, I'm surprised, yeah. to be honest, because I think um, macro-wise, I think they played worse than the other team, but it just worked out in the end. Yeah, I don't. I will not say that they necessarily they played worse. I think they they made a good opportunity to push and take their home point early on. And they then... kept pushing in, didn't they? They kept feeding Defender and on at the beginning. It was yeah, just brute forcing it until it eventually worked, right? So it wasn't necessarily a bad, a bad idea. Um, is that the, it's what, the, uh, I mean, you yeah, maybe out. they had that in mind. Maybe that was yeah. the plan, sure. Maybe. I don't know. Well, you see that happening with, um, I mean, Nemesis do that sometimes. So. Yeah, but Clutch often overextends doing that. It's, oh, uh, what I'm saying is it's kind of risky. The whole yes. strategy, it worked out in this case. But it, it can backfire just as quickly. It can indeed backfire. And if the, um, the if the defenders had their ganks on pats, they would have been able to get rid of the the opponents coming in by one by one onto their onto the point they owned much faster and also be able to heal. But because they weren't quite you know deleting them as soon as they arrived, they were able to be somewhat effective filtering in one by one. Nice play though. Nice... Yeah, I mean, it was uh, if you look at the points, it was kind of a, a deserved one at the end. Yeah, and without the Goki, it was a nice and somewhat relaxed first match of the day. It is this is still best of three, so we just need to wait for the next die. And Nutella, what was map number two? Um, let me just check again it's for Temple you. Temple Garden. Yeah, Temple Garden. Thank you. Sorry, 
answer for you. Ooh, pick me, uh, pick me. It's all good. I, like, my, my brain usually just goes to the teller in terms of the map bands, but I forget you're also admin. You can see them too. Herp derp. Yeah. Brain go burr. This is what I get when trying to operate a million buttons at once. Yeah, no, it's uh, good. And words. I, I don't know how they work either, so... Um... English is a strange language. It's fun. Speaking of strangers, lack That's of what ice. happens when you steal from a lot of languages. <laughs> <laughs> it's just borrowing without giving it back. I don't think you... It's not like we took the words from other languages and that they didn't have those words left. If they did, then there'd be big gaps in the vocabularies of many languages. What's for lunch today? Whatever kind of spare sweets or candy you can scrounge out of people's front doors. Because Halloween. Is Halloween today or tomorrow? Had... No, it's tomorrow, right? Oh, I don't I want kids egg. ringing the bell now. <laughs> That's the 31st tomorrow. 31st. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. October's gone fast. Oh, Ready, yeah, get out scared. Time flies. Hang on a minute. I need to check my uh, calendar real quick. Is the n qual it, there's going to be a fourth qualifier, right? Remind me. Yes. 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 Fourth qualifier is next weekend. Uh, and then yeah. Gonna be a That's going to be one day after my birthday. Ah, nice. Oh, exciting. On the sixth. Ah, we have a nine. Never mind. Stop reminiscing, Oliver. Well, not reminiscing. Don't Stop be hangover then. Eh, I don't particularly drink, so I will be competent. Right. Or at least not have a banging headache. Or commentating with a banging headache will be the worst. Oh yes, everyone new our com language. Everyone new, new coming in for the first time. Happy to have you all here. This is the qualifiers to the main Dominion series, which is why you're not. I just want to. Hmm? Go. Sorry, I just want to point out the fashion on Hunter 047 is is support. He's sporting Ooh. there the very nice uh, battle outfit from the pre for you got watching the previous major. Oh uh, yeah. Major two. And they the Ubisoft have also put in a major a battle outfit and. A, uh, an effect and an ornament, so it's a whole basically a mythic outfit for watching the Major 3. So make sure you tune into that. That will be in about a month's time. It's November 27th. And the top four teams of each region will be duking it out for a prize pool of, I think, $4,000 um, per region. So it's a hefty chunk of cash. Mm. And you can you can also win big by watching the stream and getting picking up that nice outfit yourself, or a different and also nice outfit. Do we actually know if it's the same kind of clown thing as, as last time? The, <laughs> with the clicking um, and, and then I imagine it'll questions. be similar. But yeah. Alright, back to the game, I guess. <laughs> it's the usual split again. Speaking of clown, we were about C? to have a party over it on C. Oh wait, no, that's A with the pillars. Never mind, I'm getting the wrong clownery mixed up. Although things, you know, damaged a little bit more serious being deployed already onto the Orochi. Oskrigan needs to watch. Oskrigan actually, I know, yeah, has swapped over to the Orochi now. Let's see how well they do with yep. this. 3v3. Health total so far going okay. Excellent external hit from Virgil, hitting two for one on the bash. Oh no, Assassin Bai says no, sir. He counteracts with his own heavy, hits two for one. And Brujo and Virgil both drop. I believe that was also the mid uh, rotation for Almagavas dying there at the same time. So this could be a full take for Storming. No, Storming the Bastille will end up choking on the fight on seed. They're gonna have the rotation from Zutsube to potentially even save this. It's not really a big health advantage though. The raid also. Oh, like, still vulnerable, sure. But not easy with that help. Play, you gotta play conservative Ooh. until our eyes get here. Oh, how did that not kill him? Did oh, our eyes get here in time? Really oh, Skrigan, stop I the cap! That's Ooh. good. No defender bonus. There's no cap yet. Yeah, there's no cap. Oh, no, oh, just yeah. stopped the cap, so there's no defender bonus. Yeah. They took A from spawn. Yeah. That's actually going to be very big if Virgil clutches here. No defender bonus for him. Yeah, they ought to send one <laughs> attack, one defender up to cap A whilst it's not being contested. Oh, yeah. Because otherwise what we're going to see is the um, Alma Gavar is just getting points slowly from having having a zone whilst everything else is... whilst these big fights are going on on C and, and, and mid. Virgil has a, a good chunk of revenge he's going to be able to hold for a very long time, which is, oh, if I can help press the right button, will be a very big help should this fight start turning sour for armor gathers over here on C. Zatsume tries to hit the Bulwark, doesn't get it that time either. He's going to be a critical HP, has to move back, but he needs to maintain lock on to maintain the revenge hold. 
Oh, very. Oh, mistimed that flip, unfortunately, and goes down. And if they can pull off this gank here. Oh, mistimed the guard break, but didn't seem to be too big of an issue. Oh, that's sloppy. I should have punished that. Oh, hello and there. Nice to see you, Kyoshi. Rotation from Bruco comes in and, yep, kills off the JJ. Yeah, and A switched sides. Which sides? Ah, I, did. So I think they must have heard me commentating. Oh, yeah, Oscar and gone just to took it. Yeah, they've gone to to stop hemorrhaging points, and C has still not gone to either side yet. So no defender renown, and we can see that the overall feats are not very high, considering the amount of time and deaths that have been on this point. Zazumi yeah. has Although... the most feats right now, and that's because he's been fighting yeah. constantly. The time it takes yeah. until the C fight actually concludes and one captures it, that's how long the first giveaway will run. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice external flip there from uh, the Black Pride, but he did go down to a headbutt, I think. Mm. Um, still on C. I'd like to uh, address other things in the chat, but we're still going. Hunter and Assassin now squaring up against Decay and Marit. Oh, Architecture there, unfortunately, for the Jang Jun. Decline now has reinforcements from Brujo. Brujo's rotated in. Is anyone coming in for Storming the Bastille? Or are we just holding out here? No, Storming the Bastille are dedicating one to mid and one to seat. Now Zatsume's on the way. Can Assassin hold out for long enough to stop any kind of capture? No, they're giving it up. Zatsume's giving. Okay. Doesn't want to feed. Fair enough. So we're going to have three minutes, 50 seconds. At least. Okay. <laughs> okay. To address... but yeah, it was surprising because all this time um, they kept boosting A, so mm. it was a 4v3, and Sutsuma was in mid, so it was a 4v2 on C for a long time, and it took them quite a while until they actually finished it. Yeah, real quick so though, to address a, something in time. chat from Kareem FTW. Uh, yes, this is on PC and everyone is playing at their like high frame rates. The stream is only 30 FPS because with everything I have to run, if I run 60, my computer will explode. So that's yes. why it's 30 FPS. This is on PC, just to uh, clarify that question I did see in chat. But I also think he's messing with me. Oh. Well, that's what I get for answering questions in chat. I'm too nice. Virgil H, however, having something not nice happen to him, that being most of his HP being erased and so is his teammate simultaneously. DeClean gets bot with a 1-2 combo. Shugo gonna now observe Oskregan watching Hunter get the kill. Yep, yeah, and this is a great opportunity they have to go and cap C, but well, well actually no, I, I think so, that Maracat has come in and rotated over to prevent that. So now they're pushing in, and actually this might not end up being a very good opportunity because they're on low health, they've got reinforcements coming in at high health. This is very very likely to feed Defender around here, a missed arrow strike. But, um, you know, if I was off the Gregan, I'd get off the point right now. And he does do that, well, well played there. He wasn't on the point and doesn't, does not give a Defender around from that. And you can see there, uh, that Defender around would have given tier 4s to um, Maracat, I think. Well, it would have likely done that, so... All right, Zatsume does have oh, tier four online. That will be another Fury Flask available for the inevitable final big fight in the match. Double parry, Zatsume gets caught, however. Gotta be very careful, tries to roll cancel, no dice, gets guard broken, and his head firmly taken off his shoulders. Hunter, GB as well, he's gonna have the follow-up done. Oh, excellent block stun. Actually guarantees the change in, and a sneaky unblockable zone to finish that up. That's going to give armor gathers the opportunity to try and reset the momentum and start generating hard points themselves. Who's taking too much damage here? Oscar, oh, Oskregan's the one getting melted. All right, there on the, um, on the Fujin Force Light, but a good use of Sinister Shield comes in and makes sure that also, Kregan doesn't get any chance to take down the the Kyoshin, who does actually manage to get his full execution. <laughs> oh, <jump back! laughs> let's go, Assassin! Living up to his name. Yeah, he's doing the whole Assassin's Creed thing and going for it. Bruja pushing onto A now is risky, given how much health his opponents have. But if he can stall out point generation here, we might end up getting into breaking. And they're not they're not doing the gank at all. And look, he's clearly Guard breaking for the hug. He does actually manage to get a heavy off it, but doesn't time the heavy correctly to guarantee the third one. And oh, revenge this is comes bad. out. All the time that's if being wasted. Bruno can get them outside. He's got his arrow strike available as well, which is always a bit fun. Doesn't use it. Hey, that one tracked that really well, actually. Tracking, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why is that one laser guided? Hello. 
Nicely done. Did he see? Oh, oh. he gets a point. <laughs> Longbow but go, bro. Again, did manage to go off the point to avoid feeding defender. That's good Good awareness. Yeah. And he also noticed after eating the first one, he went into full block to block his block the second attack, which allowed him to leave full block and dodge to avoid the second demon, demon, uh, demon's embrace. If you... If you block something in full block, you your recovery is essentially over and you can start dodging again. So that was really nice use of um, a demon ball of his full block even. All right, first breaking of the match in favor of the armor gathers being initiated here. Zatsume Raging has access to a Fury Flask if they so want to use it. They're going to have to be a little bit wary of using it, though, inside their own minions, because that will end up killing their own minions as well. Also, F.Lux, please go away. Why are you making the screen orange? Zatsume, now low HP, isn't in a position to go for a Fury Flask. Bruho Cat, lots of HP, but minion support is there. How relevant that's going to be, I don't know. A meaningful rotation would be much more helpful to Zatsume if it was about three seconds earlier. Oh, and dies without having to use his, his tier four. That's really big for um, the for the Ammugavars, if they can manage to keep this yes. going. Um, if he gets a res, of course, it's available. Yeah, he died on their Assassin side, really so... really focusing strongly on the low health Kyoshin. He's, he's going to be careful not to die before using his tier 4 as well. The, look at the hard point, so it's creeping up. Alma Gavas have to watch they don't get a little bit too big for their britches. Their feet totals are looking okay, but a good chunk of them are spent right now. Declan still doesn't have tier 4 available. Marit's almost dead, and you can't use your tier 4 while dead, and it's still on regen. That's going to be a forced respawn because the breaking just initiated. We are now in double breaking, and it's getting a very chaotic here on the battlefield. They got the revive. The revive, so they have Fury yes. Fast available. There's a there flash. There it comes, and Excellent great throw value from hit two of them. Yep. That's going to be two kills, unless J no, JJ pops Soothing Mist, I think. Yeah, let's get a wide shot. Declan's only alive right now because of Revenge. Declan going to keep swinging on Hunter. No, Hunter gets the double tap using the Inspire for the extra damage. Eats the mix up from Marit. Marit fortunately doesn't get architectured. Hunter gets parried again by Marit. Brujo gets a kill on C. That was an execution too. And now it's a full wipe. Alma gathers 2-0, take the set. Attackers really win. close at the end there, though. I mean, uh, uh, I mean, it comes down to it, you've got to win those fights. Um, but could have gone either way at the end. Nice play from both teams. I enjoyed watching how Virgil had really good um, uh, information, good awareness to stop rotations to heal from Assassin early on. And some really good play getting off points to avoid Defender Renown. But, I mean, considering these teams are not the top tier competitive teams, it was overall pretty good in terms of macro play. The ganking definitely needs work, um, if, you, if you ask me, but... Yeah, but you saw the, like, the basics are there, they know yeah. what to do, it's just about practice. Exactly, so, well, good it. to see. Um, maybe, and maybe next year, these teams will come will really keep on training and start and really putting the pressure on the sort of the the other top teams so, well they aren't out yet it. at least they've got losers bracket to go through still and also to, oh no of course to answer a it's question not... from chat real quick what what is getting architectured it is my polite way of uh saying something that other people call or getting a wall fudged and <laughs> it is essentially when you're throwing an attack Sometimes the hitbox can hit a surface, and if it hits the surface, you kind of go ding, and you ping off of it. And it's, if you ping off of it, you will often, at best, just lose your initiative advantage and your tempo attacking someone. At worst, you will get punished if an attack is coming in from a ga random gamble at last second. We have seen people die to getting, uh, like, bounced off a wall. Yes, because it puts you in superior block recovery, essentially, and yeah. as you know from... Mo um, well, as you hopefully know, that will makes you garbage vulnerable for about 700 milliseconds. Yes. Um, and there's enough for people to, if they're paying attention, to get a free garbage on you, which can easily kill you, especially in a team yeah. fight. You'd think it's easier, but very rarely see it. That someone yeah, it actually is. anticipates, oh, that attack will hit a wall, so I'm preparing after I see it to GB. But very rarely you see it. It's, yeah, people don't pay attention yeah. to it.
despite it it would be like really strong if you see a JJ on A dancing around on Temple Garden because you know he's gonna hit those fucking pillars eventually, right? Basically. <laughs> Alright. I mean, it, it is interesting that I mean with his seven hundred MS window to guard break, um well so it's seven hundred MS you've got recovery is a three hundred. Uh, sorry to MS. cut in for a six Spaniard, I just need to get some logistics done. What match next? What target? Oh good point. Um, um, refresh the brackets. Let's I'm looking see. at the brackets. We've got Oversleepers, Sweet Arthur Fan Club, Inconsistent Armor Gathers, Crayon Devours versus BTC Collectors is still going on, and Extra Cool Gatches is against Spam Legion. What are we looking at? Mm, shall we stick with Armor Gathers so, versus Inconsistence? Inconsistence? Can, sure. Yeah. We could follow them on a run. All right. I'll update yeah, these see how they do. accordingly. Inconsistence. Inconsistence are a very good team. Um, they're running their sub today instead of Rod. They've got Prone, um, but still very, very capable team. They've got Mr. Oh, we Living. We might see very, another very Kyoshin then. Uh, pardon? We might see another Kyoshin then, because Prone has been practicing yeah. Kyoshin. Oh, that's exciting. And you know what? Since you mentioned the three-minute giveaway, let's run a combat giveaway now. All right, thrown it up. Exclamation mark ticket in chat to put uh, your vote in or put your into the raffle. I'll draw it after three minutes and so has passed. So decreed freeze. Yes. Yeah. Oh, what is it? The bot does lie. You, don't have, you, can, you can do a one if you want, but you don't need to. If a message pops up saying you've like run out of tickets or anything, ignore it. It basically just means you've entered. And yet everyone's entering just fine. Don't see any errors. Lovely jubbly. Is it working this week? That's good. Oh uh, yeah, I think I have. I'm not messing with any buttons just yet because I didn't have any time to test this. Like there are some functions to avoid that. Oh, there error. we go. Yeah, <laughs> failed to enter. Yeah, that means po you've already entered Pokemon at some point. Yeah, you you were one of the first people to enter. So yeah, you're already in my die. If you see the fail to enter giveaway, you're already in. You're Gucci. All right, so we've got an eye on Legion, but that's not our target. So we're still targeting uh, Alma Gathers. Yeah, or just dice. Or just dice. Yeah, yes. two. Nice. Yeah, there we are. Now everyone's kind of having a rough work. <laughs> a lot of people today. Indeed, yeah. We yeah got a lot. Thanks, so, thank you, everybody, for joining us. A good amount of new blood, too, which is nice. Yeah, I'm seeing you new first time chat from viewer. I didn't realize Twitch did this thing. I'm, I'm kind of a bit of a noob when it comes to Twitch, but it's yeah. exciting to see. Uh, Hello, that I'm first time chat thing is new, though. That hasn't been in for longer than like two months or something, right? Oh, okay. Hmm. I, well, you asked the wrong person. <laughs> All right. I mean, I'm, I'm... Almost two minutes have passed, so still time to enter in. We've got about a minute and change left before we go in. Has any eye come up? No, so we can still vibe until then. Yeah, I guess I can talk about... Yeah, I'll go grab a beer then. Yeah, go grab a beer. Well, I'll continue my uh, superior block spiel about blocking, th uh, getting blocks and stuff. So, yes. in in theory, if you see an opponent have a light attack blocked, or if an attack bounces off a wall, you can normally get a guard break on reaction if you react fast enough. It's a 700 ms um, superior block action. The reaction window for a guard break when he's land during that is 400 ms, so it's going to be at about about 300 ms reaction window, which is certainly <laughs> doable. But because there's so much else going on in Dominion, you, I feel like people do ha they, they miss out on these a lot, and they are if, they only really get them if they're watching for it for them. So, um, but it's something to look in. It's something to look out for if you're if, especially if you're ganking an opponent who has non-enhanced lights, so regular lights like a light like um. Oh, we have an eye. Uh, Raider or somebody. Oh, we have an eye. Um, if they throw in a light attack at your ally and, and it's blocked, you go for a guard break, you get a free guard break. So make sure you're looking out for that. If okay. You're, if you're paying. Uh, let's draw a winner. We have, yep, we have three minutes down, so let's draw a winner. Survey says... Wicked underscore underscore greed. You are the first winner of the day. I will be messaging you on your Twitch DMs after the show has concluded with your code and how to redeem it. Congratulations. All right, that's giveaway number one down. So for the... Um, 
Then ba bands, by the way, we have Sanctuary Band and Beachhead Band. Right. Our picks will be Overwatch, High Fort, and Temple. Exciting. All right, let's go in. I'm not betting on any funky rotations or starts. I don't think we'll see like the Twin Shaman Rush A start. And I'm gonna go ahead and shut my bloody mouth and stop cursing things because it's double Kyoshin Rush A apparently. Interesting. Oh, let's see this. Double let's Kyoshin. Yeah, there Kyoshin is the big one. fight happening on C, but let's keep an eye on this because. Well, you I... always watch pro. Oh wait, hang on. We got a rotation immediately here. What the? This is illegal. Normally, <laughs> honorable 1v1s on A only, and you've left C oh, alone. C has been capped. Yeah, and now C's C collapsing. What is going on here? Let me get the way out. Maybe the, maybe the um, Almog Vars had a really bad starting rotation, didn't get there fast enough. Um, it can happen if you're not paying attention on spawn and the opponents have fast characters. You can get there and cap it for, for the opponents. Wait, did that it. happen? M maybe. I mean, if they're not. But nobody paying attention for most <laughs> I mean, I got it's what happened twice. last time we cast it. Um, yeah. Oh, Bro's still alive. I say that. He immediately drops a one-for-one -one trade in this fight, making it a two-for-one. Currently in favor of Almagavas in the blue, inconsistent in the orange. I'll get the overlay change in a moment. Oh, we have a counter rotation. Now Declan's back in to assist Marit. Prone, trying to watch his HP. Don't get clipped by an external. It didn't get roll caught either, mainly because Declan's out of stamina. So now Declan gets actually catches Prone with a single light attack. One more Fujin cut or Fujin force will kill Marit's. Nope, still going, however. That's going to be the execute. Oh no interrupts. No interrupts. And they actually get their first point. Um, and so they have somewhere to heal. A good, you see a Virgil there blocking the top ladder again hmm. and preventing uh, any of the Just Nice crew from coming up and contesting their heals. And they're immediately pushing into C, which I think is kind of risky for them here. But we'll see how it goes. It's going to be a full 3v3 brawl on C point. And they are getting points from A. As long as they, you know, keep it up and don't have it, somebody go back there and grab it without them watching. Yeah, it looks like Marischal is going to be attempting to clear mid, but then gets called over to the sea. He's going to be able to assist in this fight. Let's keep an eye on Declan and Mr. Living. They're the two big bruisers of this particular fight. Never mind, Declan immediately drops. I am literally responsible for people getting murdered right now. That gang gets completely scuffed. Living attempted the hug and gets actually interrupted by his own teammate, Just Ice. Prone, low HP. Brujo with a 3v1 as a discreet 1v1 happening to the right side. It results again, Marit's in a uh, very short and fast demise. Prone yeah, down. Failed, um, failed peel there. Nice garbage from the um, block ball. Just avoid failed the peel from Living actually get, takes Prone down, but they get. Uh, it might even be calculated because they get the. Um, the re uh, renown for uh, revivings instead. Oh yes, fair point. Let's have a look at the renown. More renown than defender renown than total. Um, Is it? Oh, I stand corrected. Well, I, sh I don't know. Sometimes you get defender renown even if even if you've just died. So it can be a bit weird. So you might have got defender renown and also got the um, revive. It's, it's more it's more renown for um, living at least. Yes. Bit of an argy bargy in the mid lane. Marit decimated, needs to watch his HP. Declan has to watch their own unblockables before, so he doesn't end up clipping their own teammate. Doesn't matter though. Now in a 1v2. Declan doesn't have too much friendly mini support, but gets completely eviscerated anyway. With or without support, Virgil H can only stand and watch and farm feet renown or farm renown by boosting as his entire team gets completely wiped off the board. We can see here they are. They, I think they're playing sort of fairly good macro, apart from the push into C earlier. But when it comes to team fights, um, inconsistent are just much more experienced. And you can see they are confirming unblockables with guard breaks. Or oh, we're going to see a drop attack attempt here. I really want there to be. You got it, Virgil. Let's do no, don't do, don't, don't. What was hey. <laughs> this ledge is garbage. You never ever try a drop attack from this ledge there. It's terrible. You will, like, 99% of the time you will fail it. Yeah, unfortunately, it's got a little slope on the ground, so you, even if you get it right, you often end up hitting the floor before you can actually kill the person. And both of them go down with a kunai as well. I mean, this is looking pretty bad for, for Almagvaz. And in, in in that drop attack, left no, having well, that left nobody to go keep A, and they've basically donated A with that drop attack. Hmm. So... 
I'm really unfortunate game. This is, is a it very, safe very to bad. Is it say that game. drop attacks on this map are bugged, or just there's something with this map's architecture that doesn't really lend itself well? I can give you my quick theory. I think sure. every single ledge has a area down below where you where your drop attack will track, and this area varies greatly. But I guess yeah. Watch that this. was a nail bomb yeah. that just went off. Look at all those HP yeah. bars turn red. Oh, it's a massacre! Everyone, all the, everyone is disgusting. dead. All of Catalonia has died on the point, and there's a tier four. Oh, that's foul. Was absolutely rude. So that was a slip through buff nail bomb. We saw their entire health bars just being deleted. But they did manage to. They, they oh, actually wow. managed to rally with mid breaking, Lucky. unbreaking itself. So even though Wallum's executed, they haven't. They have a second chance. Um, and now at least two of the tier fours will be will have been used from their opponents. But yeah, that was really slip through buff nail. Oh, and they're gonna get fury flash though. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. It's three of them, the only three that are alive, so that's good yeah. good value. Um, goodbye. Oh, that ledge. Yep. Goodbye. And well, that's oh. how this, this ledge works. Just yeah. don't <laughs> jump. Uh, no. no! no! So, it was a I mean, modern match for living, wasn't it? You just stood there all game. Yeah. Ghost well, this is you see, this is the difference between uh, these two teams. Even though the macro plan, the rotations weren't bad from um, Virgil, other than the drop attack, really, uh, from the map being well, Almagvars, they were just losing all of the the team fights. Every single one, they were just um, not peeling as well, not confirming ally attacks as well, and at the end of the day. Doesn't matter how good your macro play is, you have to win fights. Um, mm. Can't have yeah. your dessert without so, finishing your vegetables first. Yeah, I was surprised they even managed to get that A fight in the beginning. Yeah, that but, that A fight. I'm wondering if the the raider rotation was because it was going badly and they called off a rotation to maybe uh, speed up the A cap, or was it because? Uh, he just rotated off naturally, and that's what caused the fight there to go completely belly up. Yeah, it was bad because none of us paid attention to how the C fight went. Like, if the, the cap actually happened as early as we The one yeah, time! Did... <sighs> I was fascinated by Prone's prowess, I guess. Like, will you always look at C every time? And I just wanted a bit of variety, and then an interesting thing happens on C. <sighs> yeah, Caster's Curse, that's how it is. We need... Well, this is the benefit of having a multi-camera setup. Maybe in the future, we can get all the cameras going at the same time. Everybody looking in every direction. Do the casters get fed information by anyone else? If you're talking like hero series, I imagine they do. I imagine they get like, the information. Yes, yeah, so unfortunately, we are we are a one-man band here in terms of production. That that's me. So, we it is a single camera setup. So anything that's off-screen, you know, you can go ahead and yell at me in the chat for that. We are currently just waiting on the eye for the second game in this set. Can there be more than one commentator expecting? Yes, that can happen. Yes, can. However, it's a little funky to try and get a multi-camera setup on stream via Discord. Things start getting wacky fast. I am... Yeah, and you have to coordinate when you start spectating as well, so there's no yeah. little laser. And when they do the on the main broadcast in the Dominion series, they have, I think, a producer. five or six cameras set yeah, up. Yeah, they have five or six. And they have and a, a stream director as well. Yeah. So they have one for each um, point and an over overview as well. Um, so they can have all of them and switch to each point as needed. Yeah, I mean, and it is a proper they studio would... they hired, right? Yeah, so they do have oh, the yeah, equipment they, they, for all that. Have, these so. would have been, from the look of it, actual lands in Vegas too, because they have a studio there set up. But yeah. then, you know, you know what happened. So not them on those yeah. channels. So no one could go visit. I mean, the, 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 streams, the, the streams of the, main, the majors do is very, very slick, very professionally done. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, a bit more than we can manage here on our on our shoestring budget of I think it's zero, isn't it? Um, l l l we are literally doing this because th otherwise yeah. there would not be a broadcast. <laughs> Pocket lint. <laughs> yeah, if it's not us, then it's no one. Yes, <laughs> but it's fun as well to do. So Nacho Cheese Dip, I think we need to ban him. Really, um, outrageous statement there. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> Wait, didn't First Raven forever. qualify last week? The first week uh, already? No, Raven is quite yeah, he qualified in the first. Hey, first let's week. go! Let's go, Raven! Well, so, so top four NA player, isn't he? Yeah, absolutely. He's um I think the as long as the uh, greater than there is four 
playing ability. Yeah, let's see what, is this, what is going on here in this map? Two's going to A, two's, three's going to C, and we've got a 2 1 split in mid. I mean, they probably knew they can't win the C fight, so they straight. So the way it gave yeah, it it's still weird to send two to A. Maybe they expected one person to go to A roll in mid, and they were going to attempt to do a gank there, um, which is sensible. But yeah, it, you don't always want to fight on C. I don't think do, especially with a Goki and a Raider on in in Sight the place. area. It's yeah, Black Prior it's holding A for armor gathers. Yeah, I think he probably should have not been holding A. His team should be letting him know that. And they're actually winning this mid fight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Low health on Marichal's. Marichal's making the comeback. Ah, uh, Brujo's having none oh. of it. Get out of here. Good deal from Brujo. It was really well um, done at the beginning. Yeah. Like, Prone took so much damage, he had to, like, dip out immediately. And then just dice, they managed to 2v1. But yeah, now they're turning um, it around, I guess. This, is, this Virgil should have come down from A. Um, I mean, he spent this entire time boosting, and actually his team were doing really well. And it would have been a good opportunity to push when they had two opponents at very, very low health and one coming off the point. That would have been a really good opportunity to push the C point. But <laughs> Ow, that sucks. Yeah. Yep, yeah, and he comes in too late and dies. Um, unfortunate. Okay, what's the... I mean, again, we're seeing them hold out on points at the moment, but the Renown total will be going quickly in favor of Inconsistors. And I think if they're not careful, this will be a one-sided match there. Nice! Gar breaks off the parry, so if you par the beginning of your parry animation does have um, Gar break vulnerability, like the very, very start of it, so an ally can parry, parry, sorry, an ally can Gar break a parry, at you out of your parry. Donk. And really good wasting of the revenge there with the Gar break into the throw. Didn't get anything off his revenge and ended up going down shortly afterwards. So, really nice hey, play there. Here's the Renown with no murder happening. But of course, they immediately start fighting. Here is Renown. Numbers go burr. Back into the fight. We've got stuff happening on mid. Decline. Gonna be 1v2ing. No help here. <laughs> the Orochi kick yeah, setting really up the nice. Raider unblockable. That's mean. Yeah, that is the really. That's what the um, Raider Orochi gank is essentially. Uh, you get. You land an attack. The Raider attacks off your attack. That hits and confirms the kick, that which confirms the Raider's chain of blockable. It's a very strong gank. Um, essentially, it's a, well, it's a pseudo gank. Nice Should Brujo there. be moving um, here? Brujo's just hanging out. Oh, that's lovely. nice. But can he make anything it's else happen what, off this, though, is the question. Did we already forget that we can't block stun gank and BP? Yeah, apparently so. We've just not been playing them for seeing the Raiders. Oh. It does go down eventually anyway, but always nice to see. Mara has been trying to defend C this entire time that was happening. Excellent deflate by Marishal. Lovely. Watch your stamina though, Sunshine. Don't get out of stamina. Oh, watch your health too! Just watch all your bars, please! Hyperama ends up exterminating the Orochi. Living now, trying to go get some revenge for his fallen comrade. Marit, low, headbutt, puts him even lower, six feet under, and Living's gonna keep the point, get some defender renown. Get some defender renown for and that the, well. the uh, just... revive ally too. Yeah, just wanted to point out there with Mr. Living very carefully, just when he arrived at the point, he, his first attack did feed a bit of revenge, but he was very careful to not attack again until the, his dead allies' tags had run out. Hmm. Because um, putting yourself against a revenge raider in a 1v1 is pretty dangerous, even if you are a full health, Goki. But if the, if the, if the, if the raider's at uh, one bar of health, then it's best to just let him. Yeah. That's actually a fair point that you mentioned, because if you aren't in the know, Tags do not immediately disappear when the person who applied the tag dies. It's a bit it's a bit of a weird thing to get around, but you still have to wait that full duration. And that can get you killed if you're not careful. Can let me get out of this gank situation. He's got allies. And yeah, he's he's clean. Yeah. He's out. I mean we saw there some bad communication because um what the JJ was must have been trying to set up. He's he's guard breaking, is trying to set up for the um the Free BP's outlay. unblockable, but the BP was just sitting in full block doing nothing, and ended up with like three guard breaks, do nothing, wasting time, lets your allies arrive. Vacuum. There we saw mm. a slightly failed version of the Orochi gank, the timing wasn't quite right, but it goes on anyway. I expected a lich there. Yeah, I was yeah, expecting a vacuum. Sliding off, but nope. He even, very kindly, threw him away from the ledge. What a good Samaritan. Hey, do you want to litter the body? Oh, Decline, exactly. this is some nice 
positioning here, a choice from Deckline. No, if I was playing, I'd smooth brain it and just go up the stairs because I see combat, but Deckline goes up the ladder to flank the enemy and actually potentially get some two on one hits in with his Jang Jun. Yep, and it makes that sure they can't body block to, um, you know, defend and Ooh. heal at the same time. Mark. One of them, Raider goes down. There's revenge. This is gonna suck. Want. Good optimization oh, there. Gets the double tap because of the uh, double, because the heavy carries it. Up. Oh, <laughs> the deflect as well. Marischal is styling. Living's here to assist. He's able to get the two versus one, and Marischal owns a point handily. Yeah, and lots of defense. Well, I think the assassins got the kill, so the assassins don't produce much defender right now, which is why they are on a. Uh, Tier, he's on tier two rather than tier four. Oh, but bye if he had been a raider, oh no! Bye. The danger of side dodging. He was he was foisted by raiders' extremely long range side dodges. He do he side dodged to get a guard break and then put himself behind the guy, um, and then just got led for his trouble. It's a real shame there. <laughs> Keep an eye on the nice hard points. Arrow strike. That's going to be an o a okay bit of damage to Virgil, but keep an eye on the hard points here. Armor gathers are in the similar place to where they were before. Inconsistence driving them to breaking decently quickly. Prone out of stamina, not able to contribute in most of the team fight. Has to discreetly one versus one Declan. Brujo gets ledged off the side by Mr. Living and Co. Prone tries for the unblockable kill, doesn't get it. Declan sees it. That's another ledge there. Now that's actually going to be Virgil getting sent off with the demon ball. Marrick going to the underworld shortly after. And that is a complete dismantling of the Catalonians by Inconsistus. 2 0 in the set. Very nicely played there. Yeah. Very nicely done. We can see. So, we were talking about the improvement the um, Almagavars have made over the years. And they, they're definitely playing better than they, they were in watching them, um, watching them for quite a long, long time now. But you can see there's still quite a big gap between these top tier competitive teams. And. Inconsistence is not the top of the of EU scene. It's, it's kind of they're placed about thick thereabouts at the moment, but they have a lot of practice. Um, living so living a big... up to his name too. Flawless. Yes. Yeah. He didn't die once. Nice. Well, Mr. Living's Goki is very scary. I think he's one of the best Goki players in EU, actually. Um, definitely one to, one to watch. So we will see how Inconsistence managed to do. They are, they're definitely in the running this week. With, uh, they are up against uh, Oversleepers now, as ooh, well. This should, be a, uh, this should be a match to watch. I want to see how well Oversleepers put, um, All right. perform, given they are somewhat of a new team. Let's refresh the brackets, have a gander. Come on, internet. There we are. So are we going to keep following Inconsistus to Oversleepers? Yeah. Also, how how is C6 not finished yet? Hello? <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. I'm. It's I'm just actually, to ask. They should have been. They should have finished. Um, looking at their chat, and maybe they just not. Have they not reported yet? Okay, we'll follow the uh, Oversleepers Inconsistus. Let me just put their name into my scoreboarding. Just gonna prod them in their chat. Yeah. Yeah, like what's going on in C6? I just noticed that. <laughs> Hey there, man. Don't worry. We, I've, I've been asking about this already, so we, um... Huh. Interesting. Either way, we, we have uh, a game in our sights. You can watch, uh, Solips. Uh, we yeah, don't have an eye. So, are we going to follow Oversleepers in Consistus, or are we swapping? I think we uh... The match to yeah. watch at the moment. So yeah. we're waiting on C6 and the rest of the. Uh, I don't know what's going on with them. I Being... want to see how Legion performs in a fully Russian team. <laughs> you think your synergy will be much better that way? I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, I. Doesn't he refer to I himself? I can't picture it at all, to be honest. I think he's he just going to. Russian, though. He called himself Moscovian. So. Um... I mean, you know. That's still. <laughs> they're not that's just an ego thing. Right? <laughs> I know, I know. Funny to say. Um, All right, so the bands there are High Fort and Sanctuary Bridge, and then the first map would be Harbor, then Overwatch, and Tire Wreck is being decided right now. Mm -hmm. yes. oh, Harbor match then. That's good. That's good. Another yeah. map we haven't had. Harbor is quite surprised we the... even had uh, High Fort just now. Mm -hmm. 
Harbour is being picked by the Oversleepers, and Overwatch being picked by Inca Sisters. Hmm. Yeah, not me. I'm wondering. I apologize if I'm uh, very phlegmatic. I've got a bit of I... a cold going on. Though. It's all good. Illnesses. I'm just wondering. You mentioned the whole Legion dynamic of playing in a, in the different setup once again. Is it going to help? Is it going to hinder? Because we've been in a weird spate, like spate of the top talent in For Honor taking an uncharacteristic amount of L's between Legion having a hard time, Set Mixes teams have been having somewhat of a hard time. Even Nemesis has been having some hard times recently to the point where I believe I saw. Clutchmeister remark in in for glory that Nemesis may not necessarily be the guaranteed top team with no discussion anymore in EU. It's it's it, we're in a weird place right now where everyone is vulnerable, but everyone is also top contender at the same time. Yes, yeah, it's also a weird time because a lot of these young contestants they have finished school and now moving on to uni, and all of a sudden they realize our oh, school. Been a pretty relaxed time, huh? <laughs> so they have much more to do, so they can't put in the same amount of hours they were used to before. This goes for Barak, for example. So to say it's a mix of lack control. of practice and a lot of new people pushing in as well. Uh, C6 just got reported in. Uh, oh. It was 0 2 to Bitcoin collectors. That's Abacanda. Uh, we move forward. Are you trying to say there's more to life than For Honor? I can't understand that. How do you? You go to uni, start fresh this week, and immediately, you know, get on grinding those scrims out. I mean, in the first semester or second semester, do you not? I mean, you don't. You barely do anything, right? You go there, then, oh, that's new people. Let's go oh, drink it. Hold up. We have a question in chat, actually, that I didn't notice until now that we should probably answer from GG at Gugubi12. That's how you probably pronounce it. Asking, what are the uh, hero comps? traditionally seen in the pro scene these days what are the heroes we often see and yeah i can take that it's yep yeah, like actually lord scalder said in chat orochi raider shugoki jang jun uh you and now it's a mix of uh, other characters we're seeing a good chunk of uh he not hito Kiri. uh kyoshin kyoshin's coming into the fray We've got BP sticking his head back out, but the main like mainstays are Orochi, Raider, Shugoki, Jangjun, with flexes. Yep. Um, I think we'll also see potential to see Janhu as well. Yeah, Janhu could um, be seen. Um, which other characters? I mean, Aramusha is another one that has a very good matchup against Orochi. So we saw in the NA qualifier last week. Um, yeah. well, last, the second one, the reading comprehension switched out their... Um, who were they switch out? Well, they switched out for an Aramusha and then actually reverse sweeps and one um, came up from the loser bracket to win the whole... Sorry, that's the run that goes to things. I'm out a bit of of breath. Um, <coughs> um, so yeah, there's actually a, a number of characters which are valid picks. We will see if Guidance play Warlord even, because um, Clucky's is very much a walled one trick Oops. and doesn't really play anything else. So he, they're playing this week as well, so something to watch for in NA. Oh, I like those Sakura. Um, yeah, the, Sakura the, the Petals, Sakura Pop Flowers. Thing. Yeah. Also, nice. Zhen Hu! There we go. First time we're seeing Zhen Hu. Kimeku. Yeah, Kameku on the Zhen Hu. And. So they oh, did me... drop the Goki. Oh, Goki? Interesting. Okay. Yeah. There was the nerf, and it was it wasn't character killing as we've seen from Mr. Living's excellent performance so far today. But it has been enough to where they are chicks in the armor now to that character. It is not a guaranteed you must pick this character or you're doing it wrong scenario. Where is Nam Gloria? Uh, Nam Gloria missing. Nam Gloria is part of Nam Gloria is in this team, the Oversleepers. So Mina B and um, who's the other one on there? Kameka. Mina B and one of the other ones. I've, I've Mina already, B. Already oh, he them. changed his name back, by the way. I just oh, realized joy. it's Kumeku again. It's not Libe Asan. Yeah. So um, and Yogurt were on. Yeah, they they were on Nam Gloria, and I think that's the current state of it. It's Nam Gloria is no more. Yes. 
and HP values will be no more at this rate. Mina B already at half. Heavy unblockable externals coming out. Mass rotations now coming back in. We're going to be seeing everyone regrouping up in a moment here. Just Ice, first casualty. Mr. Living down to half. Marishal untouched on the side, but Mina B was offended by that idea and comes over to start harassing their op opposing Orochi number. Multiple hits, but excellent deflect from Marishal. Marishal has been sipping the G Fuel real hard because that's going to be another excellent deflect to end the montage. Team kill. <laughs> that's very unfortunate. That's not what you want to see. Just Ice going to get a surprise hit on Kameku here. Top heavy guarantees kick. Guarantees Ooh. the unblockable too. That was smooth as silk, but off screen. A couple members of Inconsistence end up going down. Marishal as well ends up biting the bullet. And can Just Ice get over and stop Yogurt from getting the execute in time? Yes, he can. Yogurt chose a really long execution there, which is probably not the right call, honestly. Um, and I think that's going to... Because we saw how much Solix had to try and protect him from that and took damage in so doing. I mean, a, a few mis definitely mistakes on uh, Oversleeper's side. Friendly fire kill. Oh, hello, there we go. Can they get it? They did get it. Yeah. This. And, they get, and they get the point, yeah? Yeah, this might be just a lot of Defender Renown right being fed. Right, total, let's keep it on the totals now. So around 90 to 70-ish for Inconsistus. If they get killed... Revenge is being fed, though. Oh, yeah. Look at the Kameku. He is going to be able to Revenge hold for ages here. It's only 99, so he still can't pop that. There's no worry yeah, about but that. But that's threatening. If you see that much yellow, Mina B just yeah. got Revenge online. Oh, no! Kameku got killed before it could come into effect! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> If you get if you if you get tagged with a 38 damage heavy, um, well, we need a lot of health to get revenge off that. We're seeing another not nicely done there. They messed up that um, oh, Goki game. The second one messed up, but the no revenge feed we saw that because uh, Goki's bash doesn't hug yeah. doesn't feed revenge if it doesn't. I guess Prong got yelled at. Leave. Yep. Fuck away. <laughs> You're messing up too much. You're on timeout. <laughs> Ow. I really wish we could see point. damage done. I, I really, I want to see Mr. Living's damage numbers done over the course of the past two maps we've seen. Sli Living has just been slugging it out with top heavy after top heavy in these ganks. Another one? No, messes that one up. Yeah, bro. There's the juggy. You can't even delay that, like. That, it's an undodgeable. This is concerning. Living has a lot of HP and has super armor is actually available to him at this point on anything he does. So this is going to be a case of wait out the jug and hope that Marishal doesn't do much to you in the meantime. Just Dice just came back from spawn and has inspiration available, which is going to make Marishal very intimidating because he just got the damage boost from that. And he's going to stay in the circle. Living touches it as well. And now oversleepers have to be very careful. Yeah, I mean, I've like, had a lot of renown already. Um, yeah, seeing... they keep, like, running in here. I guess it is really, like you said before, just to stall the point generation. Because it works. If you look at the score, they are ahead. But renown-wise, they shouldn't be. Yeah, like you said, renown-wise, they are not. Well, about halfway behind, I'd say. Um, tier 1s and tier, tier 1s versus tier 2s. But, I mean, it can be worthwhile if you then can maintain the the point yeah but look at that as well three kills just now and now they can finally move off so the is like really three. far ahead. if they do it properly and use their feats this should now be a lot of score towards uh inconsistent now if yeah they, they can utilize it properly back. it's not a huge it's not a huge lead they they are that the um obviously just have Good yeah, peel by prone. Excellent peel by prone, giving Marishal the time to get out, and Just Ice gets called in. Excellent macro. Yeah, really nicely done there. Yeah. Should be getting B in a second. Should be the keyword no, in that I'll sentence. Actually There's still the a fight. <laughs> yeah, there is fighting still going on, so should is the keyword in that sentence. Multiple bits of architecture there for prone, has to roll away, but Kameku could chase very well with the Janhu. Bash gets through the full block, somehow teleports behind him. Nothing personnel, yeah, kid. Would and Unusual. gets the kill. Meanwhile, Just Ice gonna have to retreat. Legion in the mid fighting Living is gonna be the opposite of Living's name in a moment if he's not careful. Dashes away. Just Ice tries to throw it. Oh! The Toe Bash is not enough to stop the Hyper Armored Heavy. And he goes down. Kameku follows Legion in the respawn box shortly. They've been testing over on C, but 
Minabi wasn't able to win his 1v1 in time and not manage to get off the point, although the defender around Fed is only minimal because the, um, the final oh, kill goes to the Orochi. So, so look at it, look at Mr. Little yeah. 10 and 1. 10 and 1. I mean, like, has tier 4. It looks like Legion's given up. Or just is that, is that what it needs, Legion and the, and the Russian team? <laughs> I mean, Legion is prone to tilting, so I can see that they sometimes playing the mind games against him are not a bad idea. Yeah. Um, Juggy is going to be deployed by Mr. Living. Right yeah, this I think Living must have been... Oh, been tier attention. 4, here we go. This is going to suck. Coming, yeah. First kill for Mr. Living. Going to start swinging on Legion. Side heavy. Parried. Excellent beating by Yogurt. Marishal gets architected oh. twice. Marishal gets knocked over as well by Living. This is going horrendously for Inconsistus right now. They had so much momentum that with those feats and completely wasted. That yep. tier 4 did absolutely nothing absolutely good for nothing, them. Yeah. 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 The uh, duration nerf of minus 25 seconds really changed that thing. <laughs> it's still strong, but it has to actually be thought about now, rather than just mindlessly used. That tier yeah, just as one is 1v1 on C as well. So Living immediately was able to go heal. was really well done, like timing-wise. Alright. Legion's gonna try and run away from Marishal. Excellent deflection! No, sir, you go back to base. And Marishal's gonna go oh. take the home point off of yeah. Oversleepers. Should be a backup, yes, exactly. Yeah, this is gonna, this is really very dangerous for Oversleepers now. I mean, yeah. they've a big feat advantage. They, they've now lost their points advantage as well. Prone holding off until Living can get here. This is, I mean, they're about to be breaking. This is looking really, really bad for them. I find it, oh, failed. Prone has not been on no. the ball with these Living. ganks. Defenders Although we did see there, really nice example of a blocked light confirming a guard break. He could have backstepped into an undodgeable heavy and killed Minabi there. Reinforcements are on the way to assist Inconsistus's assassin as Mina tries to run away, uses the kunai. That will apply a tag to living, but hopefully that's called out and they wait on that. Mina has to make a choice. Do you go back in or where? do you go try and heal? I mean, he's not what I need to heal. Where can he go? He's got to take C or A and A is being guarded by somebody. Nice interrupts. Uses the Riptide as well to slip around. Ah, oh, no dice. Bonk from Mr. Living. Takes him down. And he dies slowly enough that he's not going to get the free resurrection. Living tries to swing with the Juggy. Yogurt doesn't take the bait. And Living has to be very careful. He doesn't get swung on with a couple unblockables. And many of them are available in this setup. Just like hanging on. A sliver of health goes down. But as long as they keep... Oh, oh no, they actually managed to take them at this point, And they come out of breaking. Excellent. I mean, come back, go back in the other direction very easily. I mean, they're at feet disadvantage. Tier fours might be coming back online for Let's have again. Um, Inconsistus. We've got a tier four on the Janhu and on Raider uh, and um, Jang Jun. Jang Jun, even. Yeah, tier fours, Looks you can like see for Inconsistus be... are coming up fairly soon. I'm swapping through them now. Living almost has his. That's going to be very important. Marishal does not have one yet. Prone is very injured and does not have a tier four. Mm, it's time to get them. Um, they managed to... They, they lost mid, but I managed to regain it, pushing Inconsistus back into breaking. That almost hit. Oh, Arishal misses. I think that was, must have been prone. Yeah, that was Nice prone. parry from Marishal. Ow. Architecture. Oh, Architecture. I mean, he's surviving amazingly oh, yeah, mid. well. Okay, there. Let's get the white. Yeah, shot. I want to see whether they clear them. Yeah. Uh, what is it? Three minions holding right it right for now. oversleepers. There are two minions holding it for oversleepers. No, there's three. There's a sneaky one on the side here. Let's get the other shot on the side. Prone dodges the arrow from Kameku. The minions. The minions are still here for oversleepers. They're still holding it. Attackers oh, and the minions don't last no. just oh, and they rally, Attackers but two of them are still dead and one one health on Just Ice is going down. That's, they, they didn't manage to break it in time. They are essentially, is one against the world. Rolls of the bear trap, avoids the... You lost one alive, arrow. complete the mission. I, don't, I think he's going to be very much struggle to... Save this one and get and they've even unbroken. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was out. Done. Okay. Well played. Can we just First match missing, can... maybe missing objectivity and about this minion ring? Fuck me. Okay. Yeah. Let's As actually take case. a second and explain why we're freaking out about three minions in the middle of the map. What what happened there? 
A well, minion lane, the mid lane, can be held by a singular minion. If that minion just thinks, no, I'm standing there now, then I will be standing here and this point will not go neutral. Because, like I said, a singular minion can hold the lane, but to capture the lane, you need three minions. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah that's basically what lane. happened. And they weren't really even at the at the line, you know, it would already push back, but the game just considers it still held. So yeah, it was kind of unfortunate. Yeah, just one, only needs to be one, and you really need to be focusing on the minions when you're fighting yeah. these. Um, and especially Harbour in particular has a tendency for one minion, because the uh, attacker minions come on from the side, they come on from like the, the side, uh, basically perpendicular to the, um, the direction of the the mid lane the front as it were they have to go kind of all the way across it so that's often you find one minion on the very far side of the mid lane who's able to hold the whole zone against even like 10 or 20 minions um can, that can be all the way across on the other side so we've we've made it we managed to get it that we've had 30 like a whole bunch of minions on the defender side of it but of attacker minions on the defender side, but a single defender minion who's been holding on in the very corner uh, at the other yeah, end. Yeah, it was fun testing. <laughs> yeah, protecting was the it, Was it minion Monogarty problem video? Minion. Was that it? It's like um, one and a half years ago or something, or even two yeah, years like ago that. when we did that. It was a long time ago, but yeah, it looked really weird. A single minion can hold as long as it wants, and you really need to kill it. And maybe you can blame Prone in that regard here now. He should have just kill that fucking one minion but unlocking and actually targeting the minion might have just gotten him killed as well so hard tell i guess hard call yeah. to make the smallest okay. differences could mean the biggest differentials in clutch moments like that even like i completely forgot about the minions until you told me to look there freeze i was looking at the yeah. flashy orochi plays but yeah, yeah those minions actually clutched the game out there for oversleepers who, if you looked at the scoreboard, were not doing better than Inconsistus. Yeah, they had... I mean, they had been holding the on the whole time in terms of... The beginning of was point. terrible, to be honest. But, yeah. They didn't play well, it's just now, at the end they put it, uh, pulled it together. Yeah. I mean, if you are holding up with points, then you... And you can keep the points total equal, then it does only take one fight that you win to win the whole match, really. And that is what we saw, pretty much. Because they had one fight on C, which they won, and that gave them a lot of renown. Presumably because they'd been behind so much, you get you get comeback renown bonuses if you died a bunch or if the opponents on on kill streaks and so on. So, I think Legion went from his tier two all the way up to his tier four with a single like you know just one fight. Um, so that was the only one they needed to to win to put them back in the game, and then the breaking fight to win to take the game. So yeah. It was a definite, impressive comeback there. All right, we're just waiting on an eye to appear, so unless you chaps have anything to add, we can cut to a very short break and let our voices rest while we wait for the eye. We can do a giveaway whilst waiting, I guess. Uh, let's do the end of this match. That sounds good to me. Yeah, because we have the traditional waiting for next match break, so we'll do the next giveaway after the after this match. We're currently 1-0 in this best of three in the favour of oversleepers. Yeah, we'll, we'll be RB, folks. We'll be back on mics when we see an eye appear.
Hey folks, apologies for the delay. We're trying to figure out why there's no I. We're just using the opportunity to rest our voices while we do it, but yeah, we're figuring out why all of a sudden this match number two is not happening. Unless, let me actually bring you guys back in the, uh, on stream real quick. Was that the second map and we just messed it up? What was that first map? Uh, no, Harbor was the beginning. Harbor was beginning. And, okay, so we know that uh, we're right. What happened? <laughs> uh, let's see. There were so I fell asleep. Uh, oh, please no. No, uh, me and B had an issue with his game crashing, so they are working that out. Technical issues. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, chaps, then. We have a choice. Do we want to stick it for the full set or abandon halfway through to try and find another match that's been going halfway through? Uh, we can look at the match from Homeless Shelter versus Extra Cool Gatchers. That's just getting set up now. Ah, oh, is it? Is it? Yeah. We have oh, they completed the C11 already. Yeah. Yeah. Play it. Uh, so, eleven is yeah, sure. Let's go for that then. Okay. They so banned High Fort Bridge, picked Overwatch, Beachhead, and then Temple Garden. Okay, we're we're abandoning thread on this one since it's taking too long. And we're going to the other winners semis. Oh we're live again Just, now, by the way. Yeah, we're, we're live we're alive again, by the way. Yeah. We'll do it live! We 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 decided we're going to abandon thread and go for the other one since this one's taking too long due to the technical difficulties. Yeah. yeah. This should be. I don't know, is it a stump? Should it be a stump? Uh, I don't think it is. Uh, These guys, <laughs> they. They. Technically, the actual gachias were ahead of Mistake Correctors, I think it was the name at the time, in the last major. Um, Weren't they actually... really close? Was, and, and in the first qualifier, didn't we have a bracket reset with them? Yeah, I think so. They played um, really well. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm... So my bad, man, my bad. The extra cool gachias are a good team, and they and they have the benefit of playing together for a long time. They were the I'm pretty sure the same team as were in the first Dominion series. They just changed their names, um, and you know they they've stuck together all this time, and that does have an impact on consistency of, of, of how coordinated you are. Because you know you just all the knowing what when your ally is going to throw a guard break for you and that kind of thing yeah the, the, the trust is all there already because yeah. they've practiced enough that's things others have to build it and on the other hand you kind of slack enough after a while like if you know what i mean if you've been in a team the same team for a long time and you think you've hit your your maximum potential and getting over that would require an immense amount of work a lot of teams are not willing to put in that effort. So that what they do is just switch out a single member, which they think offers them so much more than that other member. So you yeah. never know how far has a team progressed. Do they think they have reached that limit already? Or do they not care about that limit at all? So they are fine with that level they're playing at right now. We got I. But yeah, it is yeah. interesting. I mean, in... Because for a... Yeah, go ahead, sorry. Well, I mean, this game we do have, there is some, unfortunately, somewhat, you do reach your biological limit um, in terms of reaction speeds. And so there's only so well you can stand up in 1v1s and react to confirms in ganks and so on. And if you've got very fast reactions, um, that's something you can't really compensate for. Mm -hmm. um, sorry, if you don't have, have fast reactions. By the way, we have another team without a goalkeeper. Oh, yes, we yeah, do. We've got a Jan Hu on Hiran is running a Jan Hu. We saw his Hira, his Jan Hu in um, the uh, last major, and we've got an Orochi instead. Interesting. Oh, yeah, he was the Jan Hu on Nemesis, right? Uh, yes. Was he the last major? Was Nemesis still with him, right? Yeah. No, he, yes. he played Jan Hu actually for L Collectors um, because they didn't have Mina B Sharp. Oh yeah, that happened. All right, here we are. So extra cool gatches on the attacking side, homeless shelter squad on the defending side. What's the rotation? This is a really weird start now, is it? Oh, we're doing this again. What a bizarre start that is. Attackers captured. I mean, they do get two points straight from the beginning, right? Do they? I mean, they they, they get a they get mid they quickly. Yes, it's it's true they have mid, but I mean. It can go very quickly back in favor. It's not like they've cleared a bunch of minions. It's like the first wave they've cleared. So I expect to see mid switch back over very quickly. 
Yeah, we've actually got two consecutive fights, fights happening. Immediately contested. There's fights also happening on C simultaneously. Let's go for the white shot here to get all of it in one go. We've got a 2v2 happening here. It's going to be... Oh, a deflect from Baron there. Higher encounters with a external unblockable zone. Or undodgeable zone, excuse me. Baron caught with the dodge, followed up by Hyron. Claw not able to peel successfully in time, not in place. Claw tries to go for the zone either, but gets oh. danced around. That's going to be a clean take of A by yeah. Homeless Shelter. And meanwhile... Impressed yeah, by Hyron, really. to be honest. Yeah. Seeing that GB and immediately going for it. It was good. Usually people are too slow for that. C point still being fought over. Friends by Potter held long yeah. enough. I mean, they had this. They also had a two v two comp there. That Jan who does really nicely against Orochi on account of his undodgeable zones, able to just catch these um, dodge cancels. Yeah. So they had a much better two comp there, I'd say. The only thing you got to watch for is getting red and then getting deflected off the undodgeable because it is easier to deflect an undodgeable. That's the only thing I'd say in that yeah. specific regard. This is true. Um, oh, I, I hear I hear grumbling from Freeze. I want to get your take after this. Oh because... no, I was really so like. Why do they push in here and they really get demolished so easily? Oh, we've still got fighting I mean, on Obviously they're fed to revenge. Okay, I'll What is going that. on here? And Hiran gets... <laughs> oh no, it's a disaster! <laughs> it's gonna be a massacre! Oh, all right, I cast the curse, there we go. Yeah, my bad, my bad. That should not have happened. Freeze got his no, first was... murder in the broadcast! Yeah. <laughs> there was a failed guard break from confirming that they didn't oh, man, confirm yeah. raider, the raider zone, which would have killed him before revenge popped. Um, and he just let him, it, that didn't happen. It came out, he's got the parry, and we are now seeing a double cap scenario for extra cool gachias. I mean, you just can't afford to make, these are the kind of mistakes that happen when the teams are not, you know, if you've not practiced as, as much with each other. And seeing as the team is rare, Drop attack, new, drop attack, then... drop attack. No dice. We are there. zero for two yeah. on drop attacks working yeah. on Overwatch today on the broadcast. Uh, but that I mean, ledge that actually work, yeah. works. That ledge is not that bad to drop attack from. Oh, okay. Back to C, though. Three versus two. Damage feet deployed by Franz, although he is going to take a defensive posture for a little bit of time. There are more reinforcements for Homeless Shelter Squad coming in soon from off screen, but also extra cool gadgets. You have the Raider coming in soon. So keep an eye on that. I believe. Actually, that's the uh, Shigoki. I take that back. Coming in soon. Baron in the corner. Here comes Honka. There's the orange raider I was looking for. Able to come in. Replace Moki, who just dropped in the fight. Baron has Kunai to assist, but is being harassed by two members of Homeless Shelter Squad, so not able to provide as much assistance as he may like. There you go, and the you neutral zone catches that on, block, on dodgeball in the middle of it. Nicely played there. But they, they need to get this point quickly. There we go. We see a well-timed on guard break to confirm that unblockable. They, there we go. They've, they've managed to get a hold on. Oh, look, oh they've won on A as well. This is turning into a triple yeah. cap. They killed Honka. Goodness gracious. I'm Moki. Yeah. Like you should, you go mid. You break mid. Don't have to kill anybody. And that's exactly what they're doing. Yeah. It gives you time for your allies to respawn. Um, although with it long execution happening on... Uh, was it must be... Uh, a. Or on a. On yeah, A, yeah, that they will still be outnumbered for a while, and they have to wait quite a long time. Luckily, yeah. they had enough of a hard point lead that it's not disastrous. They haven't had time to push Pinsor immediately, but that A. has allowed uh, the homeless gang to start to bring this back. In terms of they're, they're now they are wet, definitely in back in the game in terms of hard points. I mean, nice. again, we're going with the two two v twos. Um, I wonder if they switched up their compositions with who, which, yeah. The Orochi has not gone to the one with the Janhu this time. Yep. I don't think they had the, the, the choice, right? Claw? I mean, just kind of, it just kind of happened depending on which ladder you went up. Herman? Oh, I think they would, Herman is they out would of say which one they go to. Herman is out of stamina for a little bit. He wasn't able to get a full punish off that he may have liked over here on C-Point. Claw is low, so is Moki. Both members of extra cool gachias have to be very careful. They don't friendly fire each other just like oh that. Oh my god. And Herman gets the two for one special. And now we move over to that discreet 1v1 yeah. that turned to the 2v2 over here on A that you guys were talking about earlier. He also immediately rotated. Will he be quick enough to stop? No. Cat has happened. What, what? Yeah. Herman immediately after he didn't even heal. Fully, like you see here, immediately. Okay, just fire flasks himself. All right, there we go. Interesting decision. Go commit life uninstall, viable tactic? Yeah. Question mark. 
I was about to commend him at the beginning, and then he just fire flasks himself. <laughs> if you saw that, let him get a what? One... Oh, that's a shame. Put himself out of stamina. Because that let him 1v1. I was going to say it wasn't maybe that bad. He let him get a 1v1 and get one kill on the guy, and then almost. Um, almost finished off the second. If he hadn't put himself out of stamina, that would have been a. Could have been um, amazing, anti gang, really. Side Hard note. Gone lot of the same thing ever. Tiny detail Except. there. Setmix actually delayed the auto light that you get, the double up, to allow his teammate to get the confirmed kill. Nice little detail that you can use in your play in the day to day. You can delay the Orochi's guaranteed light, but still make it guaranteed to set up your teammates. Kunai hits his ally in the bum. Semix uh, misses Moki, who's on just a sliver of health and finally goes down. Again, Defender, yeah. uh, this is good. They got the, the kill, went instead of Jirochi, went to the Raider, who's going to have feeding a lot of Defender now to his teammates. And we will see that the right Assassin should be getting. Yeah, Semix now 200. And even only He's only on two kills and three deaths. He's actually still doing rather well on Renown, considering that overall score. Baron gets mincemeated in this fight on mid, has to go retreat up to A to go heal. That is still in the possession of extra cool gachias. Hard point totals are in favor of extra cool gachias, but home the shelter squad currently have the momentum. They've got C, they've got B, they've got more HP in these fights, and they are closer technically to breaking through the soft point advantage. So Claw's gonna have to be wary of that. He doesn't get sent to the Shadow Realm with one or two extra hits. He may want to peel. I say he has to peel back here. Go heal. Yeah. Uh, That's I mean, why. It's quite, unfortunately, it's quite difficult to get back up to A. So, if you've got the ladder, and it's quite easy to peel off. I mean, it's Incoming! Bit, at least. There we go! Oh, well, that should work this time! Huzzah! But, look, it's, it's left her man enough time to go up, and I think he will be able to get there before. No, no. Rock, the good use of Rush meant that he didn't. Nicely done. We trained Hyper Armor High Bill, it's full Chad! Oh, gets thrown off the point though. Herman still swanging, has to watch his stamina reserves though. GB gets countered, no parry. Bates, mind games, not able to get the Hyper Armored Heavy off in time and chain. Oh, great guard This break. is bad. Yeah, I'm stamina. Herman's in the mix. I'm reacting to Flash now, come on. <laughs> <laughs> he's chasing, he's got he's got the raid. Hey, bear trap, there you go. Actually buys a little bit of time away from Setmix. This there is breaking in play here though. That's gonna be the first guaranteed dash takeout. But no, actually I take the back, I had the wrong way around. Homeless shoulder squad able to kill extra cool gadgets, and it was them in breaking. Now they're in breaking. Oh, oh, no! No! Yes, I take that back. I was back. just about to yeah. say he should have taken he's a longer down. execution. I, know, I was gonna say the same thing. Who else is dead? Oh. That execution last a long time. Uh, that is also... Claw is dead, as well. Fury Flask! Oh Fury my Flask god, the damage! And the Jan is here for... This, this sucks! Is... Yeah, that's Just really, really, them down really unfortunate <laughs> for... Uh, Alright, and that's a win. Yeah, there so, we go. So, a, a classic example of what a uh, fellow in the community by the name of Brogler, Mr. Crack, would call... You get feet, you win game. Easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you see, they all ended up with their tier fours. Um, that vendor renown was really yeah. handy. That looked like a little bit of a carry. Yeah, that was just a complete feet snowball at the end there. That was foul. Yeah, her man and Hiran both playing out of their minds. Really, really well played 13 there. 13 and 2, 13 and 2. 806 <sighs> renown from her man. Bloody hell. So that's going to be 1 0 to home the shelter. Well, it was a pretty close match overall, though. I was surprised how close it was, but hmm. if you look at the scoreboard, all these kills, but at the end, oh, I might have as well the other way. Yeah, um, I mean, they had some sloppy moments. Um, the failed gank that lost them the, the, the C point early on, but they didn't manage to pull it back. And they had some, I mean, the another one was the use of Fire Flask, which was almost amazing, but ended up not being amazing. He pumped out his own died. Um, yeah. You know, that's the thing. Sometimes you just do something. I don't know whether he intended to do it like that, but if it works out in an amazing way, you look like the fucking hero. But yeah. if it doesn't, you look like the, I don't know, the full circus, I guess. <laughs> hmm. All right.
Beachhead, map number two. Correct me if I'm wrong, gentlemen, but Beachhead, there has been some changes with the spawning as of this patch, right? Yes. Yes. What's up with well, that? We can, a, we can actually have a look. We'll at stay, uh, take advantage of it. Yeah, Setmix and Baron should head straight for the other team's point. All right, so which team yeah. should but I spectate first if, immediately? What's going on here with the changes? Just look Try to take an overview top. of um, the The thing map. is, we still have the faster capture time. So yeah. I'm asking which uh, spawns defenders, were changed. Which spawns were changed? Yeah. Both. Oh, Both oh, okay. closer. Never mind. Defenders are still favored. If defenders send two points to A, then they should be fine. Yeah. Okay, but but if attackers don't send two to C, which they are doing though, but Setmix doesn't even try to get it. Okay. So that's They're fine. Playing so these are old screen. rotations. These are old rotations. Yeah. Nothing changed. Yeah. Can forget they... it straight away. Nothing changed. With that. Yeah. <laughs> but basically, what they could have done is they could have contested each other's points, which is why you'd have to send two people to A and two people to C. Yeah. So the essentially the the, the change for the map overall is it going from being essentially a home point map to being much closer to being a uh, you know symmetrical midpoint map like Temple Garden, for example. Okay. Yeah, that, that was the, the, yeah. the main idea I wanted to extract because mm. it can be a little bit uh, subtle with those changes that would come out. Some people may not even notice that the spawns were changed slightly on Sanctuary, but that, that did happen yeah. and that can make an impact if you exploit it. But as we saw, it didn't happen. We're seeing a much more traditional fighting style, a lot more discreet. Oh, one on her man shed. eating the fucking random mm. ass heavy there. <laughs> that was a gamble. <laughs> They're trading Claire. home points, yeah. if you want to call yeah. them home points. So Semix, Semix uh, did a ri was absolutely a dominant 1v1 against Baron and managed to go up to camp A with a minimal health loss. Um, and they were doing really well down on, uh, on mid as well, but they got respawned back in and weren't able to go and now C is fallen to their enemies. Excellent from Baron. Can set makes make enough reads in time. Now he's got a little bit of yep. tempo. Let's see what he can do with it. Undodgeable. Another mix-up. No, Baron doesn't bite. Another deflect! Let's go! Set mix now on the back foot. Takes initiative. Parried though, Baron says no, sir, I'll steal it back. Isn't able to dodge the kick, and Baron takes the home point back for ECG. Yeah. Yeah. Trading points. Nice. I want to point out there to our viewers, we saw um, Semix punishing the kick with a delayed undodgeable light attack, uh, dodge attack, which is one a very reliable way to punish the kick. Um, if you're playing a Rochi against Rochi, you can punish the kick every single time, just delay your undodgeable attack. And Hiran goes to the trade and does manage to land it. You, you trade with no health left. That's not a good trade, whatever. No stocks. <laughs> push the rest of the team needs to come i guess oh the set mix all right might work out now yeah franz is on the way now the call was made you can see him slowly uh, able to start coming over d flip by set mix onto moki able to bust the hyper armor but but hyron though is low and not able to capitalize on another excellent forward dodge heavy that we saw from last map so has to play it a bit safer set mix watch your stamina sunshine he is known for putting himself exhausted recklessly sometimes, so he has to watch that very carefully. Hero needs to get out of there, because he is... I mean, if, he, if he dies, which he's very likely to, he's going to feed Defender now, although Homka super low, Hero super low, Moki super low. This is could very easily turn into their Set point. Mix and down. goes down. There we go. Unlocks tier two for his uh, opponents. Oh, Razor, it's on you now, my man. This is... Winnable as a 1v3, which is very winnable yeah. here. Reminder, this is the home point right now. I'm oh, sorry, this is uh, captured by Extra Cool Gatches, so any kill they get on Homeless Shelter Squad gives them Defender Renown, and they've just got two? Make that a third. That was really unfortunate. They're going to have a massive Renown advantage now. Look, tier th almost at Tier 3 on Baron and, Mo and Moki, and the others at Tier 2s, whereas we're not got Tier th uh, nowhere near Tier 3s for... Um, the homeless shelter They're squad. Who now being pushed themselves on? Oh, that was a miscommunication. That actually being confirmed. That kick would have confirmed the unblockable. Claw. Here and now. Oh, no, Baron. Bye, Baron. No, oh, he got double tapped. They wanted I mean, him that's, dead. That's, that's yeah. They probably really should abandon this now, right? Yeah, one one player should have done that. You don't need to send two to drop attack. No, 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 not that. I mean, this. I think extra cool gadgets should abandon this point fight at all. 
completely. Like they should go mid now. Just clear it. Yeah, probably. They had one dead, one low, and they pushed in four. I don't know why they did that. But I guess they're keeping them low. A man and Piren are really low. One dead now. I guess they're doing well. Yeah, they're not far off either. Yeah, okay. Now Moki's going to retreat. Reinforcements are back. Going to give Homeless Shelter Squad a lot of grief on their own point. And ECG are making a very good situ situation of this. Harassing on oh, C point. Nice. No deaths. Franz being bullied off the point. Potentially no. Catches it and stays on. Yeah, you kick into kick to um, just try and, just try and stall. Mm -hmm. Manages to survive until allies can get here. But it does eventually go down. Baron now is going to... Oh, they didn't manage to get the wall punish. Unfortunately. I don't know why head. he even tried throwing that. Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> thing that I say in team fights is if you throw in a team fight, you're throwing a team fight. Um, <laughs> if you throw in a team fight, you throw in a team fight. Filthy Spaniard, yeah. 2021. Hyron looking for some more cutting barbs of his own, mainly with the sword. Moki has to be careful of this. But Hiram being out of stamina, not able to provide any assistance until he's able to regain his stamina. Moki has Phalanx available now. That is uh, on the board. Not going to be popped though unless he gets peeled. He got peeled by Claw. Good job. That gets Moki out. That gets Phalanx available. And that's going to give ECG even more time to fight on this point. And look at all those hard points ticking up in the background. They've ECG own B. They own A. That's going to be passive income and stonks all the time. This fight is happening. That homeless Shelter Squad squad is not able to push them off and stop this yeah and we've seen that that's the benefit this is the danger of pushing onto enemy points early on they wouldn't have those tier fours if it weren't for dying on their opponent's home points they weren't held so another one goes down another another one oh this is wait no it's oh, holding you know how this is yeah yeah uh defender now Yep. Now this is the better uh, round for um, homeless shelter yeah, squad for yeah. attackers. Yes. Yeah, they get a couple but of. Look kills. how much points they're pulling out now. They've. Yeah. Yeah. This is that they're definitely getting something out of this, even if it's at the cost of extra renown. Yeah. This game might be a demonstration of the age-old question: What's a better thing to have in for on a competitive? A significantly large hard point lead or feat advantage? We might actually see that come into play here. Well, the feet advantage is over already, I think. You reckon? Oh, yeah. Wait, set mix just got tipped. Jesus. I thought that was the other Orochi, to be honest. Nope. My bad, because the other Orochi had used... See, uh, yeah. Fear itself was already used by Baron. They basically, despite the feet advantage, they lost that. Hmm. And fed extra renown over there. Now it's the other way around. Let's just see whether... El what is it? I keep them. It's not El Collectors. It's what? Extra cool I mean, Homeless shelter. And Elm no, no, Homeless spot. shelter. Whether they can... Do it better than extra cool gachias. So it's a reversal of roles right now. Yes. So they basically attempted the same thing. They've they've coming in with their newly acquired feats from. Uh, although. Bye, Herman. Herman goes down. Yeah, I mean, at this point, you don't even worry too much about beating defender now because, oh. well, having said that, he has unlocked fire fire flash for Honker. So this is that was a, a risky push that has had bad consequences. Another tier four online. Or extra yeah. gachias. But basically, before they didn't have the feats, and this time extra gachias just had the feats that they unlocked, but on cooldown. It was the same scenario, yeah, but it didn't last nearly as long, and now it's the other way around again. Yeah, and it's starting to get into the danger zone for near to breaking. Mm. Yeah. Looking, I've never seen this on this map this for way. Homeless squad. Yeah, it seems like the Razor has a bad day, doesn't he? It's, I don't know, it's not doing that great. Not yeah. this map, not the one before. Oh, catches the recovery oh, on the unblockable. Really that nice. sucks. Revenge is going to bail Herman out, and he has uh, Rage still up. That's going to be even more protection, even more damage. Look at how much that side heavy chunked for. Herman had Revenge. Unblockable oh. just kills because Setmix had the tier 4 up. Speaking of tier 4s, so there's a flash that was just deployed there by ECG Honka. That's going to be an extra bit damage. That was a Fury Flask as well for even more value, but I think that may have actually did put see, his teammates. Did you see Herman managed yeah. to save Setmix from the longbow? Yeah. Um, by killing, killing two people the... while. Burning. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> that was nice. Baron on his own until reinforcements arrive. Has to be wary of feeding more defender renown. 
Ideally, he defends here to allow the rest of his team to get back and put Homeless Shelter Squad into breaking. One of them arrives, and the second will be here shortly. Another plus comes out this time for the attackers. We are looking at... The ECG is also pushing mid, by the way. Oh, they are. Honkers there. There's the core. And Setmix is going to rotate out of this fight to go take A. That will force a counter rotation from mid, I imagine, from ECG. Yeah, I don't think they'll be able to stop it. Tier 4, Jade, Jan who Tier 4 is out. Yep. No, they have. Somebody's managed to get there in time. Setmix is on one health and... Oh, yes. ...decides to leave the point. Let's go I don't know, shot. he probably shouldn't fight at all because... I mean, either should die... I mean, he can't die now. He should There's have died like 15 Hyrule. seconds ago, right? Fran's got the yeah, Super dangerous. Attack. They're gonna be Moki's trying to carry here. There. He's got the bash. He got... Oh, Moki's oh, He's ledge. still going! Moki is still going! That was a clutch ledge there. Holy shit. Harman can get the res though. The immediate rotation back by Homeless Shelter. Excellent communications there. Their back's against the wall, so they play smart and conservatively. And it is a 4v3 now. Time. It's a 4v3 though. They can manage to win that fight quickly and then actually do plays on the map if it even comes to that. A good pop of, good pop of um, Phalanx. Phalanx. The unfortunate whiff of that unblockable didn't hit Chlorian in his, in his recovery. He's got his tier 4 ready to go. And um, we've got Longbows waiting in the brim. Setmix is losing a 1v1 against Baron. He's about to get he's about to get rotated on again. He gets no! one kill. He's still going. The, yeah, and he gets the um, Bounty Hunter proc. One of the attackers goes down. Heron's about to die as well if he's not careful. Setmix is doing really well. Semix oh my god. somehow went out of the fight and Whoa! profited. What is going that on? Amazing, amazing comeback from Setnix there. Uh, won the 1v1 with no health. Won the 1v1 with, against an opponent with full health. That was really nicely done. And But here, this is looking super dangerous. One hit will be enough to kill either of these. A longbow comes out and kills one of them. Long... Zone kills the second. Setnix is on. Okay, Setnix, do it oh. again. Just go do it again. It's all you've got. Oh, yeah, just win the whole... Just win. Yeah. What the fuck yeah, was that tier 2? I don't know. End of the match. I think that was hand aimed. Manually aim. <laughs> I mean, Semix played amazingly well in that yes, one. But then yes, instead yes. of rotating back into the team fight, went down to mid. I, it must be to try and clear to get some points. But I think that was a real, um, a real misplay actually, because then it meant that he, they didn't finish up their fight on C in time to get any healing off before they came in with feats again. So I mean, they had to hold out. Then he needed point. They, need, they needed points to try and. Try and get mid to bring it back, but I don't think that yeah. was the play. And I exactly, think it was it was a really hard call. There were yeah, I mean, like it was three hundred points down. They needed, like you said, they needed points. They couldn't get out of breaking anymore. So Setmix just tried that, but had he stayed, was would have been the same. I mean, can they hold yeah, out for three hundred I mean, points and win another big team fight without any chance of healing with one one man down? They I might think, have been right? able to get that res though. But pre fire, yeah, around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> it's a problem if you just have one bullet, you don't pre-fire. <laughs> <laughs> He's just spinning up the um, yeah. the old barrels. Spinning up? What? What is this? Steampunk? Yes, let me go get my pop gun out. Rotate the barrels. Get your Goki with a minigun, tier 4. Please don't joke about that. They'll do an event with it. <laughs> we don't need we have... someone with an actual gun. I mean... Actually, to be fair, there was going to be a gun execution for the Wu Lin that got leaked on PS4 way back when that hasn't surfaced for like a year and a half. There was okay, going to be a gun. Yeah, there was going to be a gun at one point, like execution, yeah. but it just kind of went and never came out. Yeah, I mean, they decided they just didn't want a gun in front of them, and they were going to go with... Yeah, with, but um, why? Is there a set yeah, ratings? Ratings? I think it's age ratings. not to do it at this point? I think it's age ratings. If you have... a gun in it, it might mess with the uh, the rating of the game, and that's messy on the business side. Isn't so. it M already? Is yeah, the game? but they might need to re get it re-rated if it changes. Yeah. Well, it probably costs money then, yeah. 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 Alright, so it's 1-1, one, one, right? Yep, yeah, 1-1. This one. is side of match. Yeah. One all. Can't believe they're going to get rated clock. They have been, <laughs> C13, the technical issues have been resolved. They've got a sub for Mina B. Ah. So, um, Oversleepers... Uh, going to the next match with one O lead, but.
having to take sub substitute instead. We can go straight into that when this match is finished, because this is the final one of the set. Yes. Any changes on feet? I'm spying. That's a big fat no. I am noticing. I'm really surprised. A uh, random question here for the for, for the folks on the desk: Winner's advantage being deployed by Hyren on Janhu. Are the other options for Janhu in Tier Two not better than Winner's advantage? Ah, this is a region question. You're basically asking because NA is, is, uh, yeah, is the the Jilin Rose is the pick for NA teams. Hmm. And they're also picking the, I don't know, what's the first one? The, the tier one kunai? Uh, yeah, the, the burning fiery kunai. Tusk yeah. Fiery Tusk, yeah, they're, they're, they're using that. And EU seems to be, we're using zone winner's zone. advantage and bounty hunter. Okay. Defenders captured zone so. A. And both sides hold on to that opinion. We're fighting oh, yeah. in mid now. Okay, this is a nice change for Temple. Oh, bye-bye, Claw. It was nice knowing you for three seconds before it just got melted by the entirety of the Homeless Shelter Squad. Baron being isolated from Homka, not able to provide assistance. Homka tied up in a 1v2 now against Bonaparte in set mix. Gonna perhaps retreat. Let's keep it, actually keep an eye on Homka. Who's been sent to A? Uh, that is, let's find out, Moki. Moki got said to A. Oh uh, man, the Raider. Rotate. Oh, he's giving it up. Yeah. Right. Back to the air. Baron got the deflect. Has revenge available. There's fighting all over the bloody place right now. Oh, Baron goes clean. Down. GB. And I yeah. think we'll see an early lead yeah. in renown for the um, homeless. Homeless shelter. Group. I think it's the the rotation was much better. I mean, you see it in kills as well. Just one for Baron. Oh, would Semix got. Only six renown off one takedown. Assassin renown when? Assassin renown, go burr. Oh dear. I don't know, I think giving up C on this map is just... Oh, you're putting yourself in such a big disadvantage, I think. Oh, that shadow. And as you can value. see, they're just deleting health bars now. Yeah, Hyren has been getting good value off of those extended hitboxes with Jan Hu. One of the best reasons to pick this character in the first place. What is this? Are you all of a sudden set mix? Putting yourself out of stamina like that. Getting... I think he wanted to make sure <laughs> he could, um, her man could chase, and it was worth it for letting her man get on the point and get the kill, even putting himself out of stamina. Oh, that was and foul. That I roast really someone nice. and you make me look bad for that, huh? Is that how we're doing it now? <laughs> Welcome to so Commentator's Kill. Oh, no. <laughs> has got a big health advantage and takes the kill, doesn't go over the execution, sees Chloro coming behind him and goes straight to the point. This is a triple oh. cap. In favor yeah, I guess they got some conviction now, huh? <laughs> Trying to make up for what happened last match. Yeah, it must be. I mean, we, we will see them now go to mid. Herman is going back up to A to make sure he gets some healing. Um, where, which point will they go to? Hiran has decided to run off the point, not noticing the Baron has come right behind it. That's... Yeah, but mystery. neither of the two noticed that. That should have been called out, right? Yeah, definitely everyone's bundling out. on C. Oh, okay, I guess everything's oh, there fine. There we go! There's the tech oh, we were talking about oh, last oh. week. The releasing the Raider charge early to get the kill on a dodgy angle. Yeah, they've been paying attention to Breeze's tips videos. Back on to C here. Yeah. Excellent. This could damage. actually mean uh, some proper renown now. Because renown is rather close at the moment. It's just the tier ones in nothing. Yeah. But if that uh, if that uh, fight goes the way of uh, a homeless shelter, then their renown is just spiking up. A oh, little bit nice of a malfunction at the turn. junction there for extra cool gatches trying to hit, take out Hyren. In comes the parry, but Herman is here to counter-attack. Honker able to get the kill on Franz Bonaparte and now can come back over to intercept Herman. Hyren left in the one versus one against Baron in the meanwhile. Can they clean up fast enough to prevent reinforcements who will be on the way shortly? Hyren is down. Herman just needs to last long enough until set mix could come. No, he's going to be... Attempting to clear oh, mid? Yes. What is going yeah. on here? Herman is absolutely right. Oh, right. reeling right now! Beautiful. He, so they tried to interrupt the guard break punish, but he killed him with an external heavy. So absolutely much fun. That's to be honest, I was about to call out Setmix. Why doesn't he come to see him? And I see him and just fucking deleting people. <laughs> what? Amazing play from Now the Baron has to there. stall. Yeah. Oh, delays the light slightly to allow Herman to get the top heavy. Yum. Yep. And this is a tier four. Look at the way the speeds. 
Yep, this is gonna suck for the next fight, and maybe even twice we might see this combo today. Probably, probably using it now. I wouldn't. wouldn't might as well. Is it? I mean, oh, that now, it's now three that against two. Why not? Oh, you should use it. Like I would say, twenty seconds of warhand, but I turns out didn't need it. I'm enjoying the clown masks on from her man. <laughs> I mean, it's it's all the emotes he's he's uh, in Twitch, right? These fucking yeah, yeah no, he does. He always I don't know, the, Joker, the... clown, whatever. It's on brand at least. It's on um, brand, yes. <laughs> claw. Oh, the whiff! Of... Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, that was foul. He had a huge damage buff from his tier one feet, which adds because there are so many opponents nearby. That gives a really big damage buff, and just the two heavies was enough to just delete the Orochi's health bar. And another two of ECG going down. This is looking very, very dominant for um, the homeless crew. The homeless, homeless shelter squad, squad who are currently Herman. living at large with their renown points. Look at this. Herman, no kills. Hiran, one. Uh, so, no deaths. Hiran, one death. Franz Mahad, one death. I mean, and they are now in breaking. You see, now I'm breaking. I have a huge feat as advantage. Hey, did Baron did just hit just... a minion? What the? Yeah. Okay, can he someone collect that, please? I want to look at the replay. And... He deflected and the flat hit a minion. Yeah, wow. that was like the reverse of the old Berserker tech from back in the day. Either way, talking about the current things. That's a Fury Fast that was just used there by Herman. That's going to be extreme damage applied to Baron, even inside of his revenge, but actually ends up hurting Setmix decently too. And I think the rest of Homeless Shell Squad as well are going to suffer from that decently. Herman trapped at a corner. Going to have to be careful. He's going to go down. But the break! Actually, that's going to be in favor of Homeless Shell Squad. Extra cool Gachi has now had to be a little bit wary. Yeah, we should end up with a triple cap. Oh, managed to get on the point just in, in time. We should get. If he, he has a stall. No. Oh, Razor. No, not enough. Using feats in the face of two people. Mm. <laughs> yeah, especially with especially with JJ's startup, and they've swapped it back over to a to a triple cap in the other direction. That should and be fine. That should clear mid now, and then four so against the on still. one point, right? Yeah, they'll focus which one. No, they're going two. Really? Why do they go? Two in to see. Oh, Semix thinks he can take a one v one on uh, on Aim, Semix? maybe. No, nope, came back. No, nope, comes back. He hasn't got feet advantage, so they're pushing all into C instead. Uh, I mean, they need to get one of these points. Um, I mean, B when mid goes uh, their give way, them... they will be breaking again. Breaking, yes. So maybe Herman's tier four will be online by then. Yeah, let's actually have a look at Herman real quick here. He's got halfway no, to fury. Really yeah. He's got a longbow waiting. Yeah, longbow is in the wings. Let's see how much is able to do here. Out. Oh, the, the bear down. trap! Oh, Semix able to get the kill, though, because Semix with a stamina. He could have kunai for the kill, I think, there. I think he probably will. No, no he's going to the oh, Semix. What? No. Oh, okay. Uh, Herman saved his ass. All right, so we just have Moki left. Okay. Yeah. And they are now the cannot break. unbreak Janhu tier four whiffs. Um, but I mean, oh, he doesn't get it goes into the fire anyway. So, I mean, this is this is uh, a really unwinnable situation now. But <laughs> I, I mean, it's just the, uh, the attacks the now. They're not ganking or anything. It's just. It's just. But yeah, I don't think Sepmix realized even has had his tier two upright. You can't look at your feet in that moment when it's yeah when you're out of stamina. It's tier two up it's such fight, a close. Pardon. Yeah, I mean, he could have had his eyes on it before the fight even started. Would, sure. would a Kunai could have, have killed that? Would a Kunai have killed? Yes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, it was pretty funny, though, anyway, so I'm happy to see that. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I, I did ask in uh, chat real quick if we clip that. I do want to get a little replay on that while... Actually, no, scratch that. We've still got the, uh, the other match to go through. Never yeah, mind. Yeah, so this is the other... Waterfall. Jesus. Fine. Like, no giveaways today at all. Uh, no, yeah, you're letting them hang in. Oh, huh? wait, yeah. <laughs> let me, I'll run the next giveaway while we're doing uh, this match. I mean, I'm just lining up the uh, scoreboard. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I don't know how far into the set. With Oversleepers with 1 0. I remember that, so let me do that. Uh, this map was. It said Beachhead, right? Uh, beachhead, um, yeah. Giveaway so this... is open. We're going to do it for the duration of this match. This is for their the duration third map, of this so... match. So this is their because I'm third gonna go one live. Ooh, look, Legion. This is third? Look at Legion. We have an Aramusha. Oh, nice. Oh. Aramusha, wait, what? Nice 
Okay, I'm actually gonna so, go in live okay, so here Mina and see B, what's going on. So Mina B had um, connection issues and had to, and they had to get a sub for him, which they lost the last one. Presumably their sub is playing a sub is playing on JJ. It's just more comfortable with JJ than with um, with Orochi. So saw it switched over to Aramusha, presumably to counter the opponent's approach. We still have a DC we still in this have match. A bot, though. Yeah, we yeah. still have a DC in the match as well on the inconsist oversleepers, sorry. Oversleepers have a DC. So we're jumping in we here didn't live. See where it was, right? Uh yeah, let me open this back the up. JJ, the JJ, whatever that is. The JJ the, the sub. Be... Yeah. Oh yeah, the sub. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Imagine getting in the sub and that sub DC in as well. Ah. So yeah, we are jumping oh, we'll, in here we'll live. Whereabouts in the match it was, so um, we'll see if they ask for a replay, but hmm. I think they probably won't. Yeah, let, let's keep an eye on the here and now, and that's currently Legion pressing buttons on the Aramusha alongside Kameku, trying to take out Prone before Living can return to assist with the longbow fresh oh. and available. Tier 4 against Tier 4s available here. There must have been some... Good job, Some Pop. fighting going on at long time. Uh -huh. <laughs> Help, Roach. I think Shigoki just had a seizure. What? I think he did. He, did he do the target swap tech where he sort of switched back and forth. He, he yeah, just... a, scoffed version, a scoffed version of it, but he basically. Just... <laughs> it looked like he was haunted from the ghost from the ring. <laughs> Yo, Another gets bullet. comes out. Oh, too dead into breaking. This is looking really bad. I mean, when you've got a uh, a level one bot instead of a instead of Mina B. Yeah. Remember, folks! Exclamation mark! Tick it in the chat if you want to enter the giveaway for the combat pack, which will end when this match ends. Legion. They're just on broke, so you have a couple more minutes. Yes. Marischal against attackers. Legion. Attackers are breaking once again. Oversleepers have to be wary, and Legion really needs to get bailed out here quickly so we can go heal. He, oh, oh, he God, tried to... Like, it seems like animal. nobody parries Mr. Living. He's keep, he keeps hitting those fucking unblockables non-stop. Oh, that oh was I think he tried the... Um, oh, a, do a drop down. No, why, why, why prone? Oh, you need to get yelled at for that. Holy shit. What is going on? <laughs> that Oh, prone's getting roasted. Literally and metaphorically. Yeah. But no, no Yonick anyway. just killed himself! Tier three yeah, bot. This is a, well, we'll see how. Ooh. Oh, the board drop attack almost got there. <laughs> we'll have to look at the scoreboard once this match is over. Yeah. And I have a funny feeling it is going to be over here. Well, the bot, literally incapable of parrying, is not in his programming. Um, and Kameka gets light parried for the win. And that's going to be. 2 1 uh, inconsistent. They dispute with time stamp for Tope for. Uh, I hope Oversleepers win, but it's not likely. Well, seeing as they just literally lost right now... Unfortunate. Um, Dr. It Tim is Link. unlikely. Here's the scoreboard. Right, we did jump into that live, but I wanted to see what was going on, so... Yes, Mr. Living, 13-1. and one. No surprise there. He has been going out of his mind tonight. Was yep. it 2-1? Yeah, 2-1. 2-1 Inconsistus. Is that their best performance so far? Uh, Making the finals, winner finals. Perhaps, yeah. Are the cross event executions allowed? No. Anything that is tied to a battle pass that can leave or not be available to players is disallowed. Only content which can be accessed at any time is allowed, Cinder's Wolf. All right, so that is that. So I'm going to go ahead and close the giveaway in three, two, one. Four minutes have passed, 41 entrants. Drawing a winner, survey says Spiritual Panda the First. You are winner of the second combat pack code. I will be DMing you on Twitch after this broadcast is finished. Mark that as complete. Go back to the page. All right. Karim asking why the team names the like ten year olds made them um, because they like to make it life harder for the for the um, casters and the admins uh, and anyone yeah. who wants to look in the general direction of the tournament. Yep. Yeah. On the other hand, and you have team names that are really appealing to people. Like NA managed exactly once. Uru Gang, yeah. Uru Gang had fans simply because of Yeah, the and then they renamed to Reading Comprehension, which I don't think anyone likes. Yeah, yeah they should re renamed back to Uru Gang. They still refer to the teams as Uru Gang. Yeah, in, just uh... rebrand again. Yeah, Make yeah. Uru, Uru emblems and shit, and all of a sudden everyone will be rooting for you. Yeah. And suddenly everybody knows your names. 
It calls itself Uwu Tuwu. Uwu Tuwu, yeah. I am putting a stop to all this Uwu speak right the heck now. <laughs> Cease. See? The even a world she is being played now. I will kick go. you from this <laughs> podcast. <laughs> I swear to God, Freeze. I will <laughs> kick you. <laughs> You don't like a Ochi? Uh, I hate you all. I already got sick of commentary when they added the cat ears back in the day and Alern wouldn't stop running them. You will go key. I'll, I'll make sure to run cat ears for you, don't worry. Uh, yeah. Grand <laughs> fight. When well, is finals will, coming I, up? I will tell uh, Thrill New from, from, <laughs> from you, Verb, that you are strongly not in favor of them reclaiming the uwu name and we'll Shuguoki, see woke sure Shuguoki, yeah. why not yeah why not? um we will see if <laughs> i am going to go is... mute myself go get some water and think about why i'm on this broadcast desk you lot can talk to the stream <laughs> i'll be right back it's going to hey, scream into the you? others <laughs> what's oh uh, what have, what have we started well we didn't start it the, the you know, as long as you have chat Active, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter how. Oh, no. Uwe flask. <laughs> Scalder is good. Yeah, well, I do call it very flask sometimes. Um, oh, Jean 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 oh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think you can do one for Raider, though. Raider's quite hard to, to corrupt. That's still done. <laughs> you're all so going I, to hell. I'm not yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm grabbing you. You beat it up. Wooming tap. Wader. Yeah, a Wadu. Oh no. You're yeah, a Wader. Legendary. <laughs> Legendary. <laughs> King saying we're all going to hell. Well, we play this game anyway, so. Yeah. <laughs> Already 10 steps towards it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Right, let's have a look at the brackets. I mean, I will I will describe them whilst Verb is taking a, a well-deserved break. Um, oh, we might... Are they disputing that? I don't think so. No. Okay, so we have got Inconsistence against Homeless Shelter Squad in the winners' finals. The bands are going to be Beachhead is banned by Homeless. Um, Inconsistence have banned Sanctuary, and then the map picks will be Overwatch, Temple, and then Citadel if it comes down to Tiebreaker. We haven't seen Citadel today, so that'll be nice. Um, Ooray Wooda. That's terrible. It's really bad. So hopefully um, by the time uh, Verb comes back, I think he's gone for a little cry um, from what we've put him through. We will have an eye waiting for us on on uh, set mix, I guess. I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna go grab grab a drink quick. <laughs> hmm. What does Ouija mean? <laughs> what? The guy in chat. Mm. Is he's a Ouija? I don't know, um, a, a ghost summoning board. Not spelled completely. Oh, uh, no, different. no, that's, that's a lad from Glasgow. Uh, he thinks he's Scottish. Glaswegian? Uh, Are we, oh, no. <laughs> don't even sound close to Glaswegian. Uh, so your accent, your accent uh, yeah. puts people for a loop every time. Yeah, I've seen people say that you're Scottish. Okay, I've I'm back. I've heard people say he's Indian. Gone. Ugh. No. Yeah, uh, no, we're all still here. Ah, uh, unfortunate. Right, do we have an eye? <laughs> um, it's an eye on Solips, although that must be in the loser's bracket. Really? Uh, maybe, they're, maybe they're practicing. I don't think they must. Is the loser bracket progress uh, that far? No. Winners' finals is inconsistent. Uh, in inconsistent homeless shelter. Yeah, yeah. So, so that eye on Solips is some other thing. Maybe he's doing some one v one scrims or something. Um, <laughs> Didn't you say Bitcoin Collectors is holding up everything because L6 has still not been done, right? Really? Haven't? Really? Hang on, I'll reload. Hang on. Oh, we got an eye on set mix. Yeah. First round of loser's bracket is still not done. You've got to be kidding me. What? I guess someone deserves a penalty or something for next time. I mean, they held up the initial bracket and now the loser's bracket as well. 
Just DC. Q. Call Cypher. Now. <laughs> Call Cypher. <laughs> Okay, I'll You'll know what to do. Chat's still being degenerate. When are they not? <laughs> winners, are, winners finals. My gamers, happening now. Right. Inconsistency versus go. home Beer number two. Oh boy, we're gonna bracket out the beers. All right. Opening it with paper again. Nope. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Have you considered a bottle opener? Like a normal. Yeah, person. but lighters are on my desk. Bottle openers are in the kitchen. <laughs> I don't know how you smoke, please. I don't. I oh, didn't realize he was, was also a family. barbarian. Have you done? <laughs> That's just a college student. I used to smoke. I or a anymore. former college student, that is. I see another slow ass rotation here. Yeah, they don't. Again, look. They has been capped already by the yeah. attackers. Is this. What is going on here? This? this is them sleeping though. Is it was it them sleeping? Maybe? Do we need to test that? I think we do need to test this because this is I've, I've seen this happen more than once. Um and Yeah, but the first time I saw it happening is when uh Setmix started touching the ballista all the time. Yeah, he the went around the yeah. ballista. But they didn't seem to this time, they were running straight through. And talking of I mean, this is. Can someone really clip the beginning? Them, just, just the start, like the the Why exact Semix start of back? the match, like the first twenty seconds. Can someone clip that? I want to look at it. Yeah, we can go back and look at the replays later. I'm more wondering why Setmix rotated back after his entire team got wiped. He might feed Fend Defender around here if he's not careful. I mean, if I look things, he will. He's trying to get off the point, but he's been body blocked. He should have just stayed on A. And there he, goes. he rotated. I, I, maybe he just didn't realize that C had already been capped. Um. Maybe? Maybe a lack of communication? That's a, a yeah. terrible start. I think people but... are really surprised that this keeps happening. But I've never yeah. seen it happen in scrims, which really confuses me. It's always just in the Dom series here. But it's two weeks in a row? Two qualifiers in a row, rather? Hmm. Yeah. Ow! Ooh. Marischal just got annihilated by Hiren with the unblockable. Not able to make the correct read. Hiren is called to actually cut off Mr. Living's rotation, leaving this to be a discrete three versus two. Over on Can the we actually point. watch that 1v1? Oh yeah, let's actually hop back over there then. Uh, let me use the crep button. Here we are, here's the 1v1. Living versus Hiren. Because both should be able to react to stuff. Oh, okay, I'm coming, coming, so it will be a gank. Okay, fair enough. Didn't go for a stampede charge. Ought to just go for a single light. Gets blocked. Hyrule oh, stamina. Nice. Right, like, um, oh yeah. no! That's really bad. That's gonna be full yeah, damage. That they tried that's to like the GB. Twice, and both times he parried it, and the second time gave revenge. Good roll! Ah, oh, he almost got through. Defenders. He tried. Yeah, living held out a long time. And yeah. Well done of him realizing Enough they're gonna to do light confirms. Oh, they did get the point. They did actually get the point, but. Good, to, good, yeah, good awareness of power and light confirms. These are the things that, so light confirms, you either use a light confirm from a blockable or a guard break confirm. And guard break confirms are not, a, you can't parry a guard break, but they don't do as much damage and they feel a bit more revenge. They're essentially, you use the guard break confirms if you know your opponent is going to, knows what they're doing and is going to go parry the light confirms. So doing two light confirms in a row, well, it implies that they need to uh, stop underestimating Mr. Living. He knows what he's doing. Although he does run onto a defender point um, yeah. on his own against Setmix. Yeah. Also, never hurts to mix it up. Hmm. Yes, yeah, that's true. Light confirms. Maybe sometimes you can get away with it, and it has its upsides. If not countered, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if it works, it's better. It's just, it has to work. Herm unable to get Hyren out, but not before the back break comes in. Living pops Juggernaut with only half HP available, so effective HP is full. However, let's see how much you can get done with it, because he is, of course, slower in movement too. Pro unable to set Herman up, but Herman has a oh, dangerous God. amount of revenge. Pops in immediately. Architecture, oh, though, whoa. screws him over. Herman not able to get the full punish that he wanted onto Prone. And that actually ends up killing Mr. Living. Hyren, however, is also raging in revenge. That which actually just went away. Dodges the kunai from Marishal. Hyren not able to make the trade. I think that might have been an indicator gank. Swapping sides last second ends up killing him. Setmix trying to hunt down prone as best he can in the meantime. Yeah, this is a dangerous 
the two v one here. Setlix sort of like loves his zone guys. button. He's pressed it so many times today. In this match alone, actually got him killed against one person at one point. Does he think the old option select like Texan? Like, what's going on here? Well, if you make a read, then you want to interrupt it with a lot. Interrupt a guard break. A zone is better than going for a um, going better going better than going for a light. It's not as punishable. And uh, Roach's zone does 18 damage, so it's really nice. Ah, okay. And they failed that gank, but then in roll, in roll, here and rolled off the point and actually gave the point to them. So unfortunate. I was going to say that um, homeless squad had been playing really well to pull it back from that, frankly atrocious start. And I mean, bad luck, maybe, but um, bad start. And and then they just gave away C there. I mean, a really hard, hard um, situation for Hiran to be in. Because obviously, if you roll, you're rolling out, you. <laughs> You want to avoid getting killed. Um, you're not going to just stand there and take it. Bye-bye! Oh, Goodbye, Marshall. You're going on Herman Express and just nice uh, going in a two-for-one special. One. You buy one, you get one free on that plane. Did Herman used to play Warlord? Question mark. Hmm. Secret fish player. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, well, they're going they're all they friends with fish, so they know ah, what to do. They're friends with fish. That would explain it. They... And, I'm not sure this was the best opportunity to push because we're going to have full health respawns coming in and they were full health on the point already. We'll see how this plays out for them. They've got big feet advantage. If they get to use it. They get to use it. Although so you can have feet advantage, but if you don't get the chance because the team fight is just all over the place and you're not oh, to block stuff. Tier four up and got really good use Bye, of it. Franz. Nice knowing Absolutely you. Absolutely demolished, Franz. Oh, the living just oh, hit my Marshall. Marshall. <laughs> calm down, my son. Slow down. I know oh, you don't have that much time. Before I'm not getting Thermix over. And there's the other nerf Here coming in, too. A, literally, the nerf of Shugoki being demonstrated in, like, a 20-second window of time. Also, calm down. You just hit just nice on the back of the head. Ooh. Yeah, living was way oh, too low nice. there. And they managed to get both of those kills. And take the point. Semix there didn't need to worry about coming off the point on account of that both his opponents had tier 4, so it doesn't really matter if you're feeding, feeding Defender Renown to somebody who's got their tier 4s already. So, uh, stalled there long enough to get allies in. And now they take the point. Mm. It's double capped. Yeah, it's Mid is currently in favour of um, X pool, uh, of Inconsistence, but yep. may not, might not be for long. Hiren now caught. Mer Herman not able to assist because he's caught in the, the mix with Marischal, but Marischal is about to lose stamina, so has to lose that Vortex for a bit. Not Vortex, sorry. Has to lose the pressure for a bit. Hiren has revenge, but he just lost it due to time constraints. Oh, longbow! That's not very good. Herman has a inspired 3v1 to contest with. Setmix has a ride, and Setmix does have the tier 4. Does he want to use it now, or does he want to wait for backup? It could be wasteful if he loses it here. And there exactly we see the reason why you run Kyoshin into the new Orochi. That right there. Yeah, number two. Happened twice, both with the, both with the zone. Use the top heavy. It is undodgeable as well as unblockable. It cannot be avoided, and confirms ally damages as well as being like a 40 health swing on its own. Yeah, that is that is the value of Kyoshin against the Roaches. Yeah. Roaches you don't even need to pay attention there. With a, As the yeah. Serrator. Oh, you see, oh, it's happening. All right, let me press it. You, it's a very convenient gank. And if, like Setmix, who likes to keep using zones, the full block will eventually be hit. Nice use of the tier fours. It does give Herman the opportunity to get out of there and heal, and he's going to peel up against the... Uh... Good oh. job by Franz, actually allowing Herman the space to heal. That's good. And they rallied, managed to break mid. Living, be careful here. You don't want to go down in the animation for too long. Yeah, because mid's going to go back in favor of the homeless, uh, the homeless crew, and we have breaking. a breaking situation in the other direction now. It's going... Both point teams very close on hard points, but they are accelerating at a faster rate for the defenders. And they might be able to push themselves into a situation where they have enough to lose mid and still be breaking. Oh, that's Fire a fury from Herman. From Herman across the map. Being pushing into C now. Really, oh. really good play. 
Smart. This is really smart. Can block living too, so he can't heal. Gets the down. That might have been the clutch momentum play they needed. Okay. Homeless Shelter Squad might be fishing for the 1 0 here, sir. Set mix is burning, courtesy of his opposing number hitting him with the fire. But he's alive because the bounty hunter proc. I guess it was really hard to see what her man was doing there. Because the call to go off C seemed like a weird one. Hmm. I like Justice's use of the fire flask in extremely cramped conditions, but <laughs> ultimately futile. Really, really good play at the breaking period there, and just before breaking from um, Homer's crew. It's, you have to read like, good game awareness, and Semix playing really well. 13 kills, nice. Mm. Yummy. I mean, I think we've seen this with Setmix. Setmix is a Rochi. He's had... He has, like, good matches, and he has very bad matches. Yeah. And when he's good matches, he's at the top of the, top of the scoreboard. He has so, very high highs and very low lows, let's put it like yeah. that. I guess that's the... Uh, it's similar to Legion. Um, and maybe having both of them on the same team yeah. <laughs> is uh, not necessarily the best idea, because their their highs won't, don't always coincide. But I guess if you have one of them per team, then maybe that'll give you the um, the boost you need on occasions. All right, so how are the other brackets moving along here? We're still waiting for an eye, so we can take a quick moment to check bracket progression, because this will determine at what rate we want to do the rest of the giveaways. So we got winners finals here, and then a bunch of losers. So I say... After this match, we'll do another one, and then before losers finals, we'll do one, and then last code up before grands. Yep, yeah, seems good to me. Yeah, we got this going on, oversleepers waiting on the winner of Entropy. Oh yeah, what was going on with the... Uh, was it L6 or L9 that was having difficulties? Uh, L6. So we've got the losers brackets being held up by... Um, by the um, BTC collectors. Hopefully that situation resolved itself decently promptly. We're coming into the second game in the winners' finals. This is still best of three, by the way. Which means Homeless Shelter Squad are in position to cruise through to the grand finals with the Golden Parachute and some time to relax or, sc or keep practicing, keep themselves hot, their choice. Any changes in feats or compositions? I believe it is identical. I think we have a format question in the chat. Oh, can the same people win can again? Can the same people win again, but I need some clarification. What do the same people mean? Yeah, it's, if a team wins in one tournament or in one qualifier, they aren't banned from playing in the next one, I think, right? That, yeah. Nothing like that. They've already qualified, basically. Yes, yeah, so you, if that you, was you can't question. play in a second qualifier after winning the first a single qualifier. Okay, so set mix diving away from pro yeah. and looks like yeah, understandably so. Yeah, this is going to be awkward. Setmix is getting zoned out. Precious time being lost here as the fight now begins on C. Oh, the giveaway. Oh, the giveaway thing. Uh, no, I don't believe so. I, uh, we haven't had that happen yet. If it does, I'll re-roll again. I don't want the same person winning twice. Oh, oh it does? Okay, okay. If, if, if it does, I'll make sure to say I'll make sure I re-roll for it. But into the game itself. Mr. Living, low. A lot of people low here, but mostly for Inconsistus. And that's going to be the first double kill here for Homeless Shelter Squad. Make it a triple. triple. Make it an ace for ace Homeless now. Shelter Squad. Yeah, ace now gives an additional 20 to the whole team. They get spawns. Yeah, they get all three caps basically now. Those kills yeah, were so quickly, I don't think they can. Zero yeah, points they're just... on the board for... Yeah. Inconsistors, not a that good mix stop. should stop them. Yeah, it's good. Nice deflect. Marshall is Marichal. quick on the deflect. He, he has is, gotten yeah. dozens today. Yeah, we saw him yeah. do this last week too. Marshall is an aficionado of deflex. Ow! And Living's an aficionado. We're coming off from off screen. Oof! And this. Light goes very much in favor of, uh, yeah, okay. of Inconsistors. We saw the double light there confirming the four dodge heavy for the Goki. That was um, one of the sort of like pseudo ganks that Orochi can do. 
um, and good awareness from the Goki to make sure you're ready to drop that back attack on if you land a dodge attack. And her man got knocked off the point and then died to the two of them there. Prone. We're going to follow along with hit perspective for now. Setmix gets launched. However, you see there, because of the change, Setmix isn't caught in a death loop. Prone would have been able to follow up with the kill there, but Setmix is able to survive for a little bit longer before going down. Prone decides to come back to the team fight that's still currently happening. One of another member of uh, the Homeless Shelter squad will drop in consistence fishing for control of the mid in a domineering fashion. All they need to do is get rid of Herman and make sure Setmix doesn't really have an impact. Nice light parry there. For some reason went for Fujin Force rather than the cuts, which would have guaranteed a kill. I'd have gone for a quick execution there if I was Herman, because he's going in there with no health. Um, and he's liable oh. to die to his teammate. Or deflect from Marichal. Marichal doing his best considering the tight circumstances. Fran's able to punish said tight circumstances. Look at the revenge though. Watch the revenge totals. Guess guess they'll let raise a heal out, and uh... revive. <laughs> there we go. Even more yeah, renown. Enough, gets, gets the extra renown. They're going to be a big renown advantage for um, homeless shelter defenders at the moment. Oh, sorry, yeah, homeless shelter. Going up. Going to be we'll on get it. Two kills, but two fifty renown. Hmm. Well, that's what happens when you get defender renown and uh, revive. Revives give you thirty renown as well, so that's nice. Someone yeah. is chasing Mr. Living up there. Oh. If he's not careful, he's going to be going down. Yep. Semix, you really, really cannot run away from the Rochi nowadays. And yep, they gets the kill. Not able to execute the heal from Just Ice. This could be an ace potentially for Homeless Shelter Squad if they're quick. Yeah, I don't think they're going to be fast enough, unfortunately, here. Yeah, okay. Living just came back, so the ace is lost. However, Herman looking to clean up Marischal, but Marischal's putting up a good fight. Reinforcements are on the way back, though. Let's go for the wide shot. Just ice, low. Multiple members of Homeless Shelter are called to chase after the low member of Inconsistence who only just now has a low HP reinforcement. Make that a no HP reinforcement. Living, the sole member, able to help out the low HP, low space Orochi, prone having to rotate up from the mid. Soothing mist there from the JJ, giving his teammates a boost and keeping them alive. Um, actually allowed Hiran to stay alive and, oh, until then, and... Herman as well, so that was that was an example, a small, just a small example of feet advantage being instrumental in winning team fights because they're going to take this point now unless they get out. Oh no, just yeah. ice arrives with uh, Herman uh, out of stamina. Pro tries to dodge, yeah. no I dice wasn't, though. I wasn't sure how good a push that was in the beginning. Oh. People were low. But okay. Herman pop rush I guess there. it concluded now, so yeah. They we'll didn't achieve what they me. wanted to, but they managed to get off the point. So it was alright in the end. Yeah. And they used the opportunity to get... Semix was boosting C this entire time. I think mid's in their favour as well, or was in their favour until all three of, three of them... Inconsistors came run down the middle. Um, so they did gain a significant number of hard points there. I'm not sure if the Renown trade-off was worth it, on account of the fact that... Without tier twos from tier ones, but still an interesting push. I mean, like th these these are the calculations they're making all the time. They're, they're thinking about how likely is a push to succeed, what's the risk of making a push, and will they, you know, if they lose the push, will they at least get enough on um, hard points? Nice use of phalanx there. Phalanx is going to give Just Ice some more health to chew through on Franz. It just dropped there, however. Just Ice puts him in the mix. Iframe successfully used to avoid it. Oh, but oh. Uh, you can't avoid the off-screen Mr. Living coming from stage left. Sorry, stage right. That's how that works. Arrow strike oh, value from Prone all the way up on A. Able to actually rain down some shots and give the rest of Honda Shelter Squad some boo-boos. However, Inconsistence are taking the harder damage, or rather the more monumental damage. Oh, so that far. is unfortunate. What is no, going on there? Oh, no. Okay, out of range, and that cost him. Big. He wanted to get the Demon's Embrace off the, the wall. Demon Ball, which you can yeah. do when you're close, but he said like, uh, along the wall, and then he just basically hugged the air, inviting himself for a nice GB. Yeah, Yum. I thought the shrubbery would do him good, but no. 
No, no. Damn you. Been ironic for Slippery uh, shubbery. You want the big bush the there. Big bush would have been the fucking solution. There's a quote. Yeah. Big bush. No, no. <laughs> no one is going in on for the joke, but... <laughs> I, I, I heard it, I heard it. <laughs> Mr. Living. Cassius Juggernaut yeah, here. That's gonna be 80s horror movies, please. <laughs> Hyron does have the Scorching Deluge available, however... Yeah, one down for Inconsistence already. Yeah, that's a problem. The advantage, there's a longbow came out. I think it hit a minion, though. Tier 4, there we are. Hits pro living whilst he was trying to get his re 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 revive. I think he did get a revive, but the revive was... Oh, no, he respawned that revived person. Into, Wait, into being on fire. So, Prone may have not been really grateful for that revive. Yeah, and admittedly, the tier four was able to break the rest of Inconsistence out of of breaking, but it was only for so long because now they're straight back in. Just Ice is going to die to this giant pile of fire. Marishal able to resurrect Prone. Arrow strike hits Franz, but also hit Marishal. That's unfortunate. Prone getting bullied with a couple attacks. Too many indicators to deal with. And let's see if Marishal can get the montage. No, he cannot. Hiram gives him the shaft. And that's a 2 0 homeless shelter squad. Yep. They move on to the grand finals in the winner's position. Mm. Whilst the first match was very scrappy, this one was very much you know, in favor of. Um, yeah, but it was very shelter. far from, from the get go. Clean. Yeah, look at those. Very far I think they took a lot of risks that they didn't need to, but they just, oh, we're going to muscle through anyways, which yeah. they did in the end, but it didn't make it look very clean. Like, look at the points and look at the kills then. And the, I think Inconsistence played very well. I think it shows that they've been practicing, but it also shows that Homeless Shell, what was it? Homeless Shelter, whatever. Uh, they kind of overreached a lot of times. Yes, yeah. There were a few pushes which they had to abort and um, r roll out or, or died on points, feeding Defender Renown. But, I mean, still, overall, that was a very dominant match for them. Yes. And they yes. didn't have that. Especially from, uh, especially from the beginning, they didn't have that horrible start which they had the f for the first one. Um, but, yeah. Did anyone clip that, by the way? Much better than starting by losing the point you're trying to contest yeah. straight instantly. All right, we'll have to uh, see if we we'll the have, Overwatch game. Yeah, we'll have to see if we can get a uh, replay of that. But also, I did say after that match we'd have a giveaway, so let's do giveaway number three. Oh, nice, Ace Storm did. All right, yeah, we, we should be able to just check the the clip directory because I'm not sure if uh, stream elements bot is going to be very oh yeah I don't know finicky and well, delete clip clicks. All right, so let's refresh the brackets while the giveaway's going on. See what's going on. Words, I repeat them. So, is it yeah, still held up? L the losers bracket. Little... Yeah, it's being held up by. And they even yeah. won these fucking clowns. All right. I'm I'm, I'm clearly not biased as a caster. <laughs> Very <Clearly>. neutral. <laughs> Unofficial Ubisoft broadcast, by the way. Let's just putting that out there. Oh. I can't tell you which maps um, picks uh, are for them because they're in Russian. And I don't think we do. You, you probably don't have anybody of the, any of these guys on your friends list. Um, for... uh, entry vs. BTT collectors. Yeah. Uh, I've got a good chunk of Nova and oh, oh okay. Helvigan Orion. Nova, Nova Toffee, you have uh, Orion. You have him? Maybe. Uh, let me check. Uh, let's see here from the top. Craybear, the Trickster, GG, everyone. Mahusen, I think. Yeah. All right, that's in. Yes. That is the match. And this right. is a lose. I can't tell you if this is the first or second match because the match chat is in Russian. So okay. can the rules um, update actually? Is that noted somewhere that you need to? That's the chat. I mean, the fact that you uh, need to do the banning and shit in Battle Fire is because admins can look at it. But if yes. not a single admin can read Cyrillic, then what's the point? It is that the English is basically you should asking. use English when you're when mm. you're oh. talking. Thank you, Tourette. Okay. Side note, by the way, we Harbor are... Harbour is the first match, by the way. It's Harbour, then it's Temple, then it's uh, Beachhead. Okay, so I'm going to go into this live to see where they are, because if this is early on and we're still on the first map, what has been going on here? And side note, by the way, for chat, uh, I wanted to make this out. We're gonna, I'm going to leave this giveaway oh. running until the end of this first map. 
because we only have 26 people entered right now. So, by all means, exclamation mark ticket in the chat. If you want to enter. What's been going on is that BTC collectors have been just holding stuff up. Ah, um, right. But then they also, unfortunately, have been winning their matches. And so they've been taking on their, their slow-ass state into the next matches. It's not so bad when somebody holds up the first one and then they lose. Because then, I mean, they, they're out and they don't hold any more up. Okay. But um, unfortunately, uh, I mean, I'm san san sounding biased um, that I'm annoyed that these guys are winning. Because, uh, yeah, <laughs> they've been making it all slow for the rest of us. All right. So, BTC collectors in the orange, Entropy in the blue. We're coming in about five minutes into this match with BTC collectors with a good chunk of a lead right now, actually, on Harbour. 8 yeah, 6 a, to 4.35. And a decent renown lead as well, um, especially on the Zhang Hu. He's got his tier 4 available already. Uh, yeah, we'll have a gander at him in a moment. Uh, Orion currently having to fight against <coughs> Messer and Quasi. Gets caught with the GB. Uh, oh, that's a what? mess up there. He tried to he tried to hug off the hit stun of the heavy, but his ally decided to not go throw the heavy, so the hug would hit, but he didn't hit, so... Yeah. Alrighty then. Miscommunication there. Malfunction at the junction. Trust your teammates. Trust. Oh, unless Always you're in matchmaking. Them. In this case, don't trust them. No, no, not in matchmaking, but yeah. I think it's a big thing in general. Not yes. trusting your teammates, especially when you start out with someone new. Just let everything fly, and they're supposed to confirm it, or you confirm everything. I think that's a good rule yeah. in the beginning. And it's important that you, you get in the habit of doing it, because if you don't get into the habit of... You, you can't improve Ace. on the opportunities to confirm if you don't ever trust, in, trust your allies enough to let them confirm things. So... It is in this important. very specific case, I think the raider didn't trust himself. I think he would have messed up. I think that's the main reason why he didn't throw the. That's a fast breaking. Really good use of phalanx there, though. And oh, EI. The Russian are actually using a favorite key eye yeah. over bounty hunter. Um, although, having said that, Nova, Nova Weef is using it at the moment. So. Oh, they messed that up. That could have been a knockdown there on the JJ. Hmm. We'll go back to the Shanu here, being piloted by Mahu. See what they can get done. Silver said, if they don't confirm your heavy, you can yell at them. That is true. <laughs> true. Thank you, Silver. Another valid option. That is how they learn. The higher the volume, the worse the stake. Mahu gets caught, but in comes the <laughs> cavalry, Chiseron, able to use the heal. Well, did that go off in time? I don't think it did. Oh, no, it did go off in time. It just wasn't really enough to actually save the Shanu. Yeah, it's an off-target JJ. Um... Zone was enough to. Oh, pardon me. Was enough to kill him. Wheel needs to be fishing for a deflect on Chizarone. Everybody's super low on entry Ledge. At the moment. Ledge. Oh, that's not good. That's the first on the rival person. That's Pasha who just went down the pit. See, they here. They they were here to to contest this point when they were breaking, and that was the only. And if they had caught it uh, enough, they would have unbroke. But they are now so far behind. You got fast team res. Fight. But they are not there we are! Like Fast res yeah, value! Right, actually getting hit out of it. He's going out here to fish with drop attacks. Yeah, okay, Mahu sees that um, come from a mile away. But over here, yeah. a low HP weave away from the herd and gets culled. Ooh. And then Emo's back. Helix? Yeah. What's going on here? Well, BTC have clearly been, uh, been somewhat badly behaved. Um, ah. Rude as well as slow. Okay, I'm not I'm not bad. Oh no, Fluffy he goes did down. with the top heavy. He wasn't able to stop the XE in time. I was about to make a I mean, social it matter. He's joke. Fury, so that was a, more damage from that top heavy than you could you could really heal from the execution. And he's got a flash coming up, and he throws it Mid. over there. Okay, it's I was weave. about to say he like, throws it away from people, but no, he does actually hit Nova, Nova Weef, who got re revived into the fire. Nova Fisher or Asher is a. Uh, Having to survive with some passion and not managing, not able to do it. He's got a long bow to point blank. 1 0 Bitcoin collectors. Oh, there's another one of these um, Sakura emblems. It must, be, it's a, it must be a thing in the in the Nova Cruise. Or Sen being there. Uh, 
I appreciate the theming and also the unique color yeah. schemes from some teams. It's aesthetically pleasing. It's always nice to see a uh, team, you know, using the same color schemes and then you get to... All right. Let's close the giveaway and draw a winner. Survey says... Little Samurai 1,235th of their name, you have won. <laughs> I will be sending I'll like, you... I like 1,235. As if it was a date rather than like their password. I will be sending you your code via Twitch DMs once the broadcast is over. And now we wait for an eye. Oh, I just realized why this music was spooky. Yeah, we got the Dead by Daylight crossover still happening. Appropriate, I suppose, for the Halloween special. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, a, that was the reason they did it. I think it'd be a, it'd be a weird Easter special. <laughs> Easter special. People being hung from hooks. The Easter bunny's got off his rocker. I mean, they have got a, a bunny ears on the Huntress outfit, right? So True. maybe there's some, some degree of crossover there. You're telling me that I'm not getting anything special for Easter in the game? <laughs> no, not the Easter event that we've never had. Uh, we did well, have an Easter I... event one time. It was like an Irish-themed thing, right? Yeah, there was like one thing in the first year or something. Yeah. Yeah. Like one time. Early I remember on. making a St. Patrick's Day event, not an Easter event. I don't think. I don't know when is St. Patrick's. Who the fuck yet. knows that? Is that don't? Okay, Daddy Lord's going to send who us some angry that? messages in the chat in the moment. It's a big who thing. Who celebrates in the US? that? U.S. Oh, right? I, US I, I get the all of the U.S. and the Irish. Do the Irish actually celebrate it? <laughs> yeah. Do the Irish yeah. celebrate St. Patrick's Day? Yeah. I don't <laughs> I always assume it's just Americans taking something that's not really celebrated. I don't know. It's, Everyone it's is just um, a big thing. I mean, it's an opportunity. For the Irish too. It's it's it can be difficult to distinguish from a regular <laughs> Saturday night, um, but people do celebrate it. And they celebrate it in the UK. <laughs> <as well. laughs> just course, throwing a question yeah, mark at me. As soon as you start about that, crack pops up in the chat. <laughs> They're watching. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's Matt. You're the big Sam Patrick. Partier, is that? Well, I'm not going to say anything more. Um, yeah. I think you can blame Freeze though. Freeze one started it. I'm in yeah. favour. Why? Well, taking ages to start the next one, aren't they? Broad. Culture. Oh, you're stuttering oh, for a bit, me, Freezy. Out, you're like lagging slightly. Am I? Uh, a little bit there. I think it was just your internet having a hiccup. Should be okay though. Ah, my Husin's got an eye. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Aye. Aye, aye. These are the top minds in Froda. Yes. We are the elite of commentary. <laughs> debating St. Patrick's Day. Welcome to... Uh, I think Freeze is, is... How many beers in are you now, Freeze? So... Uh, he's... Just two. He's Just German. Two. It doesn't matter either. Yeah. I'll be deported. <laughs> If two was all it took. Yeah. <laughs> that was an honest question. Half is enough for me. It's like when people ask me, do you wear lederhosen? It's like, what? It's the same question. How the fuck would a foreigner know? I don't know anything about the Irish. Alright. I, I don't see any feet changes. Nope, everything looks the same. Compositions nope. are the same. And, uh... We've... Wait, is that... In the back, it's not. Oh, they, they're not running. Uh, I was about to say that's the Jan Hu. They're not running um, Shigoki on the uh, Bitcoin collectors again. Also running Jan Hu instead. With Sorry, three, me. We're three for tall and export serial tourism to the United States. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> and have no and have no road signs. No my my, my, my uh, enduring memory of, of Dublin is driving around for half an hour trying to find a single road sign, and there were none. You just not believe in it? Everything's word of mouth. Yeah. Have to ask the left corner on each corner instead for directions. Oof. All right, what's the roll out here, chaps? What's going on? I don't know. Um, it's two Russians against each other, so who the fuck knows? A one-one-two from Entropy. Bitcoin going for a one three zero. We're freestyling tonight, lads. Yeah. Oh, is somebody gonna get ledged there? I hope so. Rochi one v one. It's always quite 
cool looking. Oh, actually, one v one's very anime now. So yes. And gets the kill, but not in time before he gets attacked by Nova Pasha. Um. Ah, oh, architecture. Here we go. We've got a fight on eight. Jian Hu's worst enemy, the wall. And everyone else in this game. There. And takes it for the and he gets this point as well. So it's going to be. A, a goes to the what Bitcoin collectors. Bitcoin collectors. Oh, wait. Entropy's in the orange. Bitcoin collectors in the blue now. And they've got and Entropy's got the uh, cap double cap right now in the mid. And have almost claimed the head of Mahu, who gets interrupted by his own minions, able to stop the execute. And now a few members of Entropy are going to be moving on over nice and sharpish to attack C point and take it off of Bitcoin collectors. I'm going to ask crack some more questions about Dublin because last time, the last time I was there there was a there's a huge metal spike in the middle of the city that I don't know what it is for and there was no signs or anything saying why it was there keeps the I, city I in place so it doesn't blow away I don't know yeah it's just the really unfortunate skydivers <laughs> unfortunate skydiver wow speaking of unfortunate that raider got almost executed Mahu able to interrupt but now Mahu's got to worry gonna get caught Pasha stops the attack just in time to not Overfeed revenge. I mean, he, should, he should let the attack go. It would have given more. It would have given more damage. Um, I guess Messor wanted the heal as well. Is my oh architecture again? Oh, okay, they managed to get the kill at least. However, they will sacrifice their Shugoki for it. So now entropy. They need to finish up this attempt here on this point because Bitcoin collectors reinforcements are streaming in slowly but surely to see to stop this attempt from entropy they are dedicating a lot of time to and this death and... yeah defender now on each one of them GB Claudie has half revenge almost now has half revenge trying to roll away but why rolling away from a Janhu doesn't really work chief it's not a conqueror out of stamina punish goes for the full tilt a whirl no, he messes it up. Should have gone for the zone. 400 oh, IQ. Here. Doesn't matter. Not a 400 IQ. Gets interrupted. That. Yep. That. If he what needs, the fuck watch, is this? this video. <laughs> yeah. On, on the raider punishes. It should have been the correct punish. There was zo delayed zone into chain zone. So. Oh, you got zone into heavy. Or zone continued heavy and pressure. Then, that works too. Uh, it, indeed. But Which would have worked do, in this what case. You can do. If you are this player, is a uh, whiff your attack and die. <laughs> Although you managed to force out the parry, which I it thought is an was, option. I thought that was like some sort of 600 IQ like mega bait, but then you got intercepted, so it doesn't really work out, and you look stupid. Yeah, but you could do that if you did the be better punish anyway, because you can still yeah. I'm said, trying to be nice, then... Spaniard. These these guys have been holding up the tournament, so I'm okay. I'm, I'm not, never not mind. Maybe too. mercy is not required. <laughs> Mahu. Almost has revenge, gets revenge, and now starts going after Weef. Bash. Oh, so. And he goes down. Nova Weef becomes Nova Queef. Sorry. Bruh. <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Hi, bro. Shizion gets caught. I just my fiance laugh in the background. <laughs> Mahu downed. Needs to be careful that he doesn't get caught here. Has to defend a renowned advantage, so ideally he just delays for teammates and they can start continue to harvest that defender renown from this point, and that will be done successfully. Raider is now here, being piloted by Helix for the Bitcoin collectors. Let's see what Helix can get done. Able to plant his axe firmly in the collarbone of Pasha. Claudia actually ends up dying off screen. Messer, however, with the fast revive, almost gets the resurrection on Pasha, but it gets interrupted. Helix is still swinging, interrupting on every moment. Baits out the attempt. Ow, hot! That was so smart! He baited out the counter attempt from the Shugoki and uses the hyper armored external heavy to kill him! So smart! Very nice play there, yeah. Actually, unironically smart, not me just trying to be nice smart. Uh, missed guard break opportunity there, meant the chain zone only hit his ally. Um, and he got dodge attack for his pleasure. Oh, that's a. Oh, there you go, there. You dead and more defender now, Fed. Hey, what's the round looking, looking like now? Rather Ooh. bad for entropy here. Oh, revenge. Let's see what Orion can get done here. Stick him in the mix. Good parry. You He's using tried to use the um wall splat technique, but he needs to be unlocked for that. I don't yeah, know. Does it work against uh, revenged opponents? Hmm. Is yeah, that a difference, maybe? Opponents, yeah. 
I can imagine not working against revenge opponents on the counter and having like armor. Yeah, maybe they can't stagger or something. But you can wall split them. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I don't know. It's just wild gift. Oh, and they've taken both points. They had one person to cap A, and in the meantime, have gone and got C as well. Weef now going to defend against Mahu, but he's opposing Orochi. Orion has circled back in, making this a two versus one. Weef... A lot of damage from the slip through there as well. Yeah, that's going to be a big help in killing Weef quickly. Nice recovery cancel, avoiding all punishes, but does get guard broken out. This is the danger. If you do too many dodge recovery cancels, a neutral guard break is just going to grab you. And that's what happened. Unfortunately, the JJ not able to get on point enough. Didn't go for an out stamina punish there. Okay. Really. Double inspiration? A bit of miscommunication, I think, there, because they yeah, don't that's stack. A, that's a way. They do not stack. Kunai kills one, and now that's a feat gone for no reason. Another inspiration! Everyone's feeling so positive on this point! Well, the ins that inspiration is an enemy inspiration. It is. It's from Chizuru. Hard to tell, though, to be honest, so. And it actually synergized with Orion popping fear itself, so that's the reason why Clotty just disappeared off the face of the planet. I'm glad to ask. <laughs> yeah. He had, a, he had health earlier. Had being the key word. Yeah. Messer also had health, then lost it very rapidly, being chased by Helix. Tried to fish, no dice. Mahu able to clip him with an overtop heavy, unblockable heavy. And ends up getting the kill. He's going go to go defend the... against oh, no. Clotty. Um... Mahu tried to go for the superior block dodge forward, but no dice on it. Yeah, it just turned into a normal block, I think. If you miss the window, it just turns into a normal one. Body really is favoring interrupting with a top light on Raider. I'm noticing. Again, another top light. Everyone favor. gets parried, unsurprisingly. A guard break. Oh, that was weird. Claudie wants the ledge. Messer now here <laughs> to assist. And gets all the points to not feed defender now. Sensible, although they've managed to get mid in the meantime. So overall, the points generation hasn't really gone in favor of... Um, Entropy. And the blue, the blue team. Oh, blue team's big collectors. Bitcoin. Yeah. Helix is zooming. Hi, he just came straight out of spawn. Tier four. Fu uh, oh. You meant to pop Fury before, or does that work after? Are you can, you, uh, that's yeah. actually a tactic: is you throw the, the flask and then pop Fury before you um, before it, before it triggers, and then you get the actually another flask out, not Fury buff this time. So that way, you don't give the opponents as much warning that you're about to. Ah. Um, throw, throw. So uh, you can almost flask. hit confirm the Fury Flask in a weird way. Yeah, yeah. You see, you throw the Flask and then pop Fury, and then it's uh, this is a this is a tier four opportunity for Mahu here. Perhaps there's some. Oh, that was nice. Uh, architecture, really making Pasha's life hell. There's the Phalanx deployed from Chazeron over in the mid. Mahu's UI says he doesn't have tier 4 when I think he does. I'm not sure what's going uh, on there. So that's the, when the tier 4 is not, when you've not got anybody nearby, you can't use Janu's tier 4. It's like a. Ah. It's, only, it's only available if there are opponents within oh, range. Oh, yeah. I forgot it was only in range. That's a very long execution choice. I'm not sure if that's going to be the smartest thing. But no one's actually able to stop him. Orion's going to get the full heal. Orion got the um, full heal. What is going on? Well, uh, it looks like. Bitcoin collectors are about to be about to be taking this one home, I'd say. Just the raider left, Clotty on half health, but we'll see how long that lasts. No revenge to speak of. And gets longbow confirm a longbow confirms the an unblockable and that's it. 2-0 Bitcoin, Bitcoin go collectors to the next round. Um which will be against da -da 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 -da. um I think that'll be against the Oversleepers. Ah, yes, it will be against the Oversleepers. Legacy. So uh, hopefully they have got their internet sorted out for Mina B, and he's managed to get his login working again. Yes. So we have two teams that potentially can hold up everything. All right. So yeah, it's true. Because um, the whole tournament is waiting on these two now, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, we have uh, extra gachas playing against Sweet Arthur Fan Club. Oh, I think. Let me just check. No, no, no. That's all. As all was all. Is it? Okay, I'm slow. Let's open the bracket. It's basically 
the ones we're following now are the only ones still playing. Yeah. Uh, well, at least we have eyes on L11. them, so we can see. Yeah. Oversleepers. No. Now Maybe we have oversleepers with... against... Can that please work? Oversleepers yeah, Bitcoin versus... collectors. Yeah. And who wins that fights extra cool gachias, And whoever wins that fights inconsistent. Moving up to the grand fans then. Hmm. Yeah, considering how slow things go, I might do a giveaway after round five, or maybe even this match, depending on how long it goes. But for those of you just joining us, yes, we have two more codes to give away. And also we have drops going on simultaneously as the whole directory has been absolutely swarming with them. So maximum stonks available. And by stonks, I mean combat packs. Well, now we're just kind of waiting. BTC is, uh, well, the BTC is destroying, apparently. We'll see if their value can hold um, or if they're due a uh, market crash in the next match against Oversleepers. So hopefully they'll speak in English this time. Um, they have been. Okay, we have a ban on High Fort, a ban on Beachhead, then a pick for Harbour. Yeah. I think they're going to get hit by the electricity bill now. And the public will Stop. see how high it is. Cease. <laughs> I thought you were about to say yeah, hit by electricity bill and then disconnect, so. then like their house turns off. And yeah, I was delays. making a joke that they're gonna. <laughs> no, I thought you. No, but considering the amount you've commentators cursed today, Freeze, you saying that is gonna cause a couple members of BTC collectors to actually lose their internet connection, and then the tournament. Plus, they didn't pay the electricity. Yeah, well, they they're didn't... not replying to their match chat. <laughs> so maybe, maybe. I mean, it's time for another break, right? Like how. Yeah, sure. I'm actually going to forcibly take us to break so you don't cause anything to break, Freeze. <laughs> Be right back, folks. We'll see you when I'll we see an eye.
Hey folks, for those of you that are just joining us, what is currently happening is we are waiting on the losers match Bitcoin collectors versus oversleepers due to some muckery that happened earlier on in the brackets there has been knock on delays to where the tournament has now essentially been bottlenecked we are the only match to be watched right now is this round four match between bitcoin collectors and oversleepers and it has not seemingly been assembled yet we're currently waiting on the eye to appear you can see in the bottom left of your screens my little uh, behind the scenes overlay that you can see and no eye yet on legion who would be our target for this so, as soon as we see the eye, we'll have the game up, and we'll get into it. Again, I apologize for the delay profusely, but not much we can do in that regard. Thank you for your time, though, and uh, if this delay goes on for, like, five minutes longer, I'll do another giveaway as an apology or something. Either way, we'll be right back. We have an eye, and we're back. Time for this next best of three. This is round four of the loser's bracket. We have Bitcoin collectors versus the oversleepers. We'll see what happens here oh, going in. So nice to see that they got some matching emblems across teams this time. Yay. They do, actually. <laughs> yeah, there is no giveaway running yet, by the way, folks. Well, I'll, I'll let you know when there is one. There'll probably be one after this best of three. But just not yet. I'll let you know. The yeah, first map. Let's see here. Okay, so maps. Um, sorry about that. Okay. We have um, a ban on High Fort, a ban on Beachhead. And the first map is going to be Harbour. And then Garden, and then uh, Sanctuary Bridge. Hmm. So I do think all the sleepers is kind of heavily favored here. Yes, I think it's going much to be, more than you'd expect more. at this stage. Yep. Um, but who knows? Maybe they shit the bed. Issues. Yeah. It took them. It took them six minutes to pick their second map. Ah. Grumble, grumble. Grumble, grumble. Understandably so. But we're in now. Happy days. Some good old-fashioned. Indeed. Let's go. What's the rollouts going to be? We've seen some fun ones today. Let's see if they get spicier. Three to C for oversleepers, one to mid, and the same thing for big collectors. We got a mirror. Oh, C is going to be a rumble here. Surprising that the defenders sent three to C. One or two, yeah, but three. Surprising. Hmm. Let's keep it. Yeah, maybe they would have um, sent more to mid if they'd seen. I mean, I don't know if they can see their opponent's rotations or know their rotations from beforehand. I mean, looking at this, it's going very much in favor of... Um, Oversleepers. Yeah, Oversleepers. they're about to get an ace here. Quemu just yeah. won the 1v1 in the mid against his opposing Jan Hu, and the rest of Bitcoin collectors are just getting farmed. And so, there's yeah, the ace. ace. Like I said, that kind of favored the one team. <laughs> Oversleepers with an authoritative first maneuver on the map. Taking A, taking C, and they're about to grab B. All they need to do is clear out some minions and get three on the line, which they do. That was a weird guy right there. Hmm. Yeah, confirming damage and the GB. Yeah, but it looked like it didn't... Um, did it do the damage? I'm not entirely sure. It did, it did, it did heavily damage reduce damage, so maybe it was a second. Yeah. But then they didn't actually throw a thing off the GG either, so it was all weird. Maybe it was a spectator thing. Hmm. Maybe, we'll see. Maybe in the well, game it was interrupted. I interrupted GG. 
Slots didn't go for the parry on that Riptide Strike, which is a bit strange. We'll see. I wonder if um, BTC will get any kills. Yep. I imagine, oh, come on, really? Yeah, I imagine they will get some kills. I don't think it's going to be that dire, but so far they're just having a hard time cleaning up these fights quickly. They look yeah, like they're in a position to get a kill, kill <laughs> and they're going to be able to get a... Oh, minions. <laughs> oh, the minions got him. <laughs> uh, yeah, I... The issue for me, Spaniard, is going to be momentum gaining for BTC. They need to actually start getting wins after wins. And basically, where's the stuff after the stuff is going to be the question for BTC collectors. I mean, I personally don't think they stand a chance here. Um, although, having said that, they just ganked, ganked um, Legion rather well. The, and uh, the, the captain sort of... Mm. Yeah. Forced him off the point and got the cap. Drop yeah, attack opportunity. Very well done from Bowie. Careful. Helix oh, is up they there. They are careful. And Helix can heal now too. Wild. I think he just wanted to heal, yeah. I don't think he was even waiting for a drop attack. Kameku has three quarters revenge. Has revenge. It saves Kameku. Heavy damage can now be distributed by the Zhanhu. Let's see how much Kameku can get done here before he loses it and puts himself back into an incredibly vulnerable position. He's only able to get really a small bit done before being dealt with by Helix. I think it's going to be a back cap. They're going to lose C, I think, at this rate. They've got one on there, half health being ganked. I don't think they would. If they're. Sen can get there. Before they can cap it. Oh, he does. He managed to get on. Yeah. Not, yeah, no, not uh, chase from. Who was the one who was chasing? It was the Jan who was chasing. Didn't manage to stop the raider capping it. And they are losing A. Yeah. Oh, decent play from decent play from Helix there. Yeah. Um, Oversleepers have stopped yeah. the bleeding for now. For now. Indeed. For now. Oversleepers. Yeah, they've lost A. BTC. Mecha, it's not being Kameku's days. He's, no. Um, getting jumped down. What's his score look like? Here's a renown for you. Renown. Two and three. Well, it's not um, massively uh, renowned favor, but they look, the uh, BTC just donated A. They didn't have anybody up there at all, um, even after taking it. So, I mean, these are the kind of mistakes you just cannot make if you uh, a tournament level. Um, Solid's being ganked by attempted gang. Four of them, but, no, but not nobody there enough to actually stop him from is that going a C on. And, um, that well, is, happened. yeah, there was a C cap by Kameku. No, Yoga is there. Yeah, Kameku is oh, giving me the problem. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? This is, yeah, but this is a proper waste of time for Mahu. Yeah. And what's he gonna do? Yeah. Wait for a riot. Either you fight there. Or, I don't know, just run around, waste your own time. There we go, now he's dead. Now he can respawn and actually participate again. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, a situation the, the where... Go. Go. Nice, Ooh. nice GI there, take back his turn. The answer there would have been, instead of going for the... Uh, getting onto the point, you would have just dropped off. But having said that, he did manage to get a revive, so maybe, maybe it wasn't all, all that bad. Yeah. That's Another a situation nice. where arguably a tactical suicide might have been the play, question mark? Yes. That DM. He should have done freeze uh, advice .mp5. Hmm. MP3 even. <laughs> freeze advice .mp3, oh god. <laughs> I've heard of that file. Mina B, however, <laughs> gonna look for this flashy gank dot wave. Nice crushing counter there from Mahu. Good job. There's the follow-up, Orion GBs. Mahu interrupts, unblockable, so Mina's stuck in the mix and gets Ooh. blended! The Yogurt not able to assist. Orion and Helix now ganging up on Kameku. Kameku not able to get out of the way in time. One more interrupt enough. Yes, he will. Decapitates Legion not able to run over in time. A resurrect is possible, but no. The rest of BTC collectors will choose to respawn instead. Uh, these actually, the Raider and um, and Orochi here have been ganking very quite effectively. N nice parry there. Um... And, and making sure that they've been mindful of tags, they've been um, looking out for uh, using the sort of the bash gank. Hmm. Yeah, but Legion knew what to look out for. He knew that they were waiting for the uh, bash from the Orochi, and he just yeah. kept the guy busy. Never had the chance to even set it up, and in the end, he even won the whole thing. Eleven and one.
from Mr. Legion. Yeah, Legion's really making this JJ work. He's already had one use of his tier 4. Um, sitting at... Oh, that was really nice. Waited mm. for the other guy to run in there to get maximum value out of Soothing Mist. And with the fear itself, unfortunately, just out of range. That's... Oh, they're breaking. Flash they're break. breaking already. Flash and break. Yeah, BTC collectors had a flash break, unfortunately, happened to them. I, I almost didn't, I didn't even see that happening. Head swipe to flash yeah, break. <laughs> oh, the fear itself, Kunai. Fear itself and slip through buff Kunai did 15 odd damage. Yup. That was insane. 1 0 over sleepers. Over sleepers. Take the first one in a very convincing fashion. They did get some kills. So it wasn't quite as uh, one-sided as as I predicted, but they just weren't able the to get score momentum. Was very one-sided. Yeah. That way. It's like you can look if if pretend that left side doesn't exist for a moment. Just look at the scoreboard itself. You'd say, oh, like Mahu didn't contribute much, and Chizoran was a little behind, but the actual scores in terms of renown were not too bad, and like. A couple people popped off on Oversleepers. Yeah, no big deal. Then you look at the actual match points on the left-hand side, and it's just... Ugh. <laughs> ugh. Seven... Yep, that's um fairly... <laughs> fairly uh, good way of putting it. <laughs> All right. 1-0, and we're waiting for the second map of the set, which is... Which will be... Sorry, I, I didn't mention it, but I've got it now. I forgot um, to. Uh, garden. Garden, all right. Temple Garden. What is this? This is real life. This is a fantasy. Born in a landslide. Mm. Don't. Okay. Um, this is the unofficial broadcast of the third European qualifier for the third major of the Dominion series. Is what is happening. Was the time of the next giveaway mentioned? Yes, it was. We're doing the next giveaway after this match. This full set completes either in one or two maps time will be the next giveaway. Yep. Uh, and the Dominion series, by the way, in case you don't know what that is, is a Ubisoft-sponsored For Honor tournament that is going has been going on all year. Um, we've had multiple stages. This is the third one. And the last of the open qualifiers um, to get points to qualify for the grand finals, which are in February. And there is a $65,000 overall prize pool for the tournament, which these teams are fighting for. Although in the major, there's only 4,000 per region. So, it's, um, not as much, but still a very nice chunk of cash if you can win it. Yeah, to be fair, yeah, no. Julesaf, like, when you get further into the brackets, people are not going to do the spicy picks. We see that earlier in the brackets. I mean, we've seen here, there's, there's no Goki in this match, which is fairly unusual, considering... Um, his strength. They've, both of these teams have decided to swap Jan Hu for Goki, so we're seeing a bit more character variety than previously. We've had seen Kyoshins in, in earlier teams as well. Yes. Um, not being picked in either of these teams, but I think wasn't there one of the decent teams picking Kyoshin as well? Uh, I yeah, I think there was one or two teams uh, bringing out Kyoshin. Yes, there is a North American series. It'll actually be after this one, but being commentated by Norgoz. However, look at the rollouts yes, here. The oh, Bitcoin collectors a. going for a 1 1 2 split and going to be converting that to a collapse onto mid. Meanwhile, over on C, Helix got, got ledged by yeah. Mina B and rotates away. Yeah, oh, this is smart. Distance. I'm even surprised they managed to push him that close to the bridge. Oh, yes, you have to see. He did not delay his dodge attack long enough and was able to be deflected. No, it's good. Orion, fishing. Parried. A little bit too gun ho on the button presses, but Oren takes the initiative back. Caught, though, by the zone attack. Mina B with a cracking start to this match. Chizoron gets a, a throw into a throw. That Nova's not dead, and that is a safe punish. But. Can you get the final hit, though? No! And there we go. Oh, the peel, though! Oh, uh, Helix able to come okay, in! Okay, I know where Helix comes in for the last hit. Tilt a whirl. Heavy, top heavy. Who's Legion seeing, though? It's Orion! Sense ball. Oh! Uh, Legion. Helix didn't release in time. Yeah, I could have yeah. been a ledge. 
It would have been ledge, I think, if the right if he was waiting. Yeah, enough. definitely. And that that error is enough for Legion to get a, a well, absolutely annihilate the Orochi and cost him the point, really. So yeah, should have been watching Freeze videos. Sneaky plugs. Is that is that the take? To be honest, message? I thought everyone knew that. Everyone who ever played Raider knew that, but. Apparently not. Uh, to yeah, be fair, actually, even in, uh, even at this level, because this is the okay. the Dominion search was the reason for me to make that video actually. To because counter, I thought yeah. everyone knew that already. To counterpoint real quick on a very short distance, uh, or possibly short distance uh, raider charge, it, you can sometimes get it to where you physically can't release if the wall's close enough. So maybe that happened. No, you can always you can always make it do an instant. You can um, instant release. Throw, That's the thing. Yeah, pretty much. I oh, have to nice. do a long charge. I stand nice corrected. To help, yeah, very nice to like by Orion. You just have to double tap the guard break essentially. Um, okay. Just do a quick throw. I stand corrected though. Chiserin could try and finish off Mina, but Mina's making it difficult, dodging around the pillars. Gives a double tap to Orion. So Legion can, has to be careful of Legion dodges away Ooh. from the B, threatened, unblockable, right into the waiting arms and sword of Mina B. Oh, yeah, he's even external. Well done. Good save by Mina. Stops Legion from getting dropped by Mahu, who rotated back for Bitcoin collectors. But it's captured though by Oversleepers. So look at the amount of renown because of a couple of those kills. Mina's at a solid 300. What an gank that was between Mina B and, and Legion there. Hmm. Really, really good gank there. With the Legion heavy, wake up now. Confirming a kick, confirming heavy, confirming kick. Just really good. And then the last hit with the kunai. What's going I mean, on? Legion and Mina B did seem to play well together and, and was in, and in the previous tournament where unfortunately Mina B was um, in hospital and wasn't able to make it to the uh, previous major and they had to get Hiran as their as their substitute. Yeah. But um, he had been brought onto the team by sent by uh, Legion, so Legion has good good synergy with him. So we'll see see it playing out. Elf are going to Ryan here. I really think he really should have gone and tried to clear some minions and just die to minions or something. Because, although having said that, gets onto the point and, and catch Z. He's going to be able to attempt to heal, but alas, there's too many enemies on there and gets cleaved by Kumeku, who flanks in for the left-hand side of C. And now everyone's piling on. We are near the mysterious ledge of vacuuming. Keep that in mind so people are liable to fall off if they're not careful. Chizaron going to be leading the, the fight for the Bitcoin collectors using the Inspire to give Mahu and Helix the extra damage. Mahu will fall. Oh, two knife from off screen. That's a one for one trade. That's going to be an extra chunk. Chizaron trying to avoid Mina B's kicks and the hitboxes. One, two punch. Legion immediately tries to jump in. Helix on his own. Helix is down. Attackers captured. Yeah, and they take the point back immediately. I mean, they're very, looking very, very dominant in that team fight. Orion here is. Pillar stalling against Yogurt because he knows that's about the only thing he can manage to do here. Use Kunai there, uh, sorry, Ki to make himself. Yogurt has the Phalanx available. Nice delayed dodge attack there. Avoids the... Oh, that was slick! Riptide nice. into Deflect. Let's go, Orion! But Mina's got the tier 4. Mina's got the tier 4. That's going to be a lot of damage increases onto Bitcoin Collectors' collective heads. They need to get out of here now. Yeah, I mean, at this point, they don't really worry too much about feeding. Oh, no, have, having said that, I was going to say, don't worry about feeding Defender now. But then, um, Kameku and Yogurt both don't have their tier, tier 4. Although, having said that, Mina B was the one who got the kills. Um, so, Defender now is minimal for Assassins. Only get, only, you only feed 5. Um, Thirteen uh, and zero reads the scoreline for Mina B. Popping off, and and this Bitcoin here are no um, no slouches. They're no slouches, yeah. Yeah, they've gotten to this point. In the losers bracket. <laughs> True, but they they're in. They didn't go out immediately in the first losers. You got to give them some credit at least. Yeah, no, fair enough. Orion. But yeah, I think Mina B is one of these players that really stumps some players worse than him hmm. but sometimes struggles against players that aren't that great uh, that, that are not not clearly better but 
on par with him? Compo more uh, composed. Because I could imagine going up against Mina B in the high pressure game with all the buttons flying is just flustering, is the word I would yeah. use. So being able to yeah. remain composed is probably the biggest asset to fighting a good Orochi these days. Oh, that was a really yeah. nice key I used from there. Yeah. Um, interrupted Sarch's so heavy so didn't land well on his ally. I mean, in the long run, not super useful. But in the short run, it was a nice move. Um, Breaking order. I don't know. I'm not sure I agree with you that 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 um, Mina B is doesn't do well against good players. I think he's a no, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. But uh, he's one of those players that uh, because I know, I know, like you said before, a lot of players are inconsistent. Like they throw matches or or fights against players that are clearly worse than them. Mina doesn't yeah. have that. Very consistent in that regard. Yeah. But you can't really translate it into such a consistent performance against players of equal skill. That's what I mean. <clears throat> mm, yeah, I guess so. Although I have seen him do some really amazing stalling um, with. No, he's Yahoo a great. He is a great player. There's no question about that. Chizeron has revenge. Will yeah. Chizeron deploy it? Inspire was already used, so not able to get him bail his team out. Doesn't have Phalanx available either. Chizeron second man second man left for oversleepers. Oh, sorry, Bitcoin collectors. And now Matt, who's last man, dies to his mirror match. 2-0 oversleepers. They progress through the losers' brackets. Yep, and there they go. Bitcoin collectors are out. We will be the next match will be um oversleepers against the extra cool gacha. So we will have a chance to see which one of these two teams are the strongest. I remember we were talking about this earlier. Um and they have not yet fought. So is that on. basically a fight about who's the strongest Russian team now? Oh, hang on, but maybe we have, we have uh, Russian mind games, I guess, who long quality. Oh, yeah, Russian mind games. Are the, they're the Russian A, A team, as it were. Yeah. Um, so just to clarify here for the viewers, the ornament and battle outfit and effects are for watching the major for this qualifier, for this stage, which is going to be on the 27th of November. And they are not the same as the last time, last major, but we are not an official stream here we are unofficial we are somewhat affiliated with with um uh ubisoft they've given us some nice rewards to give people in the drops which we're probably gonna do one now yes um speak of the devil but we are not uh, the official uh, cast and when you when we do have the official cast it will be very slick very professional looking and it's going to be very exciting to watch so look definitely tune in for that even if it's not just even even not just only for the ornaments and outfits. It's gonna look. It's gonna be fun regardless. All right, we're just All gonna right. chill. We'll let the giveaway run for a little bit. Rest the voices. We still got a ways to go, and we will draw the giveaway winner when we are about to head into the batch. So exclamation! Okay. While we're here, yeah, go. Ah, oh, sorry, yeah, go ahead. Uh, but... No, you go ahead. Sorry. I was about to say. So exclamation mark ticket in the chat for those you want to enter. Just enter it once, and you're entered. Yeah, what I was about to say is because Norgos is here already, so click on his name, follow his channel. That's where you can watch the NA part of this tournament. Good point, actually. Hey yeah. there, Norgos. The, after this tournament done, we are coming into the losers bracket semi final. I just want to say. Yeah, the loser bracket semi finals. After this is done, EU's done, we will have. The North American tournament, we're not going to be casting it, but our good friend Norgoz, who's in the chat, will be casting it. And NA, NA is going to be, I, I think it's going to be exciting this week. We've got a lot of new teams, We've got a lot of teams that have um, yeah. got so many good players who've been sort of coming in from, haven't had a chance to beat beforehand and now are. Um, I think it should be a really good show. So, yeah. Norgoz, do you think Big you can handle it? eight teams this time? Or is it more by now? Hmm. Um, I don't know. I mean, let me check. It's Nor eight at the moment. Norgos has yeah, meat on the bone now to go through. Yeah. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I don't lie. It's seven teams. One one has dropped out. Oh, one dropped oh, out. Oh, we need freeze. <laughs> you need to stop saying things on stream. You keep sabotaging <laughs> things. This is Who the most. Out? This is the most concentrated um... case of commentators curse I've ever seen. <laughs> even even Jinx the one we three or something before, didn't I? <laughs> I just refreshed it and it's only seven. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe it's seven teams it's now. No, it is only seven. Bomb's gone. Don't know. Don't know who it is. 
Well, Monkey Strong is still there. The Tet Sus uh, are still there with Biggie Cheese. And I Parry Heavies. The Hilly Billies are there with a, an amazing profile picture. That's Senka's team, by the way, in case We have Raven Riders, Guidance Gaming, yeah. Virtue, and MTF Blacklight all in the NA. And we clearly well. don't know where the profile picture is from. I think they do. Well, I do know where it's from. It's just, <laughs> I don't think I can say it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <coughs> picture of, of um, Shaggy. Let's go ahead and abandon the thread right there and cut to a small break. <laughs> we'll have the giveaway finished and the next game up on stream simultaneously when the eye appears. We'll see you guys when it appears. And we are back. We have a game to show you and a giveaway to close. Let's draw a winner. Survey says, Q1MB1, Qu Quimby, I believe that's pronounced. You have won. I will be DMing you on Twitch when the broadcast is over. One more giveaway to go. We'll be drawing that before the grand finals. Let's mark that as complete. And let's see, teams are on these sides. Let me uh, do the overlay. Lovely jubbly. Any funny composition swaps? No, I keep asking that mainly out of hope, yeah, but we're too far in. in this one. Oh, yeah. But the claw always runs the Goki, so... Yes. Yep, yeah, he did before as well. I mean, at this level, teams don't swap around characters very much in... Um, against opponents because they've been practicing so much with the timing and things. You, you kind of want to focus on what you're good at, you know? Um, and whilst the yeah. each team that loses the match, naturally, they are able to, ch to change their characters and feats if they, if they so desire. It's something, and not something that many of the, of the teams take advantage of on account of. Yeah. It's not like yeah. we have clear counter picks. Hmm. Exactly. Similar to like what Nobas have, or he picks this character, or I can pick this one because my pool is the size of five or something. But yeah. On to the match. Okay. Rotations are Baron going to A, Komeku flips to B, and everyone else is going to go have a party on C. Is I'm really surprised about the three players on C all the time. Yeah, I wonder if it's developed as a... Um, Separate meta for the Russians? Idea. Or it could just be a Russian thing, yeah. Let's see. Oh my god, oh. Hopker used to exist! And is now being deleted from the game from his opposing number. Monkey Moki goes down. Claw on their own. One versus two now as Legion is opting to leave and either farm mid or go reinforce their Shanhu over on A. Nice dodge from Mina Beak. Stormrush catches him. Although you know, they, these they guys these guys don't need to worry about Orochi external pressure. You just guard in the direction he is and dodge towards him or away from him and it, it dodges it so I'm more surprised when that when people get caught with external things these guys know that so I mean they should know that Baron didn't go for the deflect there Interest oh, interesting on a top deflect especially yeah it, it's not like a black prior where you get punished for it or a Nusha interesting well maybe he just slip of the mind are we calling match fixing already <laughs> <laughs> I, I ain't saying anything. <laughs> I was just saying maybe he's smooth brain. That you know that happens. We smooth brain on commentary enough. People can smooth brain when they play. Mina B is going to retreat immediately. Legion goes yeah. down. Kumeku's nowhere near to assist. So Yogurt's all on his own. 
Ow. That's going to be a full punish. Oh, great revenge pop there. Oh, and he uses Ooh, the revenge too to dodge the hog. Yummy. Oh, no. And the big it's punish. There dead. we go. No, not dead. No, he did, he forgot that's on safe punish. Should have changed the top heavy. Oh. Everyone oh. wait. Oh, there we go. He got caught during a startup frames twice. Yeah. Balls of steel from Claw there, yeah. That's one rep. Well done. Very well done. Yeah. Two reps? Like that no. is bad. That's yeah, was <laughs> But yeah, tried to correct it with the light, but still too late. Legion's gotta be wary. He doesn't have a lot of HP to play with here. He's gonna use the revenge to buy himself some time. But, uh, also oh. first card, please. Oh, this is delay strats. This is oh, hyper look at delay. That. I didn't even know that's possible. Oh, that was I thought flashy. Bounced, huh? I like that I extra that cool catch. That timed actually. That normally would have bounced off the yeah. um, slap. That was pretty looking. Yeah, it was quite cool looking. <laughs> Can come but, and yeah, claw that. Really well done of him. External Need light goes down. Bye, Yoga. Oh no, gets the parry! No, they go into light confirm and he very not very nice parry on the light confirm. A guard break confirm would have killed him. Reinforcements are on the way, but they may not get here in time for yogurt. Here's Legion. Uh, they do not. Should oh, oh Legion doesn't get here, and neither does Koeku. This is now in I mean this is a fella feral push, they've got them yeah. a very low L. Like both attackers are really low. Hmm. They can get reinforcements in here before the other attackers show up. If Goki shows up, they're not going to leave. Let's see. I think everyone else for extra cool gatches are tied up right now in mid and over on A. Look Gosh. at that. Cool. Attackers really, that they're holding on. They're like really, really, on. really well. Uh, we immediately said something and then, oh, nice parry too. Honk is still lasting. Yeah, but the oh, amount they go. stalled there, like a solid 30, 30, 40 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. It was really well done. I mean, long. it was their point, so they had no real reason to leave. Yeah. Yeah, well done for them. All right. Overview now. Everyone's for ECG are going to be streaming out of spawn and figuring out what to do next. Moki holding down the fort and farming some XP on A. Two more members on the mid. Going to be in a 2v3 against Oversleeper's corresponding forces. Kumeku looks like he's been told to sort of sit in the back and wait for the inevitable raider rotation from Honker using Rush to get there quickly. Yep, there we are. Baron is going to drop. Claw drops as well. Yeah, well, that's what you get because uh, they were constantly boosting A. Which, which one was it? The, the, the JJ? The uh, Mexico yeah, the JJ. Yeah, the JJ. Yeah. Leaving his team in a 3v4. And that's what they get. They, they lost two people. Hmm. Even with heavies getting the fastest renown gain towards their feet from boosting, losing the man advantage is just too important. Like, you can't boost for that long in that situation. It's... Yeah. Unless you, like, severely outskill the opponent, you can't afford that, usually. Or you know your team's going to win through some sort of shit, like, set up feet shenanigans or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Claw. Caught in the GB. Uh, why are we hitting external guard, gentlemen? <laughs> yes, that was miscommunication there. I think um, Legion was intending to... Mean to, mean to throw the throw the um, bash and no, he didn't, or yogurt throw the bashing. Honkers on the way. Honkers sure. zooming, using the rush to get. Oh, mean to be <laughs> nice dodge there to avoid that. Yeah, goes down to claw using a heavy. However, claw will also drop, making this back to another two v one. Legion using inspire to give himself and his teammate an extra damage buff. Will it be relevant? Let's find out. It does knock Honker down to half HP before his opposing raider drops to the ground dead. And reinforcements finally arrive for extra cool gachias. That there was the kick game there, yeah, nicely done. Baron immediately runs off after Dunning's duty to now go help out Claw in the mid. Baron is the firefighter, it looks like, for extra cool gachias. Yeah. But look at the scoreboard, how much they can boost now. It's like plus two on both points, okay. 
The moment I say it, I leave C. But yeah, I don't know, they're, they're getting a lot of points right now. Kameku is low, but Kameku does have longbow. Does Kameku want to spend it now or run away to safety? He's being marked by Claw. Oh no! No, he ate Nakunai. He ate, no, he ate the bow from Claw. No, the bow from Claw, yeah. yeah. A soul for a soul, a bow for a bow. Mina B now and the danger needs to run away. Not enough. Yogurt swings, hits. Claw able to counter attack with a nice dodge headbutt. Too many indicators to deal with. This is going to be full punish. And hog. Oh, there we go. And that should be a full zone. There we go. And Perfect. an XE. Is he done? Even with the nerf, Demon Ball still scary. Up oh, by Claw. Nice knowing you. Gets hit with a longbow. Now Legion's coming in. That revenge longbow. Yeah. Oh, there's actually a fight over on A as well. Sakura being choked after getting parried by Moki. But Mina wants to secure the kill on Baron using the extra speed off of the Storm Rush to get there. Oh, don't get caught out of lock. Don't get caught out of lock. No. Oh. So about... I mean, he, he got off there, didn't feed a vet defender announced. That's True. Uh, useful at least. Yeah, small consolations, but... Out of being caught out of lock like that will usually guarantee more damage against you. Yeah, I don't yeah, think it does anymore for. Um... Oh! The slow stuff on that feet really, really hurts JJ. Yeah. It's a really close match, both in score and in. A... It is! Good yeah. Kunai usage by Baron there to kill Legion. And now the opposing JJ has used his tier 4, he's got Phalanx already. Yeah. Ghost parry, I think, there for Kameku. Scorching Deluge is up, and Kameku, I think, wants to fish for it, but he just needs to get Baron off his backside. <laughs> oh, really nicely done. Yogurt being ganked in the back there. Oh, the light berry is uh, dead. The next key before he gets to use it. Long but they unbreak, they rally from mid. I've honestly never seen that execution. Yeah, I think that's the longest one for that isn't the samurai faction wide uh, hit Harakiri. So. The no, one is the longest one. Oh! Yeah, I forgot there's a brand new one. Never mind, I take that back. Wallops just got absolutely melted there. Yeah. Oh, anyone down? Oh, no. Two people oh, down. No, that's break really bad. Yoga oh, and Mina. Yoga and Mina. Oh, Mina. Yeah, so now it's Kameku and Legion versus the world. And they're essentially oh, going mid, mid. mid about to go in their favor, go against them as well. But I mean, I think this match is yeah, mid is kind of irrelevant oh. there. Oh, that oh, is there we go. Strong. Nothing. That was uh, a fury fast with slip through and fear I mean, itself. With, um, fear itself, yeah. Ow. I mean, there's nothing. That, that was just uh, <laughs> the spiciest fire flask that. in history. Yeah, that's about as bad about as bad a fire flask as you can get hit by. The highest, like, Baron with 12 kills at the bottom of the scoreboard. <laughs> Bruh. Ah, not quite, not quite. He's still higher than Kameku. Yeah, Moki's got five kills. And is a leaderboard. Yeah, but like we said at the beginning, he was boosting it all the time. Which oh, kind of put his team into a bad position for a while. But, uh, yeah, the renown shows he got his feet. Hmm. Yeah, that delay that we some of the delay we saw was great. What are the, there's actually a thing, funnily enough, because of the Dead by Daylight crossover reminded me an aspect of that game that's also very relevant at high level for this game too is time management. Being able to optimize your time usage and mess with the enemy's time usage is really important in high end play. Oh yeah, definitely. A bit like how uh, earlier on today when we were watching some uh, Oversleepers uh, matches. Oh no, uh, some sleeping, the sleeping gang matches, I forget their name, Setmix's team. Setmix got caught out and was being zoned out by Prone for like a solid 30 seconds. That's not good. That's 30 seconds where you're not earning any renown, any score, and not providing any map pressure. That's yeah. not what you want. Well, that's why we'd say about having, if you're on very low health and nowhere to heal, it's often better to... Um, commit suicide than than waste your time just walking around on the map, because if you essentially if you're not doing anything, you're you're holding your whole team back, um, which can itself be as damaging as just dying. Yeah. Um, so we're on beachhead again. You think we're finally gonna see a contesting of both points, or at least one? Because so um, far nobody tried even contesting 
Well, this uh, was picked the attacker home point. We're currently 1 0 at the moment. Yeah, 1 0 extra cool gashes. Uh, where should I put the camera, chaps, real quick before it starts? Oh, over, just an overview, I think. Yeah, overview? Cool. Overview. Right up, nothing special. Okay. We should see both Orochis head towards the opposing point. Alright, quick as we can. Let's see. Baron goes to C. Mina B goes to A. No. Yep. They're still playing it like a standard um, home Defenders point map. Yeah. yeah. It takes time for information to disseminate, even in the top end for other communities. So maybe yeah. they just. Don't but I mean, know. we still have the five, uh, the 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 different uh, capture timers, right? With multiple people, so it's yeah. not as prevalent already. So, but once the the 5.5 second one hits, everyone should adapt to that. Baron shoved in the corner, gets impaled into a wall by Bar by Mina B. Baron, no, actually Baron responds in kind, but Yogurt able to transition with a target swapped heavy, able to kill Baron for the first casualty. Homka forced to retreat, and so's Kameku, leaving it in a 3v2 in the mid, make that a 3v1, scratch that 3v0. Effectively an ace for the oversleepers with making two members of ECG retreat. Yeah, then that's a, a decisive initial win. They haven't got um, momentum to go push the the back cap yet. They didn't have enough health and they knew people were going to be respawning as well. So, sensible to go back and heal, but that's an initial, a nice initial win that hopefully will be for them. They'll try and maintain that momentum going forward. Nice. Yogurt gets an excellent parry. That's going to be a follow up. Legion goes for the Tobash afterwards. Be careful of revenge, my friend. Oh no, oh no, he actually bounced off the roll. And fortunately for the Legion, Baron was out of stamina. And so he wasn't able to punish and he will respond in kind. Baron hits the deck. Hobka now trying to retreat as fast as his raider legs will carry him, but there's nowhere to heal because Mina B is actually sitting on the point, denying healing for both himself and Claw. Ooh, oh, that, that, the key key that was excellent. I mean, I didn't seem to really capitalize on it, but still really good. Hmm. Next, suddenly dodges. It would have been gotten away, but the range on Rochi's four dodge, um, that range on Rochi's chain heavy is crazy good. Is this an infinite? Oh, 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 he messed it up is. the dodge pack. He didn't input his dodge pack fast enough. Ah, that's yeah, taking us. And around for these guys as well, so. Oh, yes, C is in the control of extra cool gacha, so every kill earns them more. Oh, Yogurt, I just getting off the point here. I think at this point they need to abort this plan. Yeah, flee. Don't die here. Do not throw Do not throw away the defender right now. Claw goes down, though, so Kameku's able to reinforce. Oh. Oh, oh. Optimism reigns supreme. Never mind. Possible take of, of, of C point by oversleepers? Question mark? I'm They're really jinxing people today, here. aren't they? Possibly. <laughs> They haven't got mid though, so I mean, it seems to be a weird place to push when you haven't got the mid lane. Oh, the knockdown! But Claw gets up oh, in time! Yes, on just in time! Moki did die to the drop attack, that was off screen, but confirmed by Kameku. Reinforcements are coming in, Honka has arrived, and Moki is probably going to follow suit shortly. Oh, Minibi got called off! What's Mina doing here? Uses the, I think they want to retreat here, Oversleepers do, but ECG are applying a little bit too much pressure. Or maybe to draw them towards this side of the map where they have the side of the zone. Where we do have a fight on A though. Oh, we do. Yeah, that's a fair point. Uh, was a fight. Baron okay. just died. <laughs> Never mind. Back over to here. I'll shut up for now. <laughs> <laughs> You're a walking like curse, I swear, Freeze. Yeah. Claw dies. Oh. Legion, however, in the 1v2. Point, by the way, still in the possession of extra cool gachas this entire time. Oversleepers have possession of mid and A to be able to farm up a healthy hard point lead while all of this has been happening. The thing is, extra cool have not been getting many kills on this point, so they really haven't actually got much in the way of defender renown from it. Um, they've been losing these fights. Yeah, they're actually behind them in the middle. Mm. Yeah. 
We'll take a look at the scoreboard is... when this fight eventually ends, if it does. Huh, yeah. It's been going Nine on for what? Black, Three me, minutes? Man there. <laughs> oh, it's me to be to do the play. Someone deflected. You can't, dodging away from that attack is really dangerous. You've got to time it really properly, otherwise you just won't get away. Mina B got Baron in the mix, but at lack of stamina shuts that down. Mina B got to watch your stamina, Sunshine. That's a oh. Fire Flask being thrown there, courtesy of Yogurt. That's a Fury Flask too. That's going to be Baron roasted on the pyre. Should both be dead though, right? Should Is the other Orochi? Uh, no. no Mina B lived because uh, he managed to get out and go. And heal. Did he get the kill with a uh, the bounty hunter prop? He has no bounty hunter. He's oh, he doesn't. Oh yeah, right. He doesn't. The fight that never ends goes on and on, my friends. Yogurt gets mullered. Legion needs to flee. But Kameku now back in the fray. I get one, they, they get one kill on this point. This is the, like they haven't had a kill. Homka got a kill, and that was battle of the only, the, the only kill they've had on this point. Yeah. This entire time, Oversleepers has just been quietly farming at hard points. You can see at the top right now, almost 800 points for Oversleepers versus 365 for extra cool gachas. Oh, that was a really nice thing I want to point out there. Hmm? So we saw him dodge attack and then aiming to recovery cancel his dodge attack to avoid the chain hyper armor. But oh. um, the raider saw that was going to happen and uh, guard broke him instead. Dirty. And then, of course, he got long for his pleasure. Her, her, her. Moki now holding down the fort for extra cool gashias. I feel like extra cool gadgets need to decide that they want to de keep dedicating to C or just go clear A and B instead because this feels like they're trying to bail a ship that has the uh, the, 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 the iceberg that sunk the Titanic buried in the side of it. It's just not working. Yeah, yeah I'm not sure. Yeah, I think Baron's been heading over to, to A on a sort of semi-regular basis and he keeps on losing 1v1s there. Hmm. Um, okay, that's yeah. fine. This seems incredibly messy, doesn't it? But it somehow works out. You just keep on piling on that point. Look at the score. You never get it. They're not, they're not. They're just not dying here. So yeah. that's the the real thing. They've all. They, every time they're low, they manage to get out. Um, and just yeah, keep just point going at, at their yeah. own advantage. Oh, yeah, where really. is Baron? Yeah, you think the strategically is a bad decision what they're doing, but they're just muscling through it. We're winning this fight, so why would we care about strategy, right? Yeah. Well, that's like it. You can have the best strategy in the world, but if you don't win your fights. Doesn't make a difference. Yeah. Really nice phalanx pop there. Um, making sure they don't lose this fight on on I mean, a... I mean, it's just one person. It's just a JJ left. They already killed yeah. all three. Extra cool gachias on the verge of taking this or having oversleepers take this to a 1 1. And there it is. 1 1. Yeah. Yeah, JJ does not do well against undodgeable attacks, let's put it that way. Hmm. Defenders win. I'm not too big a fan of matches like this, to be honest. Oh? Well, I mean, it's oh, in general, I mean, it's just like, like I said, I... I if... Uh, how do I put this? Bloody hell, look I mean, at look, yeah, look at the kills, like you said. 14. I mean, strategically, it was kind of a... A bad thing to just keep on piling on that point, but if you just don't die because you're fighting or playing so much better than the opponent then you, you just don't care but yeah. it, it kind of as a, as a as a viewer it's kind of i mean imagine imagine coming bottom of the scoreboard with uh, with 12 0 0 yeah shame on you legion <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well they not they always are taking the piss of legion from for you know oh for six six five or whatever you know just and then, what was it, 3-7 or something. And here he goes, 12-0, still at the bottom of the scoreboard. He just can't catch a break, can he? Absolutely not. So you've been gone since 10 a.m. for three hours. What have you missed? Well, Bloop, uh, we are currently in round five of the uh, losers bracket here in the tournament. We are a little bit behind schedule due to some shenanigans further back in the bracket delaying things, but we're progressing through nicely. We have seen an uh, okay variety in compositions up until now. We're starting to get into the meat and potatoes further in. And lots of deflex, lots of some, lots of really fun Orochi 1v1s, some Kyoshin 1v1s, and then a couple Star Shugo plays. But outside of that, it's been fairly standard and, and expected. There's been, oh, actually, no, there were a couple people who did get completely screwed over in terms of drop attacks on Overwatch. People tried doing drop attacks uh, yeah. on Overwatch, that common mistake. I mean, we will, see, we will see the next match after this, the winners of this one here, which is, this is the um, match point for... 
uh, the losers semi-final. The match the, will go on to play Inconsistus, the winners of this one. And Inconsistus are running a Kyoshin, so um, you're seeing like people run, not running have Shigokis. We have a good uh, Janhu appearances. I mean, it's a much more varied composition, uh, set of compositions, than it was uh, last in the last um, qualifier. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, we've seen more picks. We've seen more picks from more teams. Because if you just think, oh, it got picked once by that one team. But we see multiple John Hoos. We see multiple uh, Kyoshins. Stuff like that. It's, it's different now. So it's not just you need to wait for one team to see that one specific Defenders pick. Captured zone C. Oh. Again, this really weird rotation where they start Attackers off going three to mid and, and get beat in initially. Baron looking like he's going to force a back cap, sends both Mina B and Kameku backwards to contest it, hmm. but actually doesn't. He's standing up there doing nothing. He's losing Poor the thing. ladder menacingly. <laughs> Hello? I'm not sure what we're doing here. Having a staring contest? I mean, getting triple capped, I guess, is what we're doing. Yeah, they're just, they're just, they're just um, d distracting whilst we donate C point. Yeah. Fine. Big place from Baron there, I guess. Big place <laughs> if from Baron. If it's climbing around on the top of a ladder gets you uh, a triple cap, then yeah. Yep. Baron brain. the MVP here. <laughs> that really look is a at him. Moment there. Baron's going look at right now. Re look at his revenge. Oh, okay, and then he's got damage. I need to shut the fuck up, really. <laughs> <laughs> You're cursing people. Baron's one more mix, no. Max attack. Very nicely done. Oh yeah, that, that's something, Mr. Blue, that's been happening all day. Freeze keeps cursing people. He has the most diluted, like, most concentrated essence of commentary cursing I have ever seen. It's, yeah, it's usually not me, it's usually you guys. But... Yeah, yeah no, it's me. It's usually me and Spaniard, but now it's you. And it's worse. <laughs> I think he just- he's, I just he's, took he's both perfect. of you and condensed it into whatever I'm having right now. <laughs> That was a weird walls back there. I think he must have tried to go for the the throw him off the edge, but didn't quite get the angle right. Um, mm. Shame. It's quite hard to do with keyboard and mouse because you can't. If they're playing keyboard mouse, you can't pick a, a direction. Although control is harder in its own well, way. No, you can unlock aim towards the ledge and just throw. Oh yeah, but I mean, if you don't do that, he didn't. If you don't do that, yeah. but yeah, I think if you get used to that, you can have very nuanced throws. On keyboard mouse. Interesting choice. Goes to yeah. the Baron instead. Oh, he gets the on kill. Big brain. Me. Never mind. Oh, nice. Mina B. Use the zone to get round. Ah. Oh, that's shame. Good that's effort. Yeah, definitely good effort there. Unfortunately, the, he, noticed the, he did manage to storm rush himself off the point, which let him heal a tiny bit. Not one hit, tick of healing. Yeah. That may, it probably wouldn't have made a difference, but. All right. Claw, gonna try and eliminate Kameku with the help of Homka. However, Claw himself gets eliminated, and so does Homka. Oh, now dang. I need to shut up. Spaniard, you're solo casting now. Go. Yeah, Solo's actually playing great there, and two two kills, one off back to back. Kameku hasn't really got a place he can heal. I think he might be looking. We might be looking at a um, freeze or MP3 moment, and there we go. Oh, ha. he survives oh. the fall thanks to a minion. Okay, well, now he trying to get. Let's talk. see. Let's see. Second attempt. <laughs> there we go. I, um, I have the opposite ability. Okay. I'm able to keep <laughs> so alive. This we just <laughs> jumped and didn't drop the attack. <laughs> All right, actual big... fight on C here. Yeah. yeah, push in from. Uh, I was forgetting the name. Actual Gatchers onto the defender-owned point here. Oh, the kunai can from the top heavy. That was Yum. beautiful. Over and sleepers so functioning much well. well. Mina B's on tier four. We've got tier threes on Solips. Have a look. Tier three's gonna be shortly on the Raider as well. Yogurt. Janhu training behind, but um other than that, that is Oh the Janhu's running um yeah. uh what's his one? The, the stamina one. Stamina Instead region, of, um, yeah. Strange. He can get Bounty Hunter, can't he? Mm, yeah, you, uh, you can, but however, I think the, the case here is because there's so much running around and mid-clearing, perhaps Kameku wants the increased pace of being able to regenerate your stamina at a stupidly fast rate. There's the interrupt! Yeah. The, the nerf to Shigoki being displayed there once again. Legion able to actually get him bailed out of dodge 
out of the demon ball. Yeah, previously that would have been nothing doing. Nice stall there from Hom from Homka, baiting out interrupt attempts and peel attempts from from Salts, but actually managing to just defend against those. But oh, uh, sorry, your camera switched, and I thought he'd just seen the top heavy. Sorry about. Uh, Salts throws a stamina. Uh, Punished? Homka. What was that? I think did you get was that top light? Did Homka feel like something was coming along and decided to not go for the top enemy? He must have, yeah, must have fainted, right? Yeah, he fainted. Um, he probably thought that he was going to get GP by the Orochi. Or heavy, maybe. Yoga um, interrupted Kameku. Bam. There we go. And that's another little chunk of defender renown to those guys. We've got tier fours on Solips. Um, and you know, a big renowned disadvantage for ECG here. Hmm. Yeah, look at Claws. It just does his tier one. Yeah, we'll compared take... to a used tier four already. Yeah. yeah. Baron has not even made oh, it past the triple digit right, mark yet for renown. Uh, Mina, why are you going this close to spawn? You have no right to be here. Weird location for Mina B to be. Um, especially. Now there's oh. two people! Now there's three people! And a fire flask defending. I mean. Like, I don't know what we're doing. What? We're going into the twilight zone, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're we'll breaking now. Breaking. And the allied uh, ECG's J JJ was sitting on uh, A the whole time and just used. Oh, Moki, yeah. Well, oh, that was a good use of it, especially because it's allowing all the well, they minions. Had, they did manage to pull back to points, so they can defend their breaking advantage. Claws on his own, however, this this sacrifice may be in vain if the rest of Extra Cool Gatches do not get there in time to back him up. I mean, he is... Okay, they're just going to let him run away. Okay, well, they fine. let him escape? Yeah, and they rally. He decides he to fight. Okay. Oh, uh, they're getting seen in time. Oh, they're getting seen in time. Ooh, is it? No. no. That would have been really dumb if they had done. Because they would have put them in breaking themselves. No! The oh, save! One interrupt. But that was from an ally, an opponent yeah. interrupted it. Kameku interrupted Yogurt's stampede. That's not what you want to do. Not what you want to do at all. Baron's chasing Mina Bloodhound. Oh. Mina, be, Mina be dying. I mean, this, this, there should be yelling in comms. Absolutely. This, like, this team fight is looking really bad now. This went from absolute genius with uh, Claw's bait to, to this. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Kameku, one versus twoing, trying to buy Yogurt some time to get out of this situation. Homka being yes, bullied. We're getting a double that break in. So, oh, double break in. And. Oh, Homka dead. Longbow hits the box, though! The longbow fire attempt from Kameku hits the box. It wasn't able to hit Moki. That's who he was targeting. Defenders captured they sent one. A. Oh! Yeah, they got A. They yeah. got A. But, um... Moki delaying. Barrett, okay, that's allowing, not... uh, well, that one says allows um, his oh, ally no! to get a, or attempt to get a res at least, but it doesn't manage it in time. Interrupted. Over there. And it's uh, going to be goodbye to Baron, goodbye to ECG, and these uh, and uh, oversleepers. Oversleepers. God, I really need to work on. I need to have these written out somewhere. So Welcome to my. I have brain. to bracket on the second monitor. I, yeah. I always keep peeking over. Yeah. What? Who's yeah, playing? I mean, this is me who's trying, trying to do like your commentator goes. And it's goodbye Spaniard. to ECG and hello to the uh, the team, which name Spaniard. I remember. Uh, Welcome uh, to being inside my brain for the past five yeah. years of commentating for Honor. Yeah. That's when you notice yeah. when I say attackers and defenders because I <laughs> I don't remember. The <laughs> well, I get the colors mixed up, so that's not no help either. <laughs> okay. So. Oversleepers are going on to face Inconsistors, who I think... Uh, let me just check the bracket again. They, they have lost to them 2-1 before, but it was a very close run thing. And only because they had to get a... Uh, they lost to Inconsistors when they had a sub, and they had a disconnect with that sub as well. So now their team is back together. Um, hopefully they will have no connection issues this time, and we will see a, a replay of the Inconsistors Oversleepers um, grudge match. Oh yeah, this but is losers in, finals. Yep, yeah, in the losers finals, but hopefully with no DCs this time. Hopefully. Oh yeah, uh, Hero Lancelot. Just to let you know, after this match will be the final giveaway of the day before grand finals. Or maybe even later. We don't know yet. 
That's fine, that's fine. Let's do Don't it after this one. Jinx <laughs> the tournament, Mr. Freeze. <laughs> I'm just jinxing the giveaway. Don't, not the tournament. don't jinx the giveaway, they'll get in trouble with Ubisoft. <laughs> <laughs> the codes will explode like someone will get a the billion codes steel. Will explode. Yeah. It'll make your it'll make your account bleed. Yeah, I'll something. I'll like it'll one of the codes will break the steel economy and then I'll get shit for it. <laughs> I I wanna see how how likely is it if everybody puts in like random codes <laughs> if you end up like well congratulations you've unlocked a million steel. <laughs> if a th if a thousand people in Twitch sorry, if a thousand monkeys are on a thousand typewriters and all put in codes, will someone get steel? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> is that how that works? I mean, I'm not sure. I don't I mean, know. It's I just... like, those codes are so Hang on, uh, you think so they long. are created and, and then only work once, or is it an algorithm that creates codes? According yeah, to something, had to be crazy. it's all. Like, I maybe think they, maybe they will like. There's an infinite number, right? Well, no, they'll have they'll have created codes that then are valid for some amount of time. But then, assuming we're just assuming they've got some codes knocking around for for steel things, whatever. Um, okay, so you think you could theoretically get one of those codes that are yeah, already activated? Yeah, if there's some live, okay, you can randomly yeah. pick one. I think it's quite unlikely though. So maps. Picks man's. We have a ban on High Fort, unsurprisingly. Uh, a ban on Sanctuary, which is. Oh, are we going to get a beach hit? Okay. Uh, we have an Overwatch and then Temple, and the third one will be one of the other maps. Well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> waiting for them, waiting for them to decide in match chat. Um, so we have Overwatch, Temple Garden, and I'm, I'm hoping this will prompt them into typing the. Thingy. No, they're just they're just taking the piss, aren't you? Ah, lovely. Ah, it, well, it is. Oh, watch the temple. I, I don't know what's taking them the so long to decide the last one. Um, uh, Jules, it is not steel that has been given away this time. It is combat packs that we have. These are the codes that I was given. So these are the codes we're giving away. And harbor. Harbor. I was, yeah, I'd printed that one, but um, yeah. I've got a trapper. Um, I've got a trapper uh, raider. He looks the best one for. Nice. I mean, he looks like a zero killer anyway. Combat pack includes two scavenger crates and a week of champion status. If I'm correct. Yes, I believe that's the standard combat pack. So it's basically you farm stuff faster and you get two rolls of the new gear. Yeah, ten gear. T oh five. yeah, because it's, it's yeah it's premium packs. Yeah, each one's five. Yeah. So you can get that new that new armor that you've been waiting for. Hmm. Or you can save your crates up to events and then not have to worry about farming. Or do yeah. what I've done and for keep forget you're saving up and have 257 crates that you never 257? use. 257! Oh my goodness. I, yeah, that's 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 a number of crates that I don't have. Yeah, I, I, I do have forget to use them. Quite a lot more steel than you, though, so, you know. Hmm. True. It's the trade. If only you could trade yeah. the crates for steel. I'd do that yeah. hardly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can trade steel for crates. Fair, yeah. but it's not the only way around. do that. <laughs> That's why it's called a currency, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can you, you can exchange it for goods and services. <laughs> Money can be exchanged for goods and services. Homer monkey dot gif. Just the, the symbol monkey in his head. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what it is. Du, 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 du. I love I love Simpsons. All right, waiting on the eye now. Yep. Are we I'll doing? Are we doing a giveaway now or? We, uh, we, grand we, finals. We... Oh, okay. Grand finals. Yes, I couldn't remember how many we had left. Yeah, this is losers finals. You guys ready for no drip in the LA quality? Ooh, an accusation of NA having no drip. Their cosmetics oh, they, are trash. They do maximum drip. It's just their drip is uh, goes in a different direction than many people choose. Um, the the guidance in particular, I know, just loves super bright colors of clash, super bright clashing colors that uh, and in psychedelic patterns all kinds of nonsense essentially anything to make your character confuse the opponent's eyes uh, if they they look like if you if they, your opponents think am i on lsd then you know you've done a good job with your uh, north american drip basically hi for another day Love yes the work you're thank you very much nostromo Oh, just, you can read it out. I was Burp. just wondering if there's a way to keep up with the changes in the team's roster as the Dominion series goes on. Teams, we can barely keep up with the changes ourselves, your boy. We, <laughs> we <laughs> I'll can... say, if there is one, uh, the admins would like to know. <laughs> yes, 
<laughs> for honor. No, we can. Yeah. It, it would be kind of nice to have a. Um, well, you know what you can do, Nostromo, is if you go on the Dominion series site, you can see all the matches of um, all the events that have happened on the battlefield page, and then you can go to the participants tabs for each of them, and then see uh, who is playing on each on each one. So you can go back and see which ones were there. Um, but we haven't got a uh, an update, like a running update, as it were, because they seem to change on a yeah on a weekly basis, and uh, just bef they change just before the tournament as well. So who knows? Fairly but, sure um, is to harass the admins and the commentators. Yeah, pretty much that. Yeah. And we have oh, uh, I think there's, do you see Kyoshin? Prone is still playing the Kyoshin there. I believe so. We'll find out for sure when we get to game. I was not paying attention. All good. <laughs> Oh yeah, absolutely, Kareem. I, I remember back in the day when I tried to play Gears 3 comp, that would happen. I just run Marcus Phoenix with gold weapons. Let's pay attention to C for now. Oh yes, C. Marshall is so quick. Is he? Mm. No. Not Be this quite. time, because Mina B went there. Because last time Setmix didn't go there, Setmix went mid. Which means only slow characters went to C, which allowed for the quick cap. Hmm. But this time both quick characters went to C. Which means we have this fight now. Yes. But it did seem they got there first. Maybe there is a small um, speed advantage. Because, you know, you yeah. wouldn't expect that. I will the test it. got there before even the other one did, so. Anyway, the, the initial fight is going in favor of Inconsistors. Although we've got quite a lot of Amina B's doing yeah, it. It's back job. to a 2v2. Like there we are. Living able to get the kill. However. Mina B is fighting very hard to keep this, and reinforcements are coming now for oversleepers. There's the decapitate. Lands in time. Well. Can Living hold this for long enough until Marishol can run over? That's the question. With no, revenge, you, you will. The light people, confirm. People keep you trying to light confirm against Living. Like, they don't. can't do it. Does it, nobody it. know that the man has also, like, one, 150 or some shit reaction time? He, yeah. he can easily happen. react to that shit. And it also doesn't work if you get externally blocked and then you can parry out of block stun, which is what happened there. Yeah. Just go for the guard break, man. Oh, Pro oh, tried to fish for a GP and took an external heavy for his troubles. Ow. And they, but they did manage to capture the zone just in time. Bolt is now on a uh, defender. Okay. There we go. Finally got the prone. hit. No prone. Yeah. It's not going to do it. They decide to not follow up, Is... not give revenge. Sensible. That was weird. No, no. They, here they decided to not give revenge to Solitude. If they if they'd done another heavy, it would have it would have given revenge. And so instead, they left him at you know, ninety percent. I mean, he's alive, but he's not able to pop revenge, which would have he would have done if the hmm. if they'd gone. To the fire. Prone dies. Quite a, quite a Ace there. potentially here if Just Ice gets GB'd one more time no, by Livy's either person. One. Yeah. But yeah, for the there chat, Silver, this is like the fifth so. time this happens now against do. against Living. Like people keep trying it against him. Yeah, I mean, uh, you'd think they'd learn after a, after a few times, but I mean, they they have them triple cap now, so yeah, this is definitely a good start after a bit of sort of a bumpy road. They've definitely got um, back into the swing of things. Inconsistence can now safely boost. Yeah, to get to get back on the on the one thing with the with the Kyoshin and the Hawk thing. Yeah. Do you no longer go for the Fujin cuts? Is that no um, longer what you do? Because Pro well, kept can't. going for heavy light. I mean, I think heavy light does more damage than. No, Doesn't also feed more of it. Twenty-five. Yeah, yeah, you would think so. Um, especially if you've got the um, the bleed thing up, then maybe. Well, you know, I, I, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. Because um, Clutch is obviously practicing this a lot more. Nice reads from Brown here. Mina B eating a lot of damage. Goes that that last bit, uses that key eye to push him out of stamina. Really nicely done. Doesn't manage to get the... Oh, mm. gets the hit and... Yeah. In comes... Uh, was it uh, Yoga or... Kameku. Kameku, uh, Kameku to finish him off. Yes. Nicely, nicely done. Yoga and Legion died on A. And that's now been seized by Inconsistus. Yeah, prone drawing two people to see, allowed them to get the A fight. Yeah. So, if he died, 
I don't know. Really they, they're still behind. They've got a way to go and renown and points. Oh, yeah. Yogurt and Solops not having good matches. Zero, zero for two for both of them. Although Marichal's zero for three, so, you know. Yeah, Leisure thrown up a really donut on all seeing... aspects, except death is not a good scoreline. Yeah. Kameku and... Um, some kind of Rus Russian standoff going on here. This is like a Mexican standoff, except with Russians. Not in um, a circle. And we're not without guns. And without guns. No gun execution. Rip. Disarm. Able, Marichal able to get rid of that threat. Ooh, big hit there. Prone. Half HP. Marichal well half Well-timed guard break there to confirm the allied chain zone. That's a lot of them. <laughs> Longbow came up somewhere. That must have been... Kameku was Kameku way in the back. Behind, in the middle. Way in the back. Managed to not get hit by minions and, and gets a kill for it, which is real nice. Actually, all already has is tier 4. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Decent play. I mean... And Mina B has also been absolutely stomping. They've, he's almost at his tier four. They, they've just been. What's what happens when you get when you get enough kills? You get on a kill streak and you get a lot of renown. Nice dodge with that key eye. This is, this is a kunai well opportunity here. Yep. He doesn't die, which he does. Legion one HP. No healing places immediately nearby. Hi, Orochi coming oh. through our screen. That should mean they can't claim it. No, come here. It is on the case. Yeah, Kameku's just keeping mid secure. Yoga keeping living off the point. You see that, like, just guard break over and over and over again until he does something. Mm. Tier 4 just come out on mid, yep. prone, um, and it was clear some minions, but not a giant amount of value for that. I think Kameku also managed to hit himself somehow with it. Yeah, if you end up bound, if you end up walking into the, the area which you set on fire. But, but ECG are really close to breaking here. Yeah, they're gonna get a little wide shot, just another, nice runs in. Few hundred points. Mm. Juggernaut means that he's not... I, I, I always like seeing when he's about to be breaking and then you're on top the of The kick! <laughs> well done by Mina! Yeah, Mina's been playing incredibly well today and all oh, the chain zone just clips um, just like in the face for huge damage. Kick confirming the allied heavy. Really nicely done. Kameku can now heal nice and safely because he has been seized by oversleepers. The rest of it consists us now just have to... Well, they have A at least to regroup, but they don't have B point, which means they're about to break. Yeah, yeah and they haven't got any feats to clear it either. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It doesn't even look like that anytime soon. They can't even clear B. I mean, Living's got his tier 4, but everybody else is on tier 1s. Yeah, let's check. Let's do a feat check before the fight. Yeah. We'll, we'll look at the scoreboard. I'll see if Legion's got any kills yet. And I think it's got one. Okay. Singular one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, feet deficit I mean, is very hard bizarre. against inconsistence. Let's see what they can do. Bear trap! Hey! I like that everybody, all the minions do a little dance at the same time. Nice deflect from Mina B. Gets a light. That was weird. What? Yeah, it got parried Ooh. and sent like halfway down the lane, but either way, yeah, he drops. Like the, the it's like when you deflect into a parry. Bow kills a second. The double lights, this is what it looked like. Third one drops by Mina B. Living's the last one, but it won't be for. What? Oh, <laughs> he's got his bow as well. It's living against the world, he gets one kill. Interrupted. The tier four's gone now. That oh. nerf is significant. Surprising. How did he block that? Yeah. And there we go. Okay. Wrote. I've got to admit, that halving of the duration to the tier four for Shugoki a lot more noticeable in play than it felt reading the patch notes initially. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's more than half the duration. Oh, more to, than half? I mean, 20 seconds. Well, it was 45 before, and now it's Yeah, 20. 45 to 20. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bloody hell, it's more half. So, I mean, it's still an extremely good feat and it can get you a couple of kills in a, t in a team fight. It's just no longer... It's going to kill you, and then you can take it to the next one as well, so... I think it's on par now with other tier fours. It's just not crazy. It's not. It's not Fury Flask level, but I mean, Fire Flask and Fury. Well, the combination has needed a nerf for a long time. But if you look at if you look at the other other tier fours that are available, it's about the same. It lasts the same time as um, Fear itself. Actually, no, Fear, no, Fear itself is a bit longer, isn't it? Thirty seconds. Wait, does, does Fear itself last 30 seconds? I mean, I'll look it up, I'll look it up. Yeah, you look it up. <laughs> well, uh, I, I can't remember now. I feel like it is 30 seconds. Well, we have an info hub. Is thing. We yeah, do. That's what I'm looking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've just not got to load up at the moment, so... Um... It is a big document. It is a big document, I... 
I'd love to have some other version that could be sort of um, a bit faster to load and. Yeah, I was about to say it's loading a little slowly. Yeah, it's because everybody's everybody uses it at the same time. Um, so victim, it's success. Unfortunate. Yeah, uh, it's it's on my to-do list of like, can't some other solution to. Um... Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Okay. Yeah, it is ac actually the same. Twenty second duration, one hundred eighty second cooldown. Yeah. Okay, so. I don't know why I said ECG earlier, it's inconsistent. Um, and they have taken, they have lost the first map. And the second one is going to go uh, to um, Harbour. No, not Harbour. Uh, Temple. Uh, looking at the wrong one. Not bad. In we go! Funky rotations. Will they be there? Let's find out in map number two of this best of three set. Oversleepers looking to knock Inconsistus out of the tournament. Prone. Oh, we have it there. Prone zoom. No, this time oh, it's a kind of rotation. Yeah. Nice to see. Yeah. I'd like to see the. Can we look at the 1v1 between Kaneko sure. and Prone? Just because. Here we are. We don't often see mid 1v1s. Yeah. Let's see how they manage it. Janhu versus Kyoshin. Nice crush encounter there. Oh! Another crush encounter. Big damage coming out on Prone. Kameku's fishing for the well, dash. Whips his zone and doesn't. Not... He does go to the light interrupt on the heavy, which is nice. He can do that against. Oh, very nicely done. Doesn't catch that though. Gets the GB using the unblockable to bait out the dodge. Decides not to go for the rest of the mix up. Um... Kameku out of stamina. Uh... Eats it. And there we go. Make the wrong read on the second one. And Prone has uh, done a very nice 1v1. Soul Survivor. On <laughs> absolutely wiped on C. Hmm. Can't even get that. Oh, no, no, no. Mina is winning. Sure. Yeah, it. No heal. Oh, actually, no. Mina doesn't challenge. Mina's instead going to go to mid. Yeah, I don't think it would have been a good call to challenge that. Because they're going to push C. Oh, to yeah, C it, also, Orochi into Kyoshin. What am I doing? That's really bad. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's not it's not great for him. Uh, the, the Kyoshin really counters Orochi mostly in team fights, not so much. Ah, um, okay. In one v in one v ones, it's uh, I mean, it's a good. It's I think it's probably Kyoshin's favorite, but it's not as bad. It's not as it's not as bad. The issue is in team fights that Kyoshin can sit there in his full block stance. And just punish these external dodge attacks that Orochi is always trying to do. Um, Ooh, Marischal still living by the string of HP, and he goes down immediately. That's going to be a two for one as well. Three kills yeah, for Inconsistence. That's an ace. An ace. There we go. Oh, this is, and they're going to cap A here. This is a perfect opportunity to cap A, and they'll have a chance to fully heal as well, probably. Um, this is looking really bad for Inconsistence. I think Prone, Attacker Prone's one v one is basically the only kill they've had. Um, yeah, oversleepers oh, no. need to be careful. Uh, Minabee died earlier on. Oh as wait, well. I had the teams the wrong way. Herped up. I'm very smart. Oh wait, no, I did have the teams wrong way. The, the uh, uh, all four mid, and then picking a side to go. Are they going to go with two two v twos or? Yeah, a... it's usually what they go for two two v twos. Yeah, it does seem to be their 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 one of choice. Um, you've got the unfortunately, I think if they if they had. To pick a composition to go with, I think they sent the wrong the, the wrong one to deal with this uh, this team fight here, because Kyoshin into Raider and JJ, both of these huge swing unblockables, it's just not what you want. Um, yeah. Yeah. And he would have been better suited to the Janhu and Orochi comp twos compo, which is on the other side. Oh of the no! Oh, fate into the bear trap! Ow! I mean, they've got massive feet advantage here as well. Look, um... Defenders captured zone A. They won on A, though. Pro needs to get out of here. <laughs> Boom. Caught the roll. Yeah. But they, they managed to win on A. Um, so they're... Who is it? Living and Just Ice. Yeah. One against um, Mina B and... That was, that was interesting because, yeah. obviously, I, I think that two's comp is favoured. And the Mina B and Kameku is two's commas favorite against living, and they had. I need to be careful now though because they're pushing mid, outnumbered. Marishal. Yeah. 
they're still going to be a long way behind on Renown. So they've got a way to go to get back into this match. But it's not it's not over now. I, mean, I think if they'd lost that push, it would have been over pretty much. But now they have a chance. Living yep. just got to his tier 2. Just, yeah. Let's see if we can make any good use of it. Me oh, that's going to be dead, Kameku. Yeah, Kameku oh, gets... One bit of health nope, Phalanx oh, used, yes, actually. Oh, that's that's already. That's the benefit of the... There we go, Tim. Um, that must have been a good call there from Legion. Kameku. Yeah, Legion yeah, was able to get there. Say Legion ready to pop it. Oh, he doesn't actually get out of there and still ends up dying to the living. Bit of a shame. Um, I guess Justice was in the way, so he couldn't come in and... Oh, big damage. Good mix-up. Here we go. Oh, Legion still has to fight, actually. I think I was going to go to the white cam. He's going to start keeping pushing out prone, literally. And Yogurt is now... Same situation as before. Yeah. Don't have out of stamina there. Otherwise, that would have confirmed the top heavy on prone. Um, he's light and top heavy would have confirmed it, but he wasn't helpful enough with his stamina. Yogurt finished him off anyway, so no, no uh, uh, harm done, really. Matches What's decently even than the pod points. Yeah, let's actually do a full point review real quick. 632 to 564 in the points in favor of Inconsistus. Renown's looking pretty good for Inconsistus too, but Oversleepers are trying to get momentum reestablished, but they're having a hard time because oh, look, uh, look around. Inconsistus is behind. Yeah. Inconsistus is behind considerably. Marshall and Prone are just at their tier ones, and um, they're, they're a long way behind. Oh, I, I hate Temple Garden. It makes me confused which side, which side the teams are on because the teams are on different sides in the map than they are on the scoreboard. Ugh, I hate the Temple Garden. I love you, but I hate you at the same oh, time. Oh, Longbow, and this is going to be a cap. This is looking really bad for Inconsistus here. Hmm. They're going to have... They've got Renown, a big Renown disadvantage. I think Mr. Living's doing all right on Renown. Oh, he's got his tier three now. He keeps getting ganked, though. He keeps yeah, losing but... 1v2s. Which his team shouldn't allow to consistently happen, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't happen that Prone and uh, Marichal are just dying a, an awful lot. Which is yeah. And it seems like it's a good day for Legion. Mm. Yeah, Legion had a good day. And he immediately drops JJ, the four. Janhu tier four comes out. They will be able to prevent anybody going up there to cover. They have rallied, so rally off, off mid unbroke itself. Yeah. And Living can get away. Actually cap no. You managed to get away. Oh yeah, Living did get away. You're right. He has bow to assist if he needs to with any fighting. He should probably go assist now with that actually. Look down. Oh, drop attack! Do it. Oh. No, what? Why would you? Yeah. He missed them at longbow. There we go. Hey, there we Did go. He... <laughs> no, he didn't team kill with that drop attack. No, he, he didn't. That was an execute happening. Oh, no, his, his okay. ally had died from a. Uh, okay. uh, yeah, uh, yogurt was actually body, mid execute. The fastest one yeah. too. Legion, that's actually cut longbow over. Over longbow. Yep. Forces living to go get a heal. Yep. Prone and Legion fighting out on C. This whoever wins this fight is going to be a very important result because this determines if Oversleepers are able to keep pressure up on Inconsistus. I just want to point out there that the Kyoshin did. Oh, oh it's going to be the drink. Oh. 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 I just want to point out what the Kyoshin did there with against the um, JJ, which is a really nice thing. Uh, if you go, you can fast flow into his full block after a blocked attack, which allows him to go off a block after a blocked heavy to fast flow into his full attack and use his um, full block light attack, which is fast enough to interrupt his chain, the chain heavy. Other normally that wouldn't be fast enough. You wouldn't be able to light interrupt a chain heavy after a blocked heavy opener. So, just a tip for you Kyoshins out there. Ki, I gonna start off this final yeah, engagement. I use a key. I gets both amounts of stamina, although it doesn't seem to. It was a it. tempo yeah. delay more than anything. Yeah, it allows his allies to arrive. Oh, they missed the game. Accidental. Knocked him into the raider. Yeah, physics. What can you do? Parried. Top heavy. Bam, bam. Living's on his own. He's on his own. Got a tier four again. This he seems just to be a used common it. Side for living. He's not available anymore. It just went away. Has the fear itself hitting his defenses. He does have four tags on him, so he has revenge, but I don't think Oversleepers care. Look how much damage that came out of. Oh, a full revenge shield, who cares? Just, just ship him to death. Fear itself through it. Absolutely smashed it. And I think that is that the, that's the second one? Yep, 2-0 Oversleepers. Yeah, 
I may or may and not have the teams are... the wrong way around the whole time. Thanks for reminding me of that, Jules. <laughs> yep, Ink right. Elder Sleepers 2 0. And we are heading up to the winner's final, the grand final. Indeed. Grand finals, yeah. It's going to be Over Sleepers versus um, the Homeless Shelter Squad. So I guess if you oversleep in a homeless shelter. Um, well, they haven't actually fought yet t today. This is Se Semix and Legion Grudge Match. It's quite exciting. This is this best is of three still, right? This is best of three, yes. But um, if they win the best of three, they have a bracket reset. So Homeless Shelter have a um, golden parachute, as you'd like to say. Yes. All right. Homeless Shelter Squad versus Oversleepers. Unless you guys have anything else to add, I say we let the giveaway run until... Yep the actual game comes on and we just kind of chill in break sounds good all right back in a sec all right We are back. 
which means it is now time to end the giveaway. Final code. Let's draw a winner. Mr. Bloop! You have won the final combat pack code. I'll be DMing you after the stream with instructions on how to redeem. Well, that rhymed. Nice. Aha. I'm a poet. I didn't even know it. Right, so let me enter that. All well and good. Oh, helps if I actually you know, open the game up. Sorry, having to do a million things at once. Grand finals. Homeless shelter squad coming in on the W side. Oversleepers on the L. No, if you get a message coming up, James, that means you're already in. The, the bot's a little bit weird. If you hit exclamation mark ticket and you get nothing, you're in. No need to worry about All it. All right, we have the standard... 3-1 rotation, We're having a big argy-bargy on three. The only difference being in team compositions. Yes. Kameku comes in from all sides. Needs to be a little bit wary. Also, I'll fix the overlays in the moment, folks. We can keep an eye on this fight for the time being, because everybody's here. Kameku getting oh, GP, but not punished. Man. Oh my days, Herman just is dead immediately and executed. He's Mina gone. B's looking low as well, but... Oh, that health is even if it weren't for man being just... I just got in the middle of the blended there. Um, he's not, you don't lose your raider early into a team fight. They do, you know, you need that big damage. Yoga is forced out to rotate, go and heal. He's on low health, but they're looking like this team fight overall is going kind of in favor of... Um, Oh, coming to that revenge pop. <laughs> Don't say that just yet, Spaniard. You'll curse it. Hiron for homeless shelter squad successfully gets the execute. And oversleepers, however, will slip out and grab A and B in the chaos. What's going on back on Senex? Oh, let's look at the Senex and Legion 1v1. Oh, and it's Mina. Sorry. Oh, my bad. Never forget that. <laughs> <laughs> if, there's, if, there's no, if there's no grudge, I'm, I don't care as much. <laughs> now, there you go. That's going to be C point taken for homeless shelter squad. Let's see how well Oversleepers are able to maintain a hold on A and B now that the rest of Homeless Shelter Squad are able to start piling out with the points. Systemic. Oh, and a good dodge away to, out of, um, to avoid Kameku. That was nice. Oh. I'm late. I'm not bad. All good. You're back. Everything's fine. Everything's Jaidobu. Didn't expect a match to start that quickly. I know, right? Excellent superior oh, block really nice. Guard broken out of the dodge cancel though, and another one. Oh, out of stamina, oh, heavy no. gamble from Kameku. You got to use the only confirmed uh, damage from uh, his allies. Uh, right? yeah. Heavy, but then he tried to confirm the raider zone with the guard break and died for it, assuming that he wasn't going to get punished. Well nice done. Nice play, from Kameku. And from Herman, getting off the point. Yes, Herman did actually get off the point. Yes, you're right. I, 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 it, just, it was too fast for me. I didn't see him rolling away. Meku looking for a drop attack opportunity. It's always a bit risky around here. Mm. This side is better, but far from ideal. I don't know if it is better. Like then, it, the the regions are small and it doesn't need to reach as far. It's difficult anyway. Um, amazingly, despite fighting this far into mid, it's still being held by the defenders. Yeah. Oversleepers are able to keep control, uh, minion count high. Setmix is going to use a dash to keep chasing Mina somewhat quickly, even while out of stamina, but gets caught out of stamina for a decent-ish punish. Mina B can put Setmix in the mix. Still going. One more read. It doesn't kick even need kick it. Kick. He's and gone. they're going to take it. That's going to be a fresh place to heal for Oversleepers and now Homeless Shelter Squad are going to be stuck respawning in drips and drabs because Franz is on his own. Nice. He's going to get the execution here. I don't think the minions will spot him and save him in time. This should allow him to get a bit of mid clear done. Um, and hopefully help his team head into one of the side points. Rather oh, than heading, rather oh, than like all going off. down to mid to clear it, they're just letting Franz clear most of it and then um, Are they fighting the 2v3 on, on A? On A, yeah. They're doing that at the same time. 
Yoga's gonna end up dying here, so let's cut over to, to that A fight that's currently happening. That's right along with Mina. Caught with the GB. And they're winning eight as well. Look at this. Yeah. Yeah. Burn man and Kieran playing really well. Legion though, not making it easy. I don't know, maybe, do you think they called over one of them to help on C and then he went back? Because I only saw, oh no, Kameku, why was Kameku arriving late as it were? Hmm, yeah. Oh, from the Russians. The time where we showed multiple perspectives. Ah, oh, well. Let's see what Kameku can store out here. Revenge is almost stacked. Hyren has to be wary of tickets or uh, tags. There we are, that's why you got to be wary. I time it just right, you get the kill. The fight's not over, who's here? It is Mina B. Mina B. Ow. Yeah. Really well timed kick into the to get the, the finisher heavy. Again, low health here. The yeah. undodgeable into double light. Gonna confirm the ally ally heavy. But we've had another one showing up. Is it Yogurt now has arrived? Uh no, Solix has arrived even. Yeah, Legion is here. I mean it is still their point after all. Yeah. Yeah? And well we've seen we've seen this in the past. If you if you stall enough on you know an enemy's point and don't die. Doesn't really matter. Having said that, we saw that on Beachhead literally today. Yeah. Legion, nice excellent parry. Oh, and now Kameku is on her man's HP. Like they, they've been fighting here this whole time. They're uh, both almost full HP, right? Yeah. That was I mean, a now. Cool came shit. out from the JJ. Franz must have been boosting, boosting C this yeah. whole time. I want to check right now when this fight's over because I need to see the disparity between some people. Set mix only has his tier one, but yet Homeless Shoulder Squad has Phalanx tier four already. What? Yeah, the heavies boosting versus assassins fighting. Herman, very. I'm surprised, they've left, I'm, I'm surprised he's not left C to clear mid though. Mid has been just sitting there. Yeah, let's actually cut over to him. You can change on its own any time yeah. moment. Franz but... is just vibing. No, oh, Salts has been farming it, I guess. Yeah, they're in mid, but cut back over to the fight itself. Successfully secured by Oversphere, or Oversleep. Yeah. I think, look at the Renown. The Renown, we've got a lot of Renown coming out on over, on uh, Oversleepers now. Mm. So the oh, fact that see, I actually expected way more kills on Attacker's side. Yeah, Homeless Shelter Squad do not have as many as we thought they'd be. Yeah. I mean, I, well, I think a lot of those are, are takedowns, right? They're assists, so not necessarily in terms of overall kills. There's not that many. Franz hasn't died once yet, but this match is actually going to turn out really close. Hyren, dangerously low. Mina B fishing gets the GB. Not able to be stuffed by Setmix, who is being occupied by Kameku. But however, Legion. Legion yeah, Legion got to rotate over to help out Mina. Herman tracks using the storming tap, and now Mina can chase. Potentially get a one-for-one -one trade. Kick. Mix-up is good. That's the first down of the first break of this game. Homeless shelter. Yeah, that's really, that's really bad. And, and the rest of them are fighting, like, all the way over there. They need to be fighting in the minions, clearing them. Yeah. Remember how earlier on today on a match on Harbor, we saw the minions just clutch it up for one team? We might see that again. We are going to see that again, because they, they they're fire... Friendly Fire Flask has kept any other uh, ally minions coming in. They're not going to be able to... Now they have to clear mid and take A. I think this is going to be... They should be able to win this, though. These Sh fights. They sh There might be a whole reset of the whole thing. Potentially, yeah, depending if, on, if a point... If they're point. quick enough. I mean, both uh, of the other... Uh, what is it? Oversleepers yeah. are respawning now. Heavy oh. damage onto Legion GB. No, Legion doesn't bite. Yogurt slams Hyrum, but Hyrum had the revenge shield, so it's ineffective. Oh. Target swap zone. Good damage. Incoming! Oh, oh does it roll ball. away in time? Yeah, it. Should be able to. Oh, oh no. no, no heal. There's nobody, there's nobody no! heal. They're all down. Going down for me to be. That is it. First match goes to Oversleepers. The Oversleepers. Yep. Surprisingly, yeah. Yeah. I think they were fighting. In way in front of the uh, in front of the minion line, and I think that cost it the cost in the match. Um, dying with with a uh, Herman dying at the like the start of the the breaking is just not great. We'll see how the next one goes. Maybe we will have a. I mean, they have got a golden power shoot, so they've got the. Yeah. They have an advantage here. Um, but this is the first time this team, these two teams have. 
have fought this tournament. Hmm. So we haven't really got a, a, a feel for which one of them is the stronger one. Yeah, I mean, all the sleepers are just newly formed, basically, so no one really has fought them, right? Yeah, I mean, but it's surprising. Mostly, I expected a different outcome. Not gonna lie, I expected something else. Yeah, no, I, I thought um, this one, homeless child, had it in the back. But I mean, maybe they might just be needing warm, needing to warm up. This is the yeah. this, disadvantage of a, a winner's final, which was what over an hour and a half yeah. ago. Yeah, um, like ninety minute break or something. Yeah, you get cold, and you need some time to get back into the swing of things. Yeah, we have a question in chat. When's the major? It's November 28th, I think you said? 27th. 27th. Hmm. Yeah. Let's type it out. November 27th. There we go. There's a little image somewhere of it, which looks kind of nice. Um, straight into the Temple Garden map. No composition changes. Side swap, though. Let me make sure I put that in. There we are. Are we, gonna, are we seeing... I'm just going to point that out. We're seeing a grand final. A grand final in year five, season... Three of Frona with no Shigokis in it. Huh, maybe that nerf was more significant than we're giving it credit for. Or maybe people maybe. are overreacting, who knows? Maybe. Yeah, true. maybe. It wouldn't be or the first time that people are you know? a tiny thing all of a sudden, no, not gonna play. You also yeah, need to I consider mean, do they have enough time to actually practice these other picks, or have they had enough time, like from seasons ago? Have they had to practice with that specific pick that they're pulling out now? Like Hiren, we always played. Uh, Jean Hu, so not that far in a pick for him. Yeah. Um, did I don't know what Herman has been playing, so him being on Raider is nothing to I don't know. He's always been more of a sub, so who knows? Yeah. Yeah, set mix went oh, the Are they quick on C? Yeah. Yeah. Set -mix, set mix went to mid, that's why. Yeah, set mix um, always does that narrow rotation on this map, goes behind the statue in mid. An interesting one gets parried though. Quebec, you're going to be rotating his sword directly into his brain. <laughs> oh, oh, nice fight there from Hiran. Yeah, Hiran almost got it, but Quebec, you dodged the dodge. Funnily enough, Hi the Raider tried no dice, gets caught though. Quebec, fishing for the opposing number. Janhu on Janhu violence. More dodge. Mm -hmm. That one oh. kicks though. That's going to be an execute. No, Home's going to dodge him off. Nah. The D direction was unfortunate. Oh, not quite. So Semix could have waited for a res there, but decides to go for the respawn instead. I think that's the sensible thing to do in this in this point in the, in the map. Just have Semix like rotate to mid. Yeah, look at that, rotate to mid. Yeah, you need to be you need to be elsewhere, uh, and yeah. you will waste time healing if you. Um, have they taken five seconds there, longer here on the C fight? Would have been still contested. Yeah. It was. Oh, Semix is going to need healing either way. And he's taking friendly fire damage too. <laughs> yeah, just trade out with Herman. Let him in. That's a smart idea right now. Speaking of Herman, let's follow along with him. Parry, parry. Wait, isn't he, I guess he's technically Herman. I just think it was Herman because he got two A's in it. Yeah. It's really weird because the. The name in German is written with one A and two N, <laughs> so it's really weird. Name disparity. Is he Yoga is angry about this revelation. Of I actually don't know where he's from. Let's see what. I thought he was Spanish. Let's see what Yoga can get done here. Yeah, but Hermann is a German name. Setmix low on HP. Yoga's aiming still, but no Setmix gets his revenge. But no gets countered by Mina. Everyone's trading. Potential ace. And they there's the ace! Ace for... Yeah, ace for Oversleepers and they've capped C as well. So it's went around behind. Again, this is looking... Looking rough for... Uh, the... Homeless the, shelter. The homeless squad. Yeah. In. Will they get oh, their oh, home in the, in the finals? Oh, hello, Noodles. Sorry, Kitty. I don't know if you heard that. Chair my, four. My cat was it's, our, it's our fourth chair to replace none. Yeah. <laughs> what is your opinion, Kitty, of this specific engagement? That there's not enough. She's inter she's most interested in the fish that are in the lake. Ah um, yes, <laughs> naturally. The fish, of course, fed and subsisted upon all the corpses of the people who have fallen in over the years. Yeah. Uh, as you can see from the the lots of uh, rotten corpses in there, from the algal bloom going on in the lake. Hmm. So let's so popping it in Spire, making use of this feet advantage. Like even 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 just having a tier two, this is 
This means all of their attacks are doing 20% more damage, including the chip damage as well. So it is a big, it is a big deal having feet advantage, even if it's even if it's only just a tier two versus tier one. Yeah. And Aaron goes GB'd. down. Hiring getting this is going to be feeding Defender now as well. Yeah. So. This is not Ooh. good for Homeless Shelter. They need to not do this. Oh, but look at all of Oversleepers. They're all actually quite low here. Unironically, yeah, as a problem. Brave. If, there's, if there's such a thing as a winnable... Oh, no, he dead. All right. <laughs> Never mind. So if there's such a thing as a winnable well, one killing two. in a competitive match... Like, nope. No, he's not. <laughs> Setlick's killing two is a good, you know... Pyrrhic victory. However, Oversleepers got three kills with Defender Renown on C. Yeah. So they're going to be a big Renown advantage. Well, have a look. I mean, look, they got the tier two. Like, coming up with tier three for Solips. It's not actually as big a difference as you might think there. Hmm. The score is still somewhat close. Long range oh, key blue. item. <laughs> nice. I guess the cooldown is so low, you just can't. I mean, the set that. mix on, on Legion, right? So Yeah. Why not? The telling for this match now. Yeah, it's the mental. You haven't even gone into that kind of storyline. Yeah. Right? Like, that. that's something you save for the Major, because that is a whole kettle of fish that one would need to yeah. censor carefully. Franz and Herman <laughs> just try and eliminate nice Legion. Confirm there. Legion's inside the enemy's minions, too, so they could ship him down. Well, the first time we see someone die to me, he's removed dodge iframes, but I think is what yeah. happened then. Yeah, yeah, two yeah, kills yeah. there. Nice. Are they letting Yogurt heal? Maybe. Well, I guess they both need healing. Yeah, Yogurt ran. Yeah, they can't really push at this point. With two coming off spawn. But that gank against Mina B needs to happen quickly now. That can't take long. Oh, yeah, here we go. Already took too long. Easier said than done, ganking Mina B quickly. Yeah, JJ. No, other way around. Hang on. Uh, Norochi, yeah. Yeah. Hyron now in the 1v3. Mina B is very good at stalling, I think. Although, it looks like he's unlocking and just eating every attack. All right. Okay. I, I clearly, I overhyped him and he just decided that he was going to drop his controller and just eat everything. All um, right, so the cast the curse went back to you. That's good. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Kameku tried for the longbow, long but long. got interrupted. Ooh, cheeky. Oh, got interrupted, didn't it, Carl? Yeah. It is it on cooldown? It's on cooldown, but oh, it didn't fire. Is this on cooldown? Yeah, yeah it's on cooldown, oh, but it didn't fire. It what? Successfully. Okay. Did it hit the guy who guard broke him? Maybe. Or did it? I, we'll see. We can go back to the replay there. Legion, low HP, yes. gonna wish he had some feats to help him out right now. Instead, has to He's go back to C. He's gonna be able to get away to heal. That's nice. But it's gonna put him out of the match. He will get his tier four out of the, after the end of this healing session. Oh yeah, he will. Good it's... point. Things are closer than. They would seem. Excellent evade nice. by Mina. Good choice. Using the roll. Able to buy really a little good extra predictive, time. Great predictive guard break there from her man, seeing that Mina B loves to do his dodge cancels. He was just going to guard break him after that. That was really good. That was really good stuff. Raider also one of the better people to do that kind of thing, because as you've pointed out a few times before in past broadcast, Spaniard, he's got that big dodge. Yeah. Very long wait, side dodge. It's like the, the longest Yogurt lateral on movement health. in the game, I think, too. Oh, oh. y'all got half that HP. That was a really nice use of um, soothing mist. That's really turned the turned the tide of this team fight in terms of health totals. Yeah. Yogurt. low, but he's being marked by both Herman and Setmix. Caught out of lock by Setmix. That's going to guarantee the top heavy. Oh, that's going to give them. That's going to give them C. Yeah. Herman's yeah, off Setmix screen. Is he's going to get it. Doing really well there. Killing one, stopping two. It's amazing from him. Yeah, that's really good value. Sure, he's eating damage, yeah, right. but it doesn't matter. Macro-wise, it's amazing what he did. Yeah, that was really, really good play. Um, I don't think C is being held by somebody with that much health, though. I think it's... Oh, it's... oh, it's the Raider. Okay, he's oh, got man. Fury as well, so that's actually better than I expected. Okay. Oh, look at the damage coming out! Fury! Fury go burr. There's the Fury saved, oh, Fury saved him! Fury saved him! killed them there, yeah. And the Phalanx oh, from Legion! The amazing. Oh, no, this Legion. is such good for beat friends. usage. He's trying to bait him towards the edge to try and get a ledge. And so gets killed. Oh, he needs help so now. Friends just saved Herman until then. Ooh, someone came though. Who is someone it? It is Setmix. Oh, Setmix here. Setmix there. Nine times to save his life though, and by the looks of things, he's... Oh, this is going to be risky. Mina is on the way as fast as Mina can run. 
which is rather fast. Oh, getting caught in the mix. Yeah, that is a. Uh... Hang on, need, long XE, playing... long XE, long XE. Homeless. They might be boosting enough to get this. Probably not. Oh, I don't know. I don't maybe, know. maybe. No, 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 no. He's not gonna stay there. No, 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 no. Unless Close. they kill some minions. No, no, he'll get spawned. Oh, yeah. Defenders are breaking. All right. Breaking. First of the game. Against Homeless Shelter Squad. Let's see if they can regroup. Let's see what feats they've got available. Reset the bracket. If they win here, they yeah. reset the bracket. They do. Yes, good points. Defenders will rally, however. Herman drops. How long for? This is the question. Mm. If they can, if the defenders can get mid, then they will be in breaking as well. But they're not far off. Ooh. Another longbow comes out to kill Mina. I'm not sure if that was necessarily the best choice. Very safe. Yeah, Travis would have been enough, right? Oh, you're getting kicked into his own fire flask. Fury chase down Hyren. Hyren having absolutely none of it. Legion is being having things done to him off screen. Let's keep an eye on that at the same time while we keep an eye on the fight with oh, Hyren. Oh, see you. I was about to say, Seer's almost been taken, but... Careful. Karen makes the wrong, wrong read here. One death here, this could be spell doom if you get executed. C is being captured is being... off screen. Are they getting C? No, they're not. Herman almost nabbed C, but got intercepted by Mina last second. Oh, the iframes on that. Oh, this is getting real close. It's literally one or two points difference each way. The defenders are going to be pushing into breaking with that boosting. But now both teams are breaking. Are Here we go. Herman trying to bait out Mina. Franz is down. That's the first fatality. Reinforcements are on the way. Set mix. Who's coming there? That set mix. Yeah, but uh, yeah. Legion's right behind. Oh, that be... carry, that's... There no, we go. Set mix rotated. Set, set mix rotated his hit round. He target swapped. Defenders. Three versus oh, three. Oh, the oh, break. No. No way. And now it's back, but oh, that's a free lifeline. Double that breaking, though. Breaking. Two dead. Two dead on either Set side. Oh. The phalanx there. Perfect timing. And they get a revive as well. Okay, what's the status now? Two dead Where on the side of Homeless. The, de the reses are both in mid, so then they're not available. It's going to yeah, be a... Are they going to fall back to A and just try and hold it there? And, and try and win the 3v2? I mean, they could do that. I mean, technically, it is three minutes and three minutes on the clock now. Solid because both teams are locked in. The homeless shelter, sorry, uh, Gova sleepers could just sit here for three minutes and farm and win, off points. Uh, they don't have to necessarily yeah, sure. risk fighting homeless. Well, that's never going to happen. Right? They're, they're going to. This feeds everywhere. Whatever. All right, feet are being deployed. This is going to be the big thing. Whose feet usage is better? Franz has a phalanx, which is really. Oh my, oh my god! Look god. at that oh damage. Goodness. That was okay. The <laughs> hell. That was the most wow. value of key eye I think I've ever seen. It was it was a double it would fear itself into double key eye so there's nothing they could do. And, and inspire from Legion 2. That was disgusting. Wow. I didn't expect this to end like in a fucking instant. Okay. We have entered bracket reset territory. Yeah, yeah. bracket reset. I'd call for a five minute break if I were what's the name? Homeless shelter. Yeah, just call. Take five minutes, good lads. Yeah. Take five minutes. Don't let oversleepers carry this momentum into this next best of three. You you absolutely have the right to just go, no, five minutes. We'll see. Sometimes they sometimes they just want to get right back into it and yeah. pull it back. Some teams sure. play better sure. hot. Oh, <laughs> when's the last time we've had a bracket reset on broadcast? Uh, did we have one last week? Think so, right? One? Have we had one every week? Uh, not every week. We haven't had bracket reset every week. But I'm trying to remember if we had one last week. We had a bracket reset in NA last week. In NA. Um, NA. I don't think there's a bracket reset in the previous EU tournaments. Oh, we have some map picks and bans ready. Nice. We have a oh, come on. ban on High Fort, a ban on Beachhead. The first map will be Overwatch, then Temple, and then Harbor. Is that the same as last time? I think. But I'm just going to switch over to headphones because there's um, a lot of noise in the background now. 
But yeah. Does everyone know about Bracket Reset? Yeah. Drama. High because drama. Oversleepers coming from the losers bracket. They mm -hmm. have to win two best of threes. Which yep. the f they won the first already, so yeah, yeah, the, the second golden one parachute now. has been used up. Sorry, cats on the mic. <laughs> the cats are being mean to you. Yeah, she's cat she's gone got her like puzzle thing into stuck behind my desk. <laughs> We give her snacks in the evening with um, uh, um, with a, like a little a little ball that has you can put treats in, and then they and then she rolls them around, and they they drop out. You can chase them around and get some entertainment, and also takes her longer to consume them. <laughs> makes it makes it give us a little bit of a break before she starts yelling for some more. Yes. Yeah, that's a fair point, chat. We're in grand, grand finals. Who we think is going to take the yeah, dub Yeah, good here? point. <laughs> who, who we think it? Well, mm. To be honest, I thought Homeless Shelter would take the first one already. I'm surprised there's a 2-0 in the first one. Yeah, that was... I mean, they were both close, though. So, it could really go either way. I don't, I don't want to call it. Um, you don't want I, don't, to I think it will... I don't want to call it, but I think it would be very much poetry for... Uh, Legion's team to win on account of essentially leaving um, Semix's team. He's the one being blamed all the time, right? Yeah, he's the one being blamed all the time. So if he can win with the... Yeah, that would oh be... Oh my god, I wouldn't want to watch For Glory then, right? For Glory, For Glory will be insanely entertaining. Um, but on the other hand, if they lose at the last minute, it's going to be it would the, the ribbing will go both ways it, it's gonna be great whatever <laughs> all right we have an eye we here an eye. we go compositions i did the moment i say it and i check for glory nature is shit talking <laughs> 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 yeah uh you know what? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do an extra. I'm gonna make a bit of an extra call. I think this is gonna be the cold water on homeless shelter squad's face, and they're gonna get pissed and take this 2-0. That's my call. Mm. I don't know how well they handle the setback here. Mm, yeah. Because there are some. I mean, either way, it's drama. I'm excited whichever one goes. <laughs> whichever yeah. one goes. <laughs> no, no. Read the feed from. No, that is how this channel gets taken now for DMCA. For well, to be fair, so far the, it's only gonna, it's only been emojis. Fair. So, oh, not DMC. Uh, <laughs> TOS. DM, DMC. I, can, I, I can put in the emojis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. What's the rollout? We out have. Here? Yeah. Three, this is three. what. Kameki was said. really <laughs> slow. What was that pathing? That was. Sometimes that just happens, and you just get stuck on things. Uh, stuck okay. on minions. All right, Kameku's going to be farming mid while everyone else is going to be fighting here on C. Kameku finally rotates nah, he's back running, in. He's running. Yeah, yeah he uh, finally yeah. came back in. He's only killed six minions. So there's only six points in it. <laughs> ah, fair point. Okay. Set. There is already a casualty in the form of me to beat. There we are. That makes it official. That's going to be taken by Herman. Franz bought a part of half HP, so Ooh. is set mix. Health advantage massively skewing against oversleepers. Are they are getting put six feet under? Kameku lost. Jan Hu standing, but not for long at this rate. No, he did not. Set mix lead for it. And her man, both lead for it. Yep, there we go. Should be a yeah, solid good. point lead already. Yeah. Two points boosting. And they don't have to, unfortunately, they don't have the momentum where they can, like, go and start clearing mid before they have to pick. Yeah, they need to heal first. already got point. Um, they have to wait for the respawns. Her man going down. Is he down me. below? Or... Oh, I, uh, oh above. he's on the bridge. He's on the bridge. Herman's above. Yeah. He's um, going he's to. Basically, think. positioning himself in the middle to rotate to both points in an equal. Yeah, I, in in manner, I guess. A... He's a flex yeah. player here right now, here essentially. I mean, he's got rush as well, so he's got his um, very yeah. awesome good from Braider. Great interrupt. Oh, there. Big damage already. Using the hyper armor to Don't trade with Legion. Yeah, Setmix is I wonder is if uh, Legion coming to this 2v2 is entirely because Setmix is here as well. Potentially. 
Setmix is going to be very dodgy. He does not have the health to trade like that. Don't trade with him like that. Meku low as well, though. I mean, this could oh, go either way. Oops. R wrong button. Setmix goes and down to Legion. Kameku's going to get away. Yes, he will. Does manage to get away. Her man has got... A... No, I'm... Oh. He could... Oh. A single hit will kill him. Oh, oh what the a... nerves of steel on Herman to cancel that. Oh, and unfortunately he just Defenders loses it. So Meanwhile, on the, the other side of the map, going? Kiai stops Meanwhile, Yogurt from Fran killing Franz. And gives him revenge as well. Oh. oh that was not a Mina good Mina just we've screwed over some... Yogurt. From the yeah, best Kiai seen... to one of the worst, huh? <laughs> yeah, we've seen some great Kiai from him, and we've now also seen... Uh, one extremely yeah. bad key eye from him. Key eye feeds that fight. insane amounts of revenge. It's about yeah, it's sixty about or half something. A bar. Yeah, yeah, sixty. Yeah. Set mix to half. Legion chasing like a hound. Franz is here to back up. That will probably result in a dead Legion. He oh no wait no revenge. Oh, no, he's revenge. Got... Oh, the minion. Oh, the minion. <laughs> MVP that he walked across the line. That's two kills there for the minions this tournament so far. They're bloodthirsty tonight. Oh, I remember the first Dominion series. I had a running, I think a running total of how many times Shigsus was killed by minions. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was like six or seven different clips. It was great. At, what, at one point in the, in the final, he went and farmed mid, and I think it was like he was just taking out his anger. France. Needs to back up here. Mina gets this incredibly smart deflect to pin Wizard uh, Setmix in place, but Setmix counter response. Kick attempt to try and save Franz, but no dice for Setmix. Herman rotating away from the fight on C to capture A, and a or at least give them some grief on it, because someone is currently over there boosting it right yeah. now. Yeah, that, these being too low, they should have, those were free guard break attempts, if we'd been talking earlier. Um, ah. He's got his guard, his lights blocked. Salt's doing a really good job of stalling out here. I think he's going to get um, reinforced. Get rotated. Yeah, any moment now. Yeah, I see people coming on the left hand side. Uh, yeah, so Mina B's here. Let's go for the wide Ooh. angle. Yeah, Yogurt's about well, to come in. By Herman. We're going to have all four or yeah. three of them here. Kameku's Kameku stuck in mid. in mid. Hyron has revenge. That's big for this. He can hold revenge for as long as he wants now. Well, he's got to be careful not to be a raider zone or something. True. Ooh. Lots of damage being done down there. Setmix drops to Mina. Oh! <laughs> the BM longbow. First oh, getting a shave from the raider axe, and then the longbow. Don't, yeah, 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 don't yeah, drop like... revenge. There you go. He didn't have a. He didn't have his beard. He didn't, it's good thing he didn't have a beard on this character. <laughs> oh, the rain on that running heavy. Jean Hugo Burr. Yeah, he has got. Jean is running heavy. He does go along. I think he just dodged a, 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 something. A yeah. Or a... I saw Kunai? a projectile. Kunai, maybe. Maybe. Probably a kunai, right? Oh, who's your long... name? So, yeah, yeah, Mina B. Kunai is a kunai. kunai yeah. You wouldn't waste a longbow on that. Um, whereas kunai is 45 second cooldown, so... But yeah, look at the renown now. Here's the renown. Hiran playing, mate. Well, Hiran's no deaths. Yeah. Hiran and Franz are both playing really well. And look at... I mean, they're very close Egg on score, but... Value. That's a big tier four. Holy value. shit. That was amazing. Hiram, great four. use. I mean, he's gonna... He's going... What is it? 7-0 beforehand. He's gonna be on 9... He's gonna be on 10-0 now. <laughs> yeah, soon to be 10-0. He's at 9-0 currently. Uh, maybe I mean, don't think his, his assist tag won't last long enough. You know what he's gonna go for? He's gonna go and drop tag. No, it should, no, it should be a 3. <laughs> <laughs> yep, still 9-0. No I assist tag. Go. But if you drop attack from that thing, you uh, drop attack from that platform with the ladder. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not the other one. Franz trying to steal back the initiative. Raw top heavy, you just got mullied, my son. Yeah, and that's the hyper armor trade. You, you, you got to be careful with that thing. Man, a mully. It's been a little while since we've seen that. Oh, we've seen it a few times. Um, <laughs> I actually yeah, haven't been. I mean, so I haven't blatantly, really just out. so blatantly. Franz. Gonna go for oh, some baby. More soothing mist. Gonna actually get higher and back up to half HP. Yeah, that was really good using soothing mist, and um, especially just for higher as well. Like mist time that guard break, it had dam high damage reduction on swords there, unfortunately for them. Hmm. I mean, it's still very close in points, but yes. renown wise, it's looking very good for um, for the homeless squad. Hmm. Obviously, had one really good tier four use already. 
Yeah. Franz is about to be on his tier four as well, and if he's if he's now got it used. Oh, he was uh. killed during its activation. That was so unlucky for him. Defenders but they looks like the defenders are bringing this back actually. Oversleep yeah, triple cap in a second. Oversleep and break it. If Sepix dies here, he may not know about this. Parry. Nice. Phalanx. Oh, really good use second of Phalanx. Phalanx. From France. But yeah, look how quickly this swapped got over point wise. Yeah. And he's got nowhere to heal. Set makes it, yeah, he he stayed the fight. And he's way behind too enemy long. lines. He needs to pick he needs to pick one way to go. Yeah. Probably C, I guess. His team have to get C long enough to make Mina come off so Setmix can go cap A. But Mina knows he's can't afford to jump off now because if he Yeah, Setmix is caught because he spent too much time on C. Attackers are breaking. Now the break again. Yeah. Would he be a Kunai then? Maybe. There's Kiai. Put Setmix in Not the lender. Not use of it. Setmix does have Kunai himself ready to go. Longbow though from from the Jan Hu from Kweku actually kills Setmix. This team fight's not going. They need to clear up here. He's got an, uh, Jan Hu's got another tier four usage. And their feather bench to Legion. Mm. And Scott killing her man for that. Hyren has to deploy the tier four here. No. Nice. Precision bash. Yeah, that's you get a back on parry. Oh! <laughs> Solox is using his tier 4 very sensibly there. Oh no! Friends with the oh. save! There's it! Value! Yeah, that's good, but I'm not sure it's going to be too late. Legion dead, Nova is burning. Yogurt. I mean, they can respawn, they need to get this point. Yeah. Yogurt confirmed dead. Setmix now has to play out of his mind. Kieran. Oh, they just got evil. Oh, oh no, no. they both oh, rolled the one attack. into the other. Oh dear, this is the first match and it's gone to the oversleepers. They they did not sleep in today. Going for the long execution. On aggregate, 3-0 oversleepers. Yeah, this is looking really very much in their favor. Will they be able to get... I mean, the next match is tournament point for them. Yes. So... Is this going to be a 4-0? Have we basically just seen a best of six? Best of seven? I mean, yeah. I mean, Legion will have bragging rights in for glory if that's the case, because they didn't get put down into the loser's bracket well, from these guys Look at the either. kills. Mm. Yeah, that's... I mean, they, they were... D defenders yeah. were so much more dominant the whole match. I mean, sorry, the attackers were, were winning the whole match, and just the defenders kept it up with points. And we've, I guess they were close enough behind on Renown that they could just win that last fight. And that yeah, was I think bet. these are all matches worth looking at again. Yeah. How yes. can they keep up score-wise while dying on stuff? Homeless made some suspect rotational calls, I feel. You, you see, especially there at the end, Setmix got caught in the fight for way too long on C. And then he got put in a pincer with nowhere to go. Yeah, he was lost in the woods, really. Ironic. Hmm. Pretty much. That's it. Uh, there's a, a famous clip of Legion being lost in the woods, and then that was Semix doing the same thing. Mm. Um, but we'll see. It could still go either way. They only have to win two in a row. So, and it's definitely doable, because these have all been really, really close matches, to be honest. Um, a bad, bad rotation at the end means that you lose the double count. Right. We have eyes. We have eyes on the inside. Temple Garden is do or die territory for the homeless shelter squad. The Oversleepers looking to take this in a 4 0 via bracket reset. Pressure is on. Pressure is on. Homeless shelter squad. <laughs> you know what's going to happen? They're going to. They're they, the homeless shelter will win this one and we'll go down to the absolute decider. You know, mm. for the maximum entertainment value, right? Right? Yep. Right. Yeah. <laughs> And we can go straight over host Norgos for yeah. the first time, actually, because we're in time. Oh, so, yeah. no, maximum of two yeah. more maps. Are we going to have time for... NA, NA. NA is checking already. Well, we can ask for a winner's interview. Yeah, they, well, um... the, we don't, don't want to overrun. Oh, we will, we will. Okay. Who cares about NA, right? Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, there'll, oh, sorry. there'll be some time <laughs> where they are waiting to set up, so... Yeah. Um... <laughs> you know, friendly banter. Going from friendly to not so friendly. That being fighting on Temple Guard. What's the rotation? Is it going to be identical? Oh, whoops. Is it going to be identical? 
El Clasico. Um, the three. Semix deciding not to engage in mid and just runs straight into. into Come back here. Actually, taken. He was trying to go straight into the um, sea fight and end up taking quite a lot of damage for it. Hmm. Oh no, Whiffed his spacing was off. Bizarre. That, yeah. the zone that was like Dinosaur Arms, but for a zone attack. I've never seen that before. I've never seen it. Yeah, no. Maybe it's something to the elevation of that spot, potentially. It looked like it was in range to me. Yeah. Nice light. The guard break. Backstep heavy oh, to stop the GB great. Den Tech. Let's go. Good. Just great reason. Nice parry from him. Smeku. Courts oh. in the mix. Set mix not biting. Kameku gets the 400 oh, millisecond no. heavy. That was, that was really close. That was. It's like what we want. The two. Oh, the sea fight is that. not looking too great either. No, it's not. Her man goes down. Franz is half health. Um, Hiran's almost dead. Hiran got architectured. Nice light parry there. Gets Doesn't the matter. Kill. Doesn't go for the execution because why would you? Oh, he has revenge pop. Yep, here we go. Let's see if that the Jadu can make anything done here. I mean, Paradise is okay, back, fine. so this fight will extend. Okay, how long can Semix hold their man? life? Herman's Deflect. almost hit. Can Herman get here in time? Oh, I, I think this is looking like this is going to go... If unless they can get... Um, Oversleepers can get... Oh, Mina B's here as well? So they, uh, Oversleepers have reinforcements themselves. Semix gets one kill. Mina B dodges out the kick. Kick again, though. Top heavy to Mina. Has revenge, but how... Oh, what break cost? confirmed. Yoga had to rotate over, but he's so low HP. Yoga can't really do anything, and you see the cost goes of down, that. He goes Semix down. Goes, Semix goes down, gets the C is still health. not being captured by anyone, by the way. Kiai hits nothing. The first, right. That <laughs> was the first whipped Kiai we've seen <laughs> today, lads. Kiai, there we go. Uh, okay, there we go. And... Is he captured? Oh, no, no, he's got Legion's back now. Back. Bosh him off the edge. No, Legion oh. dodges. Kick him off. He dodges. He didn't actually... What? Oh, really no. Nice. So that's unlucky. The that that's you get the initial movement, but not iframes. So you still got the movement, but not enough to avoid things, but enough to not get ledged. Yeah. So, nice play from Leaven. Not sure if he knew he could do that or just an instinctual dodge. Yogurt, let's see if he can continue with those stellar top heavies we've seen. Three versus two in favor of the homeless shelter squad right now in the blue. Oversleepers, meanwhile. Legion, raging, in the revenge. Let's see if he can get anything that was done. So lucky. No, no. They are switching over to Homeless Shelters. And they get it. They finally take C. Oh, they, the A cap has been contested by Mina B, who came over to stop her man getting in the way. PI is going to get Kunai if he's not careful as well. That's no, sorry, Kunai is going to get Ki if he's not careful. Chaining into the heavy would have been the. Right core? There we are. Oh, late dodge. The range on that zone has got a really long reach forward, and they get triple capped. This is looking good for the homeless, the homeless shelter crew. Overall, Renown, not too different. Her man's about to get his tier three. Score-wise, is getting away, though, now with double boosting. Yeah. I is mean, this is still solid easily... 100. No, yeah, 100. 100 hard points. Um, it's gonna it's gonna take some doing, but then they're not out of the woods. Herman's positioning is interesting. He's doing another thing where he's just chilling in a in a middle spot randomly. He did the same thing last map. Yeah, he keeps posturing to have ever so quick, uh, ever so slightly quicker rotations this way around. Hmm. I mean, I think that's sensible. Yeah, Demix yeah. leaves him in the 1v1, but actually he's eaten and out of summoner punish. I hope maybe they'll be talking on comms again. Herman like, you know, baiting the bear trap, I think. He wants Mina to back yeah. into it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Mina B rolled that. I think he must have seen this. Yeah, Mina B did see it. He because he rolled to the right. And Mina B is winning this. One, one more mix-up. Fairly convincingly. Parry. Guaranteed. Meanwhile, we go. yeah, I think our man is a little overconfident. I'm winning yeah. 1v1s. I've got this 1v1, um, he not. says, yeah. as they lose and go from one triple cap to the other triple cap. Oh, that's, that's quite something. Well played, Mina, though. Ah, oh, yeah, Qu question for the chat. On the other hand, uh, in, in a situation where you're like three maps down, basically, do you really want to play it safe? 
Uh, there's a question from chat here, this. real quick, actually, guys. Uh, why Kunai there? Is the cooldown very short? I don't know off the top of my head. Yeah, Kunai's yeah, cooldown is super the... quick. Yeah, it's 45 seconds. So you can have it every team fight. Uh, or at the beginning of a team fight and after a team fight. But yeah, I didn't know how long it guarantees a kick. Oh, did it ever? Uh, no, one. Well, he used to guarantee a zone. A uh, zone, yeah, yeah. Back in the day. Back when he had a. Four, three, three, my stones. Got to be a long opportunity here. Must be waiting. He's fishing for it, but Yogurt knows and is keeping him marked. Parry. Stops nice hearing his momentum, there. but hearing dodges and get the free GB. Why but, did he go for a punish then? I'm confused I don't know. too. Is Hiram just delaying? Maybe the they're arguing in right now. Who knows? Ooh, Yogurt tried for the, the target swap. Oh. <laughs> Yogurt just break. stands there like, bruh. What did you do? They are Look at them. Indicators. Oh, what's going on? What? What's going what? on? Why are you feeding? Man, do I need my man? Do I need to check your indicators, huh? What is happening? For reference, that? that is not how you gank. You do not throw attacks randomly into external guard. That is how you feed revenge. I mean, that is that is just that's throwing like. Uh, and you cannot afford to do that at this stage in a tournament. We're in bracket reset. Come on. We're in bracket reset. He had they had longbow. It was a guard break for longbow. And that was it. Guard break for longbow into light. Just just do it. <laughs> yes, we are in reset territory. Oversleepers are in tournament point now. If they win yeah, this, they win this one. They win everything. Yeah, and there's there's going to be. Um, I feel like that's a, a vod review moment of something must be going on in the comments because that is. Well, that's not uh, gameplay you'd expect of tournament winners. That way. All right, let's get one more and shot. They are the... double cap now. Double boosting, looking, yeah. Looking they need to really do something bad. now because otherwise that match will run away from them. Someone's yeah, spamming in input. To... We've got Mina B. He's got, he's got his tier four armor. He's got his tier four. I mean, Iron's Herman got and, tier four. Here and are both got are both doing well for now. I think there's a tier four opportunity now for. Oh, he's Here we waiting go. for this. Legion actually choking her. Uh, Legion's there. now got his tier. He's now got his There's tier the phalanx. Four. Oh, Hyrule tried to intercept with the bow, but he wasn't in time because he got interrupted by Kameku. Setmix dies away on the bridge, allowing Yoga to come back into the fight. Herman and Hyrule, 3v2. There's the bow from Kameku, which neutralizes the threat. Hyrule's really on his own, doesn't have backup because Franz is fighting currently in the mid against Mina. And if mid goes the, their way, which I think is due to turn, they're going to be in a breaking situation very quickly. He could have he gone for a long execution there. No, and kept no, 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 no. Mid will not capture quickly enough. But yeah. I guess could've. so. But, but not because of breaking reasons. Set mix is there, aim, letting, preventing the rotation of Yogurt to go and let somebody cap A, but they had a rotation the other direction. Really good defense and map awareness here from Defenders the Amina B just playing out of his mind again. Homeless Shadow Squad are breaking. <laughs> Guard break for out of stamina light, but it mid has gone gone their way, gone against them, so it's not And enough. they need to save Setmix here. They're gonna try. Setmix is out of stamina though. He has to stay locked on to back up faster. And he gets away. But at what cost? No, they may now, sacrifice Setmix. Herman here. No, look at Yogurt. He backs up to try and maybe interrupt with a kunai from Setmix from off stage. Interrupts. Franz is now here. Franz does have a tier long, two. They've got a long way to pull this back. Yeah. He, they're big feet as advantage. I, I, Mina's here with tier four. This is bad. Oh yeah, this is bad. If if you know her man is gonna go. Is that kunai almost hit. killed Herman? No, he did almost kill Kunai, and he will lose his flask. Which will... Architecture. Good use of soothing mist there, saving her, her man. Good Giving recovery. Giving him space to go back and heal. Interrupt kick feeds for the unblockable. Classic gank. So they've got so far to go if they want to stay in yeah. this. I mean, I mean, if they can manage it, that'll be incredible. But they have to clear mid. They've got a lot of point deficit to, to make. They're going to be breaking for a long time as well. I mean, that face with 12 kills is bottom of the scoreboard. Ah, yeah. Oh Feels goodness, yogurt, yeah. man. And it's not like Mina B has been boosting. Mm. He must have just got the kill streaks. In this case, if I were on what's oversleepers, I'd actually sit it out, just farm it out. Yeah, 
it's you the fucking touch. tournament point. No, Just, no, it, you got no, you do because they, there's not enough space. There's not enough time for it to go to when when they get into breaking the timer resets. They yeah, need yeah. to go in now and push when they. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah, they have to do it now to get at least the free attack because if they lose here, they at least get one more chance. Yeah. All right, let's go for the wide shot to get the full view of this potential tournament-defining fight. Legion low off screen to the right-hand side, fighting Setmix. Everyone else pulling in the Setmix, middle. Setmix takes it. He is. He's going to kill and execute Legion. That's going to be a big get for Homeless Shelter Squad. Phalanx was deployed by Franz Bonaparte. That's going to be an extra bit of life to sustain them through this. Yoga being chased. Setmix. Three down. Homeless Shelter will defend and looks like they're going to take the free opportunity here. Were they sending to C? That is Someone's is running off. Herman. No, they'll be Herman. Herman. He'll be yeah. he'll be fifth. Oh, third and mid. mid. There's no, it, going to see at this point would be suicidal because you'd be splitting yourself into one v one. He's just you going mid, trying to get enough points. Yeah, and then he's going right, to go back up to is. a. Okay. So yeah, now the free chance. There we go. Now the timing, the timer resets. Now we're in a double breaking scenario again. And they have they've managed against all odds. They've managed to but stay in this, and they've rally. still got their feet. I yeah, they should be able to boost into double breaking as well now. Yeah, unless they send, they um, they th they ought to send one person there as soon as possible to try and no, contest. No, but I don't no. think they're gonna have time. If they'd have rotated one in there off spawn, they would have got in there. Everyone's waiting but, for feats. Okay. It's gonna be a feat bonanza in this next fight. Attackers are breaking. And yeah, the tyre. I actually forgot about that, uh, Spaniard. Good call. If a break happens, a fresh rally, the timer resets. I completely blanked yeah. on that. So now it is. What's looking like? You think they're gonna engage? Uh yeah, they want to stop Setmix getting his tier four, I guess. If they're, if they're paying attention, they can get up there fast enough. A lot of tier fours on the line. Let's scroll through. Both the Shenhus have theirs. Sakura almost has that uh, fear itself back up. That's gonna be big. And Legion does have the things. Oh no, Kameka got hit inside the bear trap. There's gonna be a lot of HP gone immediately in this fight. Kameka, yeah, half health. Everyone who dies before they Balance get to the tier four is a yeah. massive. Massive uh, uh, value. Yeah, Legion. Here. Legion popped Phalanx. That's going to give Kameko a little bit of a trust. Excellent use of the longbow. Kills down to a longbow. on the flank. Herman's low HP gets hit in the Herman back by Yogan between the solar plexus. Hyron looking to take down Sen, but needs to be very careful. He can't, he can't use this tier four in there. He's in there. Yes, the roof's on it, so he can't. He's got revenge though. Drops Yogan. Enough damage to kill. No, it's not. He's still chasing. Don't let Logan use it. The Bash doesn't save him. Now we're down to a two versus three. Mina's low. Was healed successfully, though, by uh, Legion. That's going to give him room. The bow hits, no, though. Oh, but Legion. We're still going. Friends. Oh, the gets the kill. Oh. The comeback. Mina. Surviving. Don't the last revenge, chance. No. Control yourselves, homeless shelter. They get it. I get it! Oh my goodness! What? <laughs> stuff, man, man. Final stuff. game! Final Whoa. round! Bloody hell! Do they make entertainment better than this? <laughs> my friends, we have come down to the final point in the tournament. Either team could... Oh, 30 minute, 1500 points and the defenders win it. The, the absolute grit on... Homer Shelter to hold it through all the way up and to win that absolutely incredible yeah. stuff. And if it wasn't, if it was just two random teams, but no, it's actual. There's a history. There's a the story history. behind both of them. That's the thing. Jesus. There, I've got to say, there were several tier four still on the board when people died there. So yeah, I think there's going to be some harsh words both in the Twitch chat and in the Discord communications. You, you don't want to be in that scenario. Stuff. If you are found out oh, to be in oh. that scenario with any tier four still available, that is not on. Uh, Absolutely well, not. Well, you, you say that, Hiran, they won without using Hiran's tier four, or I think the the um, Phalanx. Did, did they get any of their tier four? No, but both, uh, both the Phalanxes uh, were was used. On, the Phalanx was on cooldown. Phalanxes were used. Both okay. Phalanxes were used. Uh, Fear itself Hiran... was used. But yeah, the the uh, not on, the not fiery on deluge were not used because the the roofing screwed that over. They're inside, yeah. Yeah. All right, we go to the final match, Harbor. Right. This is it. This is to decide. It's time for another beer. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> this is to decide who gets to go through to the third place, into the third spot of the EU Major Stage Three Dominion Series. Bear in mind that just making it to the main to the major is guaranteed to win some money. 
because there's prizes for all of them. There we go. This is going to be... Whoa. Harbour is the map we're settling this on too. Let's see who's got better fights and rotations melded into one harmonious form. It, ends. it doesn't end up with a set mix versus Legion 1v1. I'm just going to put Duel the Fates on. Screw DMCA. I'm just putting Duel the Fates on. As long as you're recording in your... As long as you're recording so we get to keep the... <laughs> nope. Keep the audio. <laughs> nope, I'm not recording. <laughs> We can sing Duel the Fates now. I think we'll all be screaming. They won't be able to hear anything. Okay, what's right. the split? Rotations. What's the rollout? We're going to go with... The... Again, it seems they've just crystallized on this 3-3 rotation. Mm. We've decided that they... If you get there fast enough, you can prevent them having a guaranteed cap. So it's all starting off into... Into... It's a three-person three brawl. Let's settle inside the radishes and see how this fight goes. Set mix already low. Wow, Legion goes straight for set mix. No ifs, ands, or buts. <laughs> but target swaps immediately to Herman. First fatality of the fight. It's just a coincidence. Yeah, ju just a coincidence. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, brilliant. Set mix really down, down, higher it's down. Attack. Franz, you are in enemy territory, my guy. Get out. Don't feed. Well, it's not been um, captured, so there's no defender okay, around true, going on here. True, true, true. We can still stall until... In fact, it's definitely better for him to stall until his allies can respawn. Um, and hopefully continue this fight. The Rumble and C. Well, they have, they're losing points on mid, Ooh. but... Nice. Good. Oh! Good read. Kameku. A, 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 sim, set mix Kameku 1v1 here. Kameku had good sense there to delay Great. the dash light. Really good read there on not... Nice light parry. I've seen this a few times. Yeah. Kameku getting light parries on set mix. Nice. The laser dot. Anyone Another who thinks GD. that yeah, yeah. the, the, the Orochi's oh. kick is the only one that can dodge cancel this and forgotten about Zhen Hu. We can do exactly the same thing. Hmm. Slightly different with the um, uh, different dodge time, cancel timings, but enough to get those deflects. Kameku is They down. managed to keep this fight, this fight going here on C all the while boosting A non stop, so they're building quite a nice point lead already. Yeah, what's mm. the macro looking like? Yeah, two more members coming back for Homeless Shelter Squad. The fight's still going on C. Ah, and Hel Legion. Oh, oh. Legion is the one boosting, so he's getting a lot of value. That was yeah. a, quite a good key eye there, actually. Yeah, Kameku is almost here to back up Yogurt. Another 2v2. Set Mix and friends. Hello, Herman's coming in to make this a 3v2. That could be a big get here if they can secure this finally for Homeless Shelter Squad. Yeah, I mean, some somebody I has to can't even tell whether they're match. winning this. Yeah. They I should. Mean, they've, got, they've got health lead, but they haven't taken the point. Nice life. Now Mina's here. Kameku goes down as well. It's just Mina. They need to organize their ganks. They've seen, we've seen a couple of... I did say that was a the gank moment that was throwing, but they actually ended up winning that match in incredible style. So, um, nice. They bait out the You're light, Harry. No! Good roll, no, cancel. Good roll. They they didn't communicate who was going to confirm there, and I will Mina B get reinforcements? Oh. Yep, they... Yoga was able to no, get in! Why is her man so resistant to just fucking stampeding someone out of a point? He never does it. Hmm. Um, maybe he's just not used to the... Not, it wasn't a warlord main. I guess, yeah. So yeah, uh, hello mistress, nice to see you, pseudo basically league commissioner for the Dominion series. Uh, things are getting a bit intense here. Final map bracket reset for EU. Yeah. Hope you're enjoying. Look how this, this won't stop. This map, this, this fight. This fight's going on for... You're on night. What the hell? A, a bunch of revenge and a dream. The nice. C point's still not taken, by dodge. the way. Permanently in purgatory. Look, it's a 300 point lead, roughly. Yeah. Yeah. And this is the difference of having. They've had Legion just boost. Finally! Oh, finally, 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 finally. But to put a point on how long this has taken, Legion has been sitting on A, boosting almost the entire time. Occasional trips doing, to mid. They managed to hold. Yeah, they managed to hold the C fight going on continuously with for, three players against four. For four minutes that happened. For four, four minutes. Four minutes. C point. Just add my salute. To Great to see you here, Mistress. <laughs> yes. A point is jealous of C point getting all the attention. 
We're getting now a fight on bid. So we're going to meet in the middle. Fight in the minion lane. Sakura gets tagged by an inspired light from Bandit's Monopada. Higher end as well. Taking some stunning storming taps from Yoga. Excellent Ooh, deflect, nice but Yoga flex. will fall in the process. And Franz clings it up. On deflect on blockables. But still a considerable score lead on the side of the Oversleepers. Yes. Set mix. Needs to be careful he doesn't get tagged by Kameku. Kameku Ooh. gets dropped by Franz, though. Oh, big hit from Legion on set mix. Down he goes. Friends. They're solidly trading kills. It's not like one team is consistently pushing someone else out. Yeah. No, this is, you know, really close. But it seems with the macro with, you know, and then now they're venting score coming from C. Interrupt, please. No, oh. I don't know what happened. Must Herman, have been behind no sleep at the wheel. Just the sleep of the wheel. Kameku came in. Maybe he'd seen that. Yeah, maybe. Oh, he was laying a bear trap on the other side of the point. Oh, I Look. see. Okay, I see. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay, never mind. I retract my summon. Good work, Herman. Well, I mean, not necessarily. If you just if you let your teammate get killed and executed because you were putting a bear trap down, it's not necessarily okay. the best call. Fair. We'll see what happens. We'll see if someone steps in it and they get like a free kill. Future investments, long-term economics. <laughs> Setmix going to be thinking about the short term though. That being, his HP is almost in the bloody toilet. Setmix not having any of that. Nice dodge. Oh! Oh, goes to the guard break. Bad read there. Eats some chain unblockable sorts coming in with the soothing miss. Dem called. He wants Isn't his tech it? back. <laughs> Kenku gets a double. They're winning the fight here on C. They are. Yeah, I mean, it's I think like kill fans fast enough. Yeah. Homeless Shelter are close to losing C. Heron's back in. But look at the score differential now. Like, yeah, they need to send someone in. They need to stop this. They've just been focusing on generation. One point. This feels like a testing ground game, Spaniard. Like, look at the score and then look yeah. at the amount of renown. Like, this looks like a testing ground game. Well, they, they, they're such a long time fighting on on the point that wasn't owned. There was no defender renown. And now, look, they've managed to get kills, but their both kills were off point. Yeah. And it's. I mean, they are a long way behind. Um. In terms of renown, Franz has got his tier fours. Oh, we had a DC! We had a DC! No! We had a DC! Oh, no! No! That is awful! Is it too late this to call for a restart? fucking anticlimactic. I'm annoyed now. Okay, if this oh, is... Oh, I mean... Okay, well, I'll, I'll... Yeah, you, you or maybe do maybe a stuff. stronger than set mix? Maybe. We'll see. Who knows? We'll, <laughs> we'll, Spaniard do I'm admin just stuff. messing. Yeah, Spaniard, you do admin stuff. Me and Freeze will keep an eye on this. So, Sakura, Kameku, Solips in the middle here for sleepers. Herman and the Hyren in the middle of a homeless shelter squad. Reinforcements coming in shortly here in the form of Franz Bonaparte. Comes in, but it's not fast enough to save Herman's life. Franz does have Phalanx, however, so that's going to be useful should the worst come to us. Hyren had the revenge, but he was taken out by Mina before he could deploy it because he was in the middle of his dodge animation. Legion, Absolutely fracking. Yes, Drake joined for a C contest. They are. Yeah, you're right. Let's go to the white shot. Yes, yeah, so Mina's on C. Gonna try and heal. Well, they haven't told the bot ammo. Yeah. Oh, there we go. And now we have two down for homeless shelter. Already. Flash break. In the breaking. Not here. This is a uh... Mina. Yeah, a Spaniard. Keep an eye on the DMs. I feel like that might be a contestion here. They were they were so far behind that this the the DC wasn't gonna make it maybe we'll see we'll see let's see how this match ends we'll mina going after herman baiting gets the indicator off light is good meanwhile so just getting stampede charged off screen hiring down the yeah. half hp longbow from downtown kills him and now herman last person standing for homeless shelter squad the thing they need to survive this tournament just live dear boy live we're just gonna kill each other 2-1 over sleepers. They oh, take the tournament. Take they do. Well, before, I just want to um, put asterisks on the end of that in yeah. case there are any. Um, there has been a dispute filed. Um, yeah, I mean, you obviously would file a dispute. It yeah, just, let's, yeah. On, let, yeah, let's retract that statement then. It, tournament maybe not over? Question mark. Maybe not. Um, we will see. I mean, the rules say, yeah, it is over, but the, rule, the rules say the rules say the admins have a uh, final, final say, say so. on this. It is not hmm. drama. Oh, spiritual panel because we had a DC. Usually, that means uh, yeah, depending on the time the DC occurs, you either have a, a restart of the match or you get a another chance. But yeah. 
But maybe the admins will decide. Let's hold our breaths here. Let's not sound the trumpets yet. I can't put a question mark in the uh, in the text box. Actually, I can. Never mind. There is now a question mark on the two. <laughs> We wait with bated breath. If this is not disputed or not ruled to be disputed, then oversleepers take this in dramatic fashion. A 4-1 game, essentially. First to five. If you think of it that way, in this bracket reset scenario. No, Raider did not replace Shugoki. No. In this case, what we're seeing in this particular match, Jean Hu replaced Shugoki. Like, uh, last qualifier two, two weeks ago? Yeah. We had Shugoki as a staple pick, but last week we had a ever so slight nerf to Shugoki. Which apparently was enough for some teams to decide we're going to switch over to another team fighter. But yeah, do we have I think... Spank it? Um, it's still going on. There's well, apparently they also had. Hmm. Yeah, I do not want to call the stream until we know for sure what's going on. You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throw this splash screen up with uh, the appropriate uh, sentiment in the uh, text box. When is NA? NA is happening in ten, twelve minutes. Twelve minutes. We may not even have time for a winners interview if this goes for a. You second. really want to listen to, in theory, either of them, like set mix or? I mean, set mix would probably be a little more humble, but if we get in uh, Legion now, holy shit! Hmm. <laughs> no, I want to hear Legion. You want um, <laughs> yeah, considering the amount of times he's been dunked on on the winners interview, I think he deserves to have at least a spotlight yeah, as long yeah, as he, he does, doesn't yeah. TOS the channel. <laughs> Where's this VOD? Um, oh, are we investigating VODs now? Grand finals. Oh, let me just actually do this. Dispute in progress. Please hold. There we are. So we don't confuse people just coming in. Damn, you guys okay? You've been streaming for six hours. Yep. Welcome to Tournament Broadcasting Life. It's endurance. <laughs> um, my heart rate is like 150 right now, so... Um... <laughs> I'm surprised you two are holding out tonight because I've... Been going like taking a break here, taking a break there. I've had but you guys been I going will... non-stop. Yeah, I, I've I've been doing this for years. I've got conditioning. Has anybody been? Has, was, who was streaming on the? Was anyone streaming on either team side? Yeah, I didn't. Has there been variety this week in Hero Picks? A little bit, Patrick. A little bit. Yeah, we've seen Kyoshin, Shigoki, Black um, Prior, one Jan point. Hu, Vampire, yeah. Yeah, but um, yeah. No Romans, no, uh, like, weird, like, there's no Shaolin, no Peacekeeper, Shaman, nothing like that. We are... Once we get further into the bracket, we were pretty locked in in terms of what was being seen. It was pretty much a five-way between Raider, Orochi, Shugoki, Janhu, and Kyoshin. Yeah, no peacekeeper. We're not like in season zero. Your life will be complete the day Jormungandr is a non-ironic pick and competitive. Yeah, he your, was. For a little bit of time, he was when there was like yeah. the hyperstall off his feet, right? Yeah, no Hawaiian George. Do oh yes, remember? Hawaiian George. I forgot about that. Yeah. In NA, uh, in NA. Sai, she played George in combination with Thr Thrillnos BP, right? Yeah, because then you would yeah, just sit as the shield. Yeah, they did that famous gank. 
yeah, you get the gank, and then also Sinister Shield will give the Yorm even more store once you got feats online. It, yeah, it was a nice synergy going. Yeah. But I think that was the only team that ever ran him. Hmm. Was that the gank where the Yorm would send someone flying back with the throw it right into the BP flip, or was that uh, the, the, the combo heavy from George? The oh, yeah, has the, into the it, yeah. lockdown effect, right? And back then, BP could flip, flip yeah. all the staggers. That was it. So I was you would to... basically hammer him into the shield, into a flip, into a hammer slam. That was it, yeah. I would ask that was Nor a fun yeah. gang. I would ask Norgoz, but he's currently, I imagine, prepping live on stream for NA. Yeah. I had to give credit. Rafe found that one. Yeah. Okay, to be fair though, Jules, uh, if items, like, uh, item feats and stuff were allowed, Yorm would probably see use because Revenge Blood on him is very strong because he stalls so hard with, like, these different feats. So getting the different item boons on top, I, Yorm may see a little bit of play, but not too much. And that's stretching it. Like, item stuff has not been online, uh, not been legal in years. Okay, we have a ruling. Oh, we have a ruling? There will not be a replay that, due to the score difference, was too considerable even when uh, the the technical issue occurred. So that okay. is unfortunate. It is GG's for Oversleepers. It's a, sh a real shame for that to be the way the tournament ended. But having said that, they had won three matches in a row before three matches beforehand. The last one had been incredibly close. I mean, it's they. Overall, they did play better, even up to that point. So, I think we can... And and the match was definitely going in their favour, for, for certain. So, well played over sleepers. They did not oversleep this one at all. Um, I think we should try and get an over... I think we should try and get an oversleepers interview. Yes. Um, I need to go and quickly do so. I asked him already. Let's see. All right. Uh, yeah, Patrick. The, uh, the production of the commentary for North America is being handled by Norgoz. So once we are done here, go over there and you'll have basically a run back of this. But for North See, America, I can't tell what the fuck he's talking about again. I don't know whether he wants yeah, an interview or not. Legion, Legion speaks in tongues. Okay, so... He, I think it's rather a do, do I look like I want an interview? Everything's been said in game. Toast is next. No, he doesn't He doesn't want an interview. He said no. Yeah. That's a no. Good. Like, I'm not going to look into the eldritch void known as deciphering legionese. If he said, do I look like I want an interview, I'll take it at face value. I don't know. I don't want to <laughs> click on his fucking clip. I'm a little scared. Okay. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, and everything in between, that is the end of today's broadcast for EU. That is going to be a victory for the oversleepers. Norgoz, we're going to link... We actually probably host him. Um, yeah. We're going to host him. We're going to send you over. Yes. And yeah. I believe I have hosting privileges on this channel, so slash host. Yeah, you should do. Nor Thank no, you I very much, raid. everybody who watched. Raid. Right. Oh, wait, it's slash raid, isn't it? Now you can do both, but I think the raid is better, right? Nor gauze. I think that's not gauze. That's not how that works. Okay. It's with a, with a zero, right? A zero, yeah. Okay, folks. Thank you all for watching. We no, do sincerely thank you, appreciate it. for watching. Yep. Yeah. Um, any final, nice. any final, time, any final words before we leave from you two? Oh, no, I'm no. good. Thanks for being I'm here. Good. Thanks yeah, for hanging thank out. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, big thanks to my fellow casters, Verban Freeze. Um, come back next week. We'll be doing the same thing for the qualifier number four. And go enjoy Norgos. Thank you all for watching. Have fun. And you can all go watch yeah. North America Bye. now. Bye.